Two words. Five hours. Today's early bird. It's fantastic. Now, now, I need to warn you, right? Before we start the show, everything that we've got on today's show is already on the website, right? A quarter of these have gone already. And we had loads and loads of them. Quarter of them gone. Right, now, you don't get the basket. What you do get is... Shall we have a look at the credit? Uh, not the credits. What's that even called there? Graphic. Graphic. Here you go. Have a look at the graphic. Right. The early bird special, right? £12.99. So what's, it, what's the writing? Two kilos of fabric scraps and remnants, right? This is... This is one, right? This is one that we... I could just hear Paul whittering in the background. So I don't know if he's not near his microphone or if he's... There you go. I've turned him up. I've turned him up now. Right. You won't get the basket. This is not what you'll get. This is one that we just happened to open this morning. Yours will come in a sealed black bag, right? But look at this. Look, 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 look. All of this. You get all of this. Yeah, all of this, right? So you've got a bit of calico, some Osnaberg, some cream fabric, some blue. This is all 100% cotton, uh, uh, reds, and you've got... Now, that's um, bumbleberry, isn't it? That's designer there. That's designer. You get all of this, right? Now, oh, there's that's designer. I can't tell you exactly what you're getting, but I will tell you, you get two kilos of fabric in the back. Oh, that's designer as well there. Uh, two kilos in a bag, right? for £12.99. Now, remember, you can check out as many times as you like. There's only one PMP for the whole day. No, they haven't raised my tables yet. No, I know. I'm having words after the show. Don't you worry. Um, look, look, look. It's not Elliot's fault. I'm not blaming Elliot. I'm blaming Hayley. I'm blaming Hayley because she signs off the work. Half the stock has gone already. Half the stock has gone. You don't get the basket, right? The basket, very savvy buyers. Bumbleberry, what's this here then? Now, I'm not saying this is what you'll get, but you'll get designer, you'll get our solid, you'll get calico, you'll get cream, you'll get Osnaberg. You could get a mixture of any of this, right? How much, right? Okay. Oh, I know, I know, right? If, if something's over two kilos at the post office, right? That's, um, well, it's, it's more than 3 95 that's for sure. That's definitely for sure. You ask Vicky, the postmistress. So there will be scraps in there as well, little bits like that, but... On the whole, you're going to get chunks of fabric like this. This was one that Rebecca Reed opened yesterday and just tipped out into the basket, right? All of that. Oh, I don't know what the biscuits are. She, I don't know what she was eating. Anyway, yeah, I know Elliot's cleaned this table once this morning. Hang on. Though. You won't get this one. You won't get this one, so don't worry. But there you go. There we go. There we go. So you get two kilos, right? Two whole kilos of fabric. Two whole kilos of fabric uh, for twelve ninety nine, and you pay three ninety five posted packaging. But of course, if you're going to come in later and buy an adjuster form, or if you're going to come in later and buy a Juki, it's still only one PMP of three pounds and ninety five pence. I know more than half the stock has gone. If you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. Is that right, Paul? Paul's producing today, by the way, everyone, and Elliot's directing. Oh, lots of love for my shirt. Now I had this right before. <clears throat> before that man on Britain's Got Talent had his, just so you know. It's called Unity. It's nice, isn't it? Very what we need right now, isn't it? I was a bit depressed after yesterday's press release, but anyway. You don't need my shirt anymore. Back to me. Um, 12 99 Sorry, I have to keep looking there. There's no, there's no monitor in front of me yet. Uh, 12 99 I know. Uh, how are we doing stockwise, Paul? <clears throat> Okay, right. I know how many of these we start with. We've only got 23 left. <coughs> Excuse me. And I don't know how many are in baskets because we can't check baskets yet. Okay, ending there. Ending there. Right, okay. Shall we... Um, I'll just do this. Shall we have a look at the menu? Here's the menu. So today on Sewing Street with me, John Scott... Eight o'clock, we've got fun fabrics. Well, all fabrics are fun, aren't they? At uh, nine o'clock, we've got a just-o form. I always thought it was just a form, but it's a just... I can see now, is it a just-to-your-form? Is that what it is? And tools. Remember, we've got... Um, well, I'll tell you about in a minute. Ten o'clock, exclusively Sewing Street. Everything in the ten o'clock hour is exclusive to Sewing Street. Exclusive. So it's panels and it's all... Well, it's mainly panels and kits, isn't it, in that hour? And then eleven o'clock and twelve o'clock, Gary! Oh, he's got two hours, I see, Gary. Oh, I'm going to ask him when he comes in then. We've got the new Juki DX5 and a brand new overlocker with Gary. Now, can I tell you that two of the sewing machines have gone already? I know you haven't even seen Gary doing it yet. Two of the sewing machines have gone already. 
Yeah? And they're doing it on split pay, which I'll tell you about in a second. You can get in touch. The way you get in touch is you can send an email to Paul, which is studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. But if you want to send me a message direct, that'll come straight through to me. You need to go onto the Facebook Live. Um, right, go to the Facebook Live and send a message there because I've got a new iPad here behind these threads. Oh, there it is. Message studio, Sewing Street. Oh, it's Sewing Street TV, is it? Oh. Oh, now we're supposed to show that other thing as well, aren't we? You have to do it every day. You have to, oh no, my email said every day. Doesn't matter, we'll do it another time. Sewing Street TV, um, that's where you need to go. Oh, I thought it was only Sewing Street. Didn't there have TV on the end? I think it's just, anyway, anyway, you'll find us. You'll find us. Oh, Wendy Orlando says hello. She's coming in. Is it tomorrow? She's in. She's in tomorrow. I love in my shirt. Um, uh, so that was that. There was something else I had to tell you. One PP all day. Remember to check out your baskets. Now, we, they're, they're showing me upside down on that picture over there. You don't need to see this. I need to tell you about flexi pay. No, split pay. Split pay is what it's called, right? Have you got the, have you got the slide there, Paul? Please. Right. So it was introduced last Friday, right? Items over £149, you can split it over three months. And items over £799, you split it over five months. Now, <clears throat> rather than, now I need to tell you two things, a couple of things, right? It has to be on one item. You can't put lots and lots of things in your basket at £20 and then go, it's more than £149. It has to be on the one item. You, uh, you, can't, do, you can't get, you know the days when we have like, spend £40 and get £5 off, that doesn't, in, that, you do, that doesn't get included. Or if we have a free P&P day, that doesn't get included either. But what does happen, let me show you, right? Let me show you what happens because anything that is, what's the word I'm looking for? Not susceptible. Anything that can be considered under the split pay, it will come up on the graphic. So if you bring one of these in right now, right? Which one are you going to bring in first? Yeah, let's do this one because these are 100% cotton. Too early in the morning. Right. Right, here's the graphics, right? So we're doing the Metler Silk Finish Thread, 96, right? It's 149 pounds, but look. Oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's, no, it's not five split pay. It's a three split pay of 49.99 for three months, right? It's not five. It's not five. It's three months. We'll check all the others are all right for later, right? Let me show you what you're getting, right? Look at these, right? Oh, now these are cotton. These are cotton. I've got a polyester one coming up in as well in a minute, but these are cotton, right? So you get 96 spools. It's 50 weight. It's 50 weight. That's what it means by number 50. Uh, it's 149.99 if you buy it in one go today. 3.95 post and packaging. It's a three split pay option, not five. So you pay. So for today, you can get it home for 49 99 plus your poster packaging. Your poster packaging goes on your first one. And then next month, you'll pay 49 99 And the following month, you pay 49 99 Aren't they beautiful? Now, these have got um, plastic covers on them. So they are a bit brighter, sparkling. You know. But look, not only do you get the threads, look, you get this as well. Oh, it's in a bag. <laughs> Hang on one sec, caller. <gasps> I, sh I should have checked. I opened that one during prep. I didn't open this one during prep. Here we go. Now this, if you want to buy this straight from Metler, this is £25. This is £25. Because obviously not all the colours that they have are in this box, right? So there's all, the, look, all these different colours. What you're going to love as well, let me make sure they're still doing it. You see these? These are the actual threads wrapped around bits of cardboard. It's not coloured in, it's the real thread wrapped around. So they're 100% cotton and they've got a silky finish. You get all of them for 149.99. They just come in on a close-up. Oh, it's old, I've done it wrong. Sorry, Elliot, let me turn it around. I keep forgetting it's all got to be to me, to me. Look, there you go. They're the real threads wrapped around little bits of cardboard. I know. Right, now, I've got no, on my Facebook Live, I've got no, has nobody messaged in yet? Right, I've got no messages, Elliot, you've pressed the wrong button. No, we will not wait till the break, Paul, <laughs> thank you very much indeed. No, 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 because there's so many, we might as well just do it, mightn't we? Let me work this out, hang on. Where, where, do the, where are the, um, 
Oh, no, hang on. I'll be with you in one second. Hang on. Elliot, where did you find it then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get Paul to sort that out for me in a minute. I'll just put that around the corner here. Yeah, Elliot's going to sort that out. But um, sorry about that, everyone. I'm not ignoring you, I promise. But there were no messages coming up. Anyway, 149.99. Mind your head, yeah. Step back. 149.99. Three. It's, ignore that. It's not five split play. It's three split play. Uh, play, 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 play. Elliot. Oh, I don't know. But it doesn't matter. We'll check them all as we go through. Because it's 149.99 and, and over is three. And 799 and over is five. You've got the price right. You will pay 49.99, but only pay three of them. I've got another one now. So these are cotton. These are silky cotton. The next one is polyester. What I like is this case as well, because you can keep them all dust-free and everything in your case, can't you? This one here is polyester. Three months bit pay. Oh, again. He's Have you done them all wrong, Elliot? I'm not going to get that one out again. It's the same thing, the colour chart. But these are polyester. These are very good for your embroidery machine, these ones. Can't say these ones. You can't plurify one, can you? 149.99, three split pay, split pay at 49.99. a month. So this month you will pay 49.99 plus 3.95 post and packaging. Next month you'll pay 49.99 and the month after you'll pay 49.99. There's no interest. Look, there's no interest on it. <coughs> there's interest in it, but there's no interest on it. I know, aren't they brilliant? These are polyester, these. Same price, same price, same price. <clears throat> now, when I first started trading, you wouldn't touch a polyester thread. Oh, blimey, Paul, are you buying Christmas presents? 149.99. Well, it will. October, November, December, yeah, it will be. Will be. Where are we now? What date is it today? Are we in October yet? Have you fixed it? What do you mean, no? Oh, he's fixed it, he's fixed it. I need the little thingy as well, the stand for it as well. Uh, can you keep looking at that? I'm just getting the uh, uh, iPad. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, Angie's watching, thank you. <coughs> right, if you want to send in your Facebook Live messages, I'm getting them now. We accept it's not moved since Angie put one. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I do apologise. There's a little arrow, is there? Oh, I'm going to write. Oh, no. Hang on. Enable diction. No. No. Hang on. No, 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 no. Mo said good morning. I've said good morning. Lo said good morning. It's working now. It's working now. Just send me, make me send a message. Thank you, Paul. Going to end that one now. Going to end that one now. Right. Let's do some fabrics, because the hour's called Fabulous Fabrics, isn't it? So, Oh, some new ones. Oh, excuse me. Everything's brand new. Uh, let's start with corks then, shall we? Of corks, we can, says Paul. Now, these are all just individuals, aren't they? They're not in bundles or anything. Just individuals, right? But have a look at the three of them together. They look fabulous, don't they? Oh, hang on, I've got to put it in the right place on the table. Don't put your head in shot. There's so much to think about. There you go. What's the matter, little Paul? Who is? Who? What? Which I'll start with the first one then, which is the black background. Oh, it hasn't got a code on it, Paul. Um, okay, can you see a sticker on it anywhere? Oh, this could be the one that we found earlier. <coughs> no, it's not. Right, there we go. There's definitely no sticker on this one, though, so when we come to put away later, it might be difficult. Oh, look! Corkscrew. What are those things? Grapes? Champagne. This is five ninety nine for half a meter. Remember, five ninety nine for half a meter. It's called Vines and Wines on Black. 
Vines and wines on black. Oh, oh, it's got all the names. Look, Sauvignon Blanc, Merlot, Champagne, Shiraz. Oh, Marie, Marie saying hooray, John's here. Thank you so much. If I don't read your message out, I'm not ignoring your promises. Just loads of messages coming in. Karen, Lauren, Debbie, thank you. Where's my glass here? I've got the sniffles today for some reason. Oh, I think it's hair. Yeah, because I, I, I haven't had it, didn't have it at home at all. Maybe it's hair, fe hey, hair fever. I've had the hair done, you noticed. I've had it trimmed. Nobody said anything. When you work with all whole boy team, nobody mentions your hair or anything like that. They love my shirt, though. They love my shirt. It's a shame the tables haven't been raised, but apart from that, it's fine. I'm not blaming you, Elliot. I'm blaming Hayley. Anyway, 5 99 for half a meter, isn't it? Lovely. Brand spanking new today. We need, oh, Elliot, I tell you what we need. We need a premiere button as well, please. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Like a graphic at the bottom under 5 99 here. Saying, premiere. Okay, that's lovely. I'll come back. If you want me to come back to any of these later, I will do. Don't worry. It's lovely, isn't it? 5 99 100% cotton. What's the matter, Elliot? Elliot's wittering away. No, I've got my hankies with my, with my thing here. I'm all right. These are my birthday, these were a birthday present from Jean. She embroidered five hankies for me. What's the matter, Paul? Oh, no, what? Right, okay. Here's the next one. Is it the same? No, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's on cream. Oh, yeah, this has got a thingy. VG, I think it is. Watch your head, watch your head. Yeah, that's the one. Vines and what? Oh, no, no. It's not the same fabric, though, is it? But it's called the same thing. Look, vines and wines. No, hang on, you've got black. This isn't black, Paul. You've got the wrong number. Hang on, hang on. Let me look up the code for you. I'm going to go in. VGYH91. No, that was the last one. Right, is that definitely the one you... I'm ever so sorry. I'm ever so sorry about this, right? This is the fabric you'll get, even though it says black, right? So what was the number of the last one? It's the last one was correct? Right, okay. It's just the description that's wrong. So ignore that. It's on cream. This, for this code, right, this code... Is, now, on the website, there'll be a picture of it, won't there? So click on the picture of the one you like. That's what you need to do. It's not even the same picture, is it? Hang no, no, that's fine. That's definitely not the same picture, is it? So the whole graphic's wrong. The whole graphic's wrong. But that's the one you'll get. If you put in VGYH91, this is the one you'll get. That looks like an ideal weekend for Paul. Except, Paul, there's no young ladies on it. So you've got corkscrew. You've got uh, there. What's what? A barrel. With Cabernet Sauvignon. Vintage, that's Paul. Yeah, now remember, you don't have to just buy it. You have to buy it by the half metre. But you can have it in increments. So if you want four metres of it, say you're going to make a tablecloth out of it. You want four metres. You put eight units in the, um, when you're checking it out. Check it out. It's nice, though, isn't it? Graphics coming out. Then the last one. Of this, this is going to say vines and wines on black again, isn't it? No, you sure? Corks. Do you want the code? Paul thinks this is corking. That's an old seventies word, though, Paul. That really isn't it, corking. Oh, I do apologise about my sniffly. Oh no, I'm not having a John Scott shirt out of this one. This is far too refined for John Scott shirts. Oh, now Tim says I can recommend the metal threads. They're wonderful. Oh, now Mo says there are no pictures of any of these fabrics on the website. Julie's loving my shirt. Uh, whose fault? Oh, no. Who's not put pictures up then? Mo. You know Mo that's just messaged in? She is an... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Um, what's wrong with my brain at the moment? Right, she is an ex-ice dance champion, like Torvald and Dean, but on her own. 
she lives up in Scotland and she's got a hot tub. And where she used to live, she could sit in the hot tub and watch the dolphins twirling in the Firth of Forth. But now she's moved house and all she can see from her back garden is Sainsbury's. Other supermarkets are available. Five ninety nine. this is nice, isn't it? On the product, there you go. Nice colours, aren't they? Nice colours. Do you know what would be nice? Let me feel, because it's a lovely cotton. If you do like a wine tasting evening, you can make your serviettes out of this, couldn't you? Or something like that. You can make a table run if you wanted to, Elliot. I have to say, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of a, of a table runner myself. Do you know what you could do? You know the June Taylor, you know the June Taylor wine holders? You get three in a pack. I don't know if we've got them in stock at the moment. Have a look on the website, right? Imagine if you made those out of this. Wouldn't they be lovely? Gorgeous. Right, okay, moving on. Sorry, Elliot, we're in the middle of taking a shot of it. Oh dear, what's the matter, Elliot? Right, Paul wants to do flamingos next, because he, well, you know when Paul, he hasn't been on holiday, you haven't been on holiday this year, have you, Paul, because of everything, right? Last year, when he went on holiday, he had a shirt and short combo made out of, not this flamingo fabric, because this is brand new and we weren't working here last year. Well, I wasn't working here last year. Oh, none of us were working here this time last year, were we? Right, look. Well, which colour first? Right, Paul's been desperate to find out what a group of flamingos is called. I think I know this. That's it, I knew it. A flamboyance of flamingos. Now, this feels like a poplin, this one. Let me have a quick look. This finishes at 41, this one. Uh, it hasn't been ironed, I'm afraid. 3 99 Well, I think it's because it's finer. I think it's because it's like a poplin rather than a heavy... Uh, lovely for blouses, lovely for kiddies' clothes, anything like that. Laurie's watching. Viv says, morning from sunny Preston. Morning, John Scott. Got my coffee lying in bed with you, says Angela. Excuse me. Irene, John. Bless you, John. You sort out all the hiccups so perfectly. Not much to giggle about in these unprecedented times. But sure, you do sure make it a pleasure. Oh, thank you, Irene. Um, there's definitely something wrong. They shouldn't be disappearing. They keep disappearing the writing, but it's fine. We'll cope. Oh, 0800 001 4433 is the phone number. The call centre is just down the road. Literally walking distance, well, walking distance for me, it wouldn't be for you unless you live in Redditch. Are we actually in Redditch? We're, no, we're not near any shops, are we? We've only got a McDonald's, a Greg's and a Subway. We're at, oh yeah, because uh, when I come, I just come through Studley and turn left, that's the way. Go past the Miller and Carter Steakhouse or something like that, don't you? £3.99 this. Now, this one's gorgeous. This flamboyance, right? Wait till you see the next colourway. Wait till you see this next colourway. It's lovely. I've got the pink. I've got the flamboyance of flamingos, but in pink. Let me just put that there. Look at this one. This is the one Paul wants because he likes a bright blue. They, well, you won't be looking at it, would you, if you're wearing it? You see, they've called it a flock of flamingos. That's not right. Who's written that? Three ninety nine. I don't want to know that. Your mum will be watching Paul. Uh, Anne says, good morning, everyone. I'm enjoying the programme, loving the flamingo fabric. And Laurie is having coffee watching you on the big screen TV. John Scott, larger than life. Oh, I do apologise. Oh, Crazy Lorraine's in. Crazy Lorraine's watching. Oh, everybody, all the old regulars all coming in. Three ninety nine. This for half a meter. Have I got to, going across ways? Yeah, should I put it in portrait? Oh, that's better. Well done, Elliot. You're wasted here, Elliot. I don't mean he's wasted. He hasn't had a drink. I'm not saying that. Oh, can I tell you, right, this morning, because I'm new here, by the way. I'm the new boy here. Let me get the next fabric out, and then I'll tell you what happened this morning. Should we do these, these, well, this like a rainbow colours? Because I'm just thinking, right, look at these fabrics. I'll put them in the centre of the table here. <laughs> I'll leave it. You find it. I'm not going to help. But, right, look. Look at those colours, right? Then, in a minute, I'm going to be doing this. Oh, I'm going to be doing this book. I'm going to be doing this book in a minute. Wouldn't these go be gorgeous? 
There's something in this book. Right. Brand new. Brand spanking new. I'm going to go. Do you need the number first? Red. Oh, oh this is nice. This, I can feel how good quality this is as well before I even open this one. Now, I don't know if it's directional or not. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. That'd be a lovely shirt, wouldn't it? Five ninety nine for half a metre. Colour, oh, colour fun in red. White spotted fabric. Oh, they're all going to be called white spotted fabric though, aren't they? But you haven't just got white spots. You've got white, you've got black, you've got orange, you've got red, you've got brown. Nice, isn't it? Five ninety nine for half a metre. But remember, you can buy as much as you want. You just have to put the, remember that one unit, if you're buying on the web, one unit is half a metre. Sylvia says, good morning, John, and all the sewing street. First time watching you, John, and enjoying the show. Oh, Sylvie, that's very kind of you. Anne says, you're looking very smart this morning with your new hairdo. Thank you. Lorraine, crazy Lorraine's loving the spotted fabric. This is the kind, now, if you look carefully, you should be able to see a number in the middle of that. If you've not, little Paul can't, because he doesn't mind. I'm not picking on him. <laughs> He's, you're not happy, Paul. <laughs> Paul says, I'm happy. He's not happy at all. Green. Oh, I like this green. Now, it's designed in Denmark, printed in Japan, 100% cotton. Oh, I, now, look, isn't that a lovely colour? Oh, yes, that's gorgeous, that green. Oh, I like that. Colour fun in green with white spots. It's not just white spots. I need to talk to the department that do the naming of this. 0800 00 for half a metre. Who does it? Paul, you can't get sick of fabrics because that's what we sell. 5.99. Oh, no, he meant that he's not sick of fabric. He's sicker than writing. Yeah, we've moved on from the flamingos now, though. Oh, that, oh moving on. Blue next. Blue next. These are gorgeous. I love these colours together. Do you know what I'd do? I think I'd buy half a metre of each and just have them in my stash. This is lovely. It's, oh, yeah, look. That's a lovely blue, isn't it, that one? Oh, that little... Well, little Paul, if that's what the sky looks like at night time around your way, I think you should move. Well, it's a bit busy. Imagine if the sky really did look like that at night. Adele says, good morning, John and crew. Gorgeous sunny day in North Yorkshire. Aww. Uh, Pam says, well, John, that's me doing nothing all morning. You're such a breath of fresh air. Oh, Pam, thank you. You're very sweet, all of you. You're lovely to me. 5 99 this is by half a metre. Isn't it lovely? I think that's gorgeous, that colour. It's a bit early, isn't it? Uh, in a minute, or some point today, you'll hear a noise that sounds like an aeroplane taking off. It's the warehouse upstairs. What is it exactly, Elliot, that's making that noise? Yeah. When they push a trolley, or when they're pushing the trolleys upstairs, they... Oh, a bit like you, Elliot, you're smooth. I have to say, right, I'm going to be a bit, not naughty, this isn't the word, right... When I first met Elliot, about how many years ago was it? About 10 years ago now, Elliot. No, no, how long was it? When you were just, when you were seven years ago, right? He was a bit of a lad, you know what I mean? He was moody and everything like that. He's grown up into such a lovely man, lovely young man, Elliot has. You were allowed, how old were you? Well, how old were you seven years ago? Yes, he was a young, young man, right? And he was moody and he was like stroppy. He's, you, I'm giving you a compliment. Will you take it? Will you take this compliment, Elliot? Look at the fabric. I'm not going to say a word then. I was going to say how lovely, what a lovely young man he's grown into, right? But I'm not going to, no, I'm not going to say that now. No, no, pfft. No, you've had it now, Elliot. No more. Never again will I compliment you now. That's it. I just gave Elliot a compliment. No, 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 no. I like this colour. You had a whole day of compliments the other day, Paul. You've had your, your, um, You've had your... What's wrong with my brain? Why won't the words come into my brain? You've had your f fill of compliments now. Whoever Phil might be. 
Sharon says, please make a shirt out of the blue one, John, and wear it next time you're on. That's tomorrow. I won't be able to make a shirt by tomorrow, Sharon. Morning team from a dreary Newcastle, says Denise. Nikki says, good morning from an overcast Portsmouth. And the table looks really low. Are they adjustable? Low. No, they're not. It's just low. It's just low. Orange next. Orange. Now, you. oh, it's a bit early in the morning to explain about colour therapy, isn't it? You know what the colour orange means? If you're attracted to wear orange, it means you're looking for love. Proper love. You know, like, not just red of passion or yellow of friendship, but orange of whoa, love like that. Oh, it's lovely. We used to work with a boy called Flash, and he always wore orange pants. Always. I don't know what he's up to these days. He married, I think he married a very, very pretty young lady. Like a rock star. Are you talking to little Paul or small Paul? Paul? It's little Paul. Who's small Paul? Little Paul. We've got grumpy Paul in the office. He's not here today. He's working from home. And little Paul is in the gallery. I don't know who small Paul is. No, they're not the same person, even though they, you know, could be. They've got about as much hair as each other. Five nine nine. He says he can kick people, but it's, it's fine on the ankles. He can't reach much higher than the ankles. If he punches, that's a different story. Yeah, no, but you, you always said if we had a punch out, I'd win anyway. Yes, you did. Five ninety nine. What are you talking about, Elliot? I'm not. We're not fighting, really. Just play fighting. <laughs> no thanks. Right. Right. Um, before we do the sheep, can I just show all those colours again together? Because I think they're gorgeous. Look, I'll put it in the table. Elliot can find it. Oh, look, I've got one the wrong way up. I do apologise. Look. Aren't they beautiful, those colours? Right, June saying, oh, John, you're very funny. What does green mean? Oh, I can't remember now. Julie. Julie, my sister-in-law's watching. And Scruff the dog. Uh, Crazy Lorraine says, great to hear your banter with everyone so happy you're part of Sewing Street. And Shelley, who, who's going out with a man, lovely man called Clint, who built her a great big she shed in her garden. And she's just passed all her fashion exams. She's saying it's lovely to see. Oh, they're all saying hello to Shelley now. Right, OK, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Sheep. Now, these are a flock, aren't they? What? Oh, I was going to do the... Oh, no, I'll do the book. Well, let's do all the fabric and I'll do the book then. Right, look at the three colours. We've got jade, pink and sky blue. We'll do pink first. I'm very thirsty this morning. I didn't wake up in the night and drink my bottle of water last night. What does that mean? Oh, now this feels, this feels like poplin again, this one. So it's, it's the same as the flamingo fabric. There you go, 3 99 yeah. It's lovely, but it's lighter weight. It's a lighter weight. Look how far behind Facebook Live is. It's weird, isn't it? Anyway, look, that's pretty, isn't it? And what about that? Oh, give me, yeah, give me the wrong information, Paul. Flock of sheep on pink. Is it upside down? Is it though? Is it though? Who used to say that? Is it though? Oh, that was the, the, one of Catherine Tate's people, wasn't it? Now, hang on. No, I have got it the wrong way up. That's the right way up. It's not multi-directional. Look. Because all of these are that way, up, feet down, and all of those, oh, I don't know. There's none facing that way, that's what I'm trying to say. Be nice if it was in focus, Elliot. Carol says, um, morning, couldn't sleep last night, got up, and I've never had such a clear sky, so many bright stars. Oh, it must be near where, where um, Paul lives. Stuart. Stuart from the wool patch here. Oh, you, Stuart, your ears burned. I was talking to Elliot about you earlier. He's off to the gym at 10. No, no, Stuart is. Um, Blarjar says, you've just made me spit my coffee all over. <laughs> Karen's watching as well now. Anyway, that's lovely. That's the pink one. That's the pink one. Well, I've, you choose. 
I've got either jade or sky blue. We'll go sky blue next. I've done that one there. This is pretty as well. I wouldn't make a, a short and shirt combo out of this though because I think it might be a bit fine for that. Lovely, make, make lovely little girls' dresses, wouldn't they? Or little boys' dungarees. Be nice, wouldn't it? Flock of sheep on sky blue. Camden Town. Karen said it's darling Camden Town. Oh, I do miss being in Camden Town every morning. Oh, when I used to go to Angels every morning. Anyway, three ninety nine for half a metre. Back in the day when I did the major feature films. Do I miss them? I miss the, the team. I miss the camaraderie of them all and everything. But I tell you that it's hard work working in films. People go, oh, what a glamorous, lovely, glamorous lifestyle. I was with, I was talking to Dulcie yesterday and she's about to start the new Matilda film. And it's like, oh yeah, you know the Matilda the musical? She's about to start that. Shepperton Studios. Oh, now this is nice. Isn't this lovely? I've got it upside down, sorry. Isn't she lovely? Right. Does anyone feel that it's like having a calming cuddle, having John on? Oi, no cuddling allowed. Just had a message, my sewing machine is being delivered in 30 minutes, says Glennis. Ray, what did you get, Glennis? 3 99 We've got new Jukies today with Gary. Gary with two R's. 3 99 Yeah, yeah. Got another the last fabric now. They're not dogs, they're cats, aren't they? They're, they're, well, it's got cats on it as well. What colour would you like first? I'll show you the three colours. Three, three. <laughs> Morning, John. Loving the shirt, says Paula. Morning, John. Just watching for another half an hour before I go to the hairdressers. Oh, Jill, I was there yesterday. Dawn says, Morning, John. Something, oh, sunny in Canary Wharf. Aww. Dawn says morning. Right, what, denim? Denim first, I'm presuming that one's denim. This is Rose and Hubble, this one. Now, this is the right way up, but it doesn't look to me as though it is. Eh? No, it isn't, because the, 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 this is the way they've designed it, right? Because the, they always have the selvage on the right-hand side. But to me, that looks upside down. So I'm going to spin it round. I'm spinning around. This is three ninety nine again. This one per half meter. There's definitely cats on there, though, aren't there? Are they puppies? John, you're a wonderful tonic. When I wake up with a migraine, ah, oh, you're very kind, Heidi. Right, my head's going to go into shot because I've seen a cat on there. Hang on. Is my head in shot? Oh, yeah, it's totally in shot. Hang on. There's def oh, where's it gone? There's definitely a cat on there. Hang on, where's it gone? There, that's a cat. Oh, hang on. Should I pick one that's in shot? There are definitely, that's a cat. Well, I'm, graphics out, that's the denim. What colour next? Well, I wouldn't have called this one beige myself. You have to, and there's definitely grey and beige, but I wouldn't call it beige, that's all. Beige next. It's nice. It, I'd call this cafe latte, this one. Oh, we haven't got a... We, we need to get them to get a coffee... them to open a coffee shop round here, don't we, really? Yeah, but they won't have soya vanilla lattes, will they? Uh, Susan says she needs three cups of coffee to kickstart her body going. Oh, my word, Susan. Wirral. No, it's not Wirral. It's Sunny in the Wirral, says Anne Marie. 3 99 Puppy party on beige. Okay, right, I'm going to do that now then. Oh, no, I've got one more. I've got one more. Sorry, I've got a grey. And I've got a grey. I'll do the grey and then I need to, I've got to make an announcement. <laughs> Last time I did that, I was leaving. I've got to make an announcement. I'm leaving. And he's just got here. Yeah, I've just got here. Well, if they don't raise my table, 
That'll be that. That was one of the one of the um, what's it of what's it, wasn't it? Oh, that's nice. That one, the grey, isn't it? No, I don't think I'd want a shirt with little dogs on it though. Sophie's in the woof woof. Who let the dogs out? Uh, Sophie's in the forest of Dean. Nice, that isn't it? That's lovely. That colour, le couleur est gris. Well, I, I, the thing is, Elliot, I think it might be a bit thin for a dog bed. Um, only because only I know, because when um, uh, Ripley came to stay, these feel like pillowcase fabrics and she ripped my pillowcases, didn't she? So she, if, if you make a bed, dog bed out of it. Right, now I just need to tell you something, right? So Gary's in at, il at 11, 11 till 1, because I've got to do five hours live for five hours today. Anyway, he's bringing this brand new show machine. Show, show machine, right? It's already on the website, right? It's on the website. You can do your, your, your split pay on it, right? Do your split pay on it. But they're selling already. I've, only, I've got single figures left already and Gary hasn't even arrived yet. I don't think he'll even left his house in Essex. I presume he's coming from Essex, isn't he? Anyway, have a look at the website, right? Go to the website, right? It is, it is sewingstreet.com. It's not Sewing Street TV. That thing was wrong earlier. Oh, OK. Well, anyway, look. Where's the, where is it? Where is it? Price high to low. You don't need to, it's there. Oh, okay, okay. So that's the machine that we've got coming up, is it? There you go. Oh, that's good value. Now, I, I don't want to be glib and say on 1,100, but that's good for a Dukey machine, isn't it? And you get a free wide table attack. You're saving 80 pounds or 79.99. Now look, split pay works out at £239 a month over five months. So I hate it when they do this on shopping channels because, no, 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 you won't know, Paul. But when you watch a shopping channel, they go, oh, that for £239. You go, it's not £239. It's your first payment. And I'll be honest with you, you know me, I won't do that. Oh, it's yours for 200 Because I just think sometimes if you're just listing half... Half a year. I was going to say something else then, right? There's the graphics, right? You don't, you don't need those in, but uh, we've had single figures already, right? And are we, I can't show you the machine because Gary's bringing it with him. But already they're selling. They're already selling. You can, and also the other thing about the website is, oh, it doesn't say on that one. It normally tells you how many are left. Oh, because it's not here yet. Yeah. Now, it comes straight from, it comes straight from Juki, doesn't it? It'll be distilling from Juki. And they need to, Elliot, you do need to change that. Proud to sell prop. We don't sell gemstones, just so you know. We don't sell gemstones. It's only because we're into the same umbrella. Umbrella, Ella, Ella. Anyway, so please be careful. We've got a, a, a new overlocker coming up, an air threader overlocker coming up. Well, Gary's bringing with him. We haven't got here. Go on then, show the overlocker very quickly. Show the overlocker. Right, here you go. So now, now, if you don't want a Juki, if you want um, a Janome, or if you want a Elna, because four ninety nine, that's the the four. It's back in stock because I got that back in on Friday. So four ninety nine would be your three payment, wouldn't it? Four nine nine would be your three payment. Yeah. Oh, look at look! Oh, 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 oh! Look in the next hour. I've got the no, no. I'm just gonna. Oh, no, I wasn't gonna say that. Go back. Go back. Sorry, sorry. I was about to say, I've got the adjuster forms in the next hour. Split pay on the adjuster forms. Aren't they? Because aren't they £159 on adjuster form? Look. Yeah, shall, shall I just quickly have a look at that big page there? Look, adjuster forms, £159.99. £53.33 a month for over three months. That's in the next hour. Sorry, I'm getting carried away. Let's go and do a book. Let's do a book. Let's do a book. I've got New York Beauties and Flying Geese because I love this book. It finishes 52, I think. KZPU52. Love this book. Love, 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 love this book. There you go. I'll put it into shop for you, Elliot. 15 99 I'll take you through it in a second. It is uncomfortable, Crazy Lorraine. The table is uncomfortable, yes. Pam Minihani saying even her table's adjustable. Are you on for five hours live? Yes, Lo, I am. Have you not been listening? Oh, hang on, Maria. Says, morning, Paul. I can't remember what I seen you on. Was it this morning? Right, Maria, my love. Maria, my name's John. This, 
This is, were you on this morning, Paul? No, I used to be on this morning. Yes, I did fashion for 10 years on this morning, but that was a long time ago. I left 10 years ago. 10 years ago I left. Just 10 years ago. I left in the July, 10 years ago. I've been back on once more. I've been back on when I did the 30th birthday. But that bit, that, Anyway, look, let's have a look at this book. Oh, look, it's a man who's written this. I didn't know that. Carl, he's called Carl. Carl Hench. Doesn't Hench mean that he's hunky? Look. Oh, built. Okay, look. Why, what's, what's wrong with hunky? These are lovely, these are. Look, because each pattern... Where is it then, Elliot? Well, if we'd known, Elliot, you could have got it out, couldn't you? And the cushion. Sorbet. But eat, what happens is each of the... Oh, that's too low, that one, isn't it? Each of the quilt patterns has cushions to go with. I tell you, you make these, make these. Um, oh, Jenny Jackson. Oh, no, and remember, Joy made that one, didn't she? I'm going back now to when I worked at a different company. The legend of yin and yang. The two dragons, you see, the hot and cold dragon. Look at that. All the fabrics I've shown this out, but wouldn't they be lovely? Made out of these. Do you know what I'm saying? I, I'm surprised Hayley didn't do a bundle out of those. She's too busy moaning about me wanting the table raised. That's what it is. I'm surprised she hasn't messaged in. Anyway, that's that book. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Trish Smith says, hello, everyone. Uh, Adele says, I'm loving Facebook Live, sewing whilst watching you with blurry eyes. I'm about to stuff my ham for Christmas. Ham for Christmas? Or do you mean the ham that you're going to iron on? Right, okay, that's that book. What, how are we doing for time? Oh, all right, all right. I've got... No, let's do this because I've not seen this one before. You know I love rainbow prints. This is 14... Mind your head. 14 vibrant rainbow patchwork and quilt projects plus handy techniques, tips and tricks. Modern Rainbow Patchwork Quilts by Paula Steele. £12.99. pence. Right, let me open the book without putting my head in shot. Oh, hang on. Apparently I can move it closer. Yeah, but if I move it closer, I'll tip my head down. All right, then. Go on, then. <laughs> oh, look, I'll put it there. I'm moving it, Elliot. Moving up there. Follow me there. There you go. Rainbow drawstring bag. Rainbow coasters. You'd think this book was called Rainbows, wouldn't you? Rainbow star purse. It's called Modern Rainbow. Oh, neon squares. That's ruined it. Eggs. Oh, that's the fabric. That's something you think. There are 14 vibrant patterns in here. Oh, now look. Now look. I know somebody who's done a pattern very much like that, where they've got rainbow down the side here and white down the side there. It's beautiful. Cabin. That's churn dash. Oh, look, they've just called it vintage dash, that one. Churn dash, that block. Cushion projects. Oh, that's nice. So I was going to tell you what happened this morning, right? So I pulled up at six o'clock thinking, oh, I might be a bit late, a bit late, right? The whole place, not my building, not our building, the actual gate to get into the complex was all padlocked up. So I, I texted Hayley. No, no, no reply. Nothing, nothing. So then little Paul arrived um, and he, he, he knew, that, oh, you'll have to tell me what the code is for that padlock. In case I'm first in tomorrow or I'll just come in late tomorrow. Yeah, well, you wouldn't, Paul, because I've been there 10 minutes when you arrived. But... And then I thought, well, I could go into, is Greg's open? There were a lot of vans going into Greg's. But McDonald's isn't open at that time, is it? Anyway, look, I'll get in a bit later tomorrow because we're going to prep, we'll prep tonight this afternoon before I go. 12 99 this book. I love it. I love this book. Make sure you get it. Make sure you get this book. Pam says, morning, lovely. E oh, I've done that one. Uh, Adele. No, hang on. I've done those. Oh, it's not moved. Uh, so good to see you on Sewing Street. Watching from a blustery Isle of Harris before I get to work on my building renovation. Oh, nice, Lorraine. Very nice. Right, next book. Oh, last book, and then I'm going. I've finished. No, five hours. Five hours live today we're doing. This one's called The Quilters by... Oh, I've had this one before. It's nice, this one. 
The Quilter's Bible by, by, Bo, by Linda Clements, 1599. The Indispensable Guide to Patchwork, Quilting and Applique. Now, the forward is by Lynn M. Edwards. Now, normally, Lynn Edwards has MBE written after her. I know. I was a bit upset that Dulcie didn't get an MBE. Oh, Maria says, sorry, John, you were saying Paul all the time and it confused me. Yes, I know, Stuart. Yes, we have to get in at six. We're supposed to start at six. But Paul's always late and Elliot's always late, so I came in a bit later. 15.99. We should have filled with petrol last night, shouldn't we? Anyway, let's flick through the book. Yes, I did. I was supposed to get petrol last night as well. Oh, stop moaning, Paul. Paul's moaning about having to go and get petrol for the petrol station. Look at all these different uh, techniques. Oh, look. That's like... Um, What's the lady who lives in oh, Anderson? Lynette Anderson, isn't it? She does chickens like that. No, she doesn't look like that. No, no, she, she, she doesn't look like that. <laughs> I didn't say she looked like that. I said her designs looked like that. When's Hannah coming back? Does she still work here or has she been fired, do you think? I can say she's been on holiday for about two months, isn't she? She's, that's the first time I've mentioned Hannah today, Paul. Paul gets very upset when I mention Hannah because he's a little bit in love with her, you see, and he misses her dreadfully. They should have just, they should have just got it together when they could and then it would have all been sorted, wouldn't it? Lovely. 15, well, they're not at the moment, are they? 15.99? Yeah. 15, well, who else is producer at the moment? 15.99. Right, finished. What, where shall, what? The, right, I have a guest. The most popular fabric of this hour is? Which one though? Which one though? <laughs> this one. Now you do surprise me because I thought the dotty fabrics would have won this hour. Wrong way up, there you go. Okay, so that's the most popular of the hour. Lisa say morning all. Susan says, I love the book. So much info in one book there is, isn't there? Uh, anyways, that's 5 99 half a metre. Oh, head. Vines and wines on black. Is that definitely the right code? Yeah. Okay. And guess what the second most popular one is? Red spots. Uh, that goes there, red spots. Now, isn't that funny? Because I would have thought the blue or the green would have been the most popular. Oh, unless people are buying this for Christmas. Maybe they're making Christmas decorations out of this one. Nice. Oh, that's nice. Like the night sky where Paul lives, this is. Lisa's watching. Vicar Lisa. Okay, and then the next best one, next high selling one of the hour is Le Bleu. Oh, hang on, what time is it? I need to tidy up as we go along. I forget, you see, that we have to, we have to do our own tidying up now. We've got nobody to shout at at the end of the show about tidying up. We have to do it all ourselves. Here we go. Oh, it's gorgeous colour. No, it is cobalt. Yeah, or kyanite blue, maybe. God, we haven't said that for ages, have we? Beautiful, 5 99 Colour fun in blue with white spots. You see, it looks busier on the telly than it does in real life. Do you know what it looks like? It looks like New York at night time, doesn't it? If you've ever, ever lived on Manhattan, Manhattan, not night time. No, where you live, you wouldn't get that many people's light windows, would you? I'm talking about all the buildings, you know, like when I used to live on West 16th and 7th, and you'd look out the window and all the blocks of flats in the whole of Manhattan would look like that. You've got what? Oh, you're doing aerial view, are you? I'm doing it from my, because my apartment was on the 16th floor, my first apartment. I just used to look out over Manhattan. What do you want me to do, Paul? Yeah, don't forget next, oh, going for a break. Next hour, we've got adjuster forms and tools. Don't forget tools as well. But we've got adjuster forms and they're on split pay. But I'll explain all of that. When we come back after this break, and I'm going now.
If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business, it was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike and they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool, and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil, and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection, and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters, and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread. like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com alternatively you can message us on our official facebook page Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. 
I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Oh, I don't know. I've just had a little bit of a diva drop here, but don't worry about me. I need to. I know I said this morning, oh, I'm not going to be like that anymore. I'm not going to have it. But I, it's only because I want it to be perfect for you. Um, before, before I do each individual one, I want to show you there are two different mannequins we've got here today, right? There is the sapphire one here. Now, the main difference really is, I'll go through all the details in a second with you, but the blue one here is if you're going to make trousers or shorts, you see the pole that goes down at the bottom there, you can move that one on the blue one to either have it in the center, if you're doing a skirt or a coat or something like that, or you can move it to one side so that you can put it up the trouser leg without it, it going wonky sort of thing. So that's the different, I mean, they're, they're different full stop, but that's the key feature of the blue sapphire one is you can move the pole across, right? Now, what I want to do, so should we start with the gray one? Let me move the blue one completely out of shot and we'll start with the gray one. Now, I've got three different sizes in the gray one. We've got small, medium and uh is it large they call full 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 body full figure right now have a look at this right because these are the sizes here so the small one you see stay on that stay on that screen so i can just have a look the small one can you see it goes from a bust 33 to 41 it goes from a waist 24 to 32 hips are 34 to 42 now that's wrong again it's three split pays. It's three split pays, right? Not five. So you pay 53 pounds and 33 pun punts, pence, right? But this month you would pay the 3.95 posting packaging on top of it. Right, the medium one goes from a 39 to a 47 bust. A 29, because they all have different, there you go, so they have different codes, you see. The, the medium one goes from a 29 to 37 inch waist and the hip is 40 to 48. Now, they're all the more or less the same um, nape to back waist, look, 15 to 17 inches. Then we also do the full figure, right? The full figure. The full figure one goes from 45 inches to 53 inches in the bust. The waist goes from 38 to 46. And the hip goes from 47 to 55. Now, you're most probably wondering, how does that work? Well, the, the brilliant thing about this mannequin is... You've got so many, there's 12, there's 12 adjusters, aren't there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now that's because, the reason they do that is because maybe you've got a slightly bigger bottom then you have a hip. So if you want to add the excess on the back, you can do. Uh, it's very easy. Now, now what I need to say to you is, don't just get it and just don't go, right, open, 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 open them all like that. Gently open all of them. On the day you get it, gently open all of them, but do it that one a little bit, 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 just a little bit at a time. So take it out to its widest and then bring it back in again. And then if you put it to where you want it to be for your body shape, we're not gonna do this today, but you can also pad these up for your actual, because some of us, you know, have got tummies. You see, I, that'd be no good for me, would it? Well, it'd be no good for me because I'm not that shape at all, but if you want to make a tummy, you need to pad that out and everything. What's also fantastic is this one here has a pin cushion at the top here. It's got nylon coated body, so you can stick pins in it all the way around here. Uh, you can make the neck bigger as well on this one. Uh, and as I say, the three different sizes. Now, this is the first time uh, that Sewing Street have been able to offer you this 
uh, on split pay. On split pay. Now it's three payments, three payments, three monthly payments of 53 pounds and 33 pence each. But the first month you have to pay the post and packaging as well. But how brilliant is that? And how much will it cost for you to post this, right? Because it comes in quite a big box, right? Uh, still 3.95 post and packaging. Yeah, yeah. Now what happens is, is you get it in the body section. <clears throat> then you get the pole going down the middle and you get the, the, the kind of stand. Now the stand is done on a tripod with them going in different angles so that it's nice and sturdy and things like that. The other thing you get on this one, which you can just see on that picture there, this is a hem guide. This is fantastic. So if you've done a skirt, right, put the skirt on, you want the hem to be exactly the same all the way around. You get some French chalk and you pop some French chalk in the top of there. And then uh, if you look here, right, and then what you do, oh, hang on, is you just pump it like that. You know, like when, uh, you might not be as old as me, but in the old days, you used to be able to get a spider, didn't you? Uh, that one of these, you do that and it would jump across things. Well, each time you puff it like that, it puts, sends out a little bit of French chalk so that it goes all the way around the hem so you can mark up your hem and everything. So this one, remember, it comes in the three different sizes. We've got the graphic for the... Uh, Full figure at the moment, full figure. There are the sizes. I'll just let you take those in. 159.99, three split pay option, not five, three split pay option. 53.33. So we're just going to show the graphics of the different different sizes because they've obviously all got different codes. There's your medium one there. They're all 159.99, but you've got to get now. If you're thinking, oh, what, size, what size should I buy? What size should I buy? Buy the one that's just slightly smaller than you. So look, look, the medium one's in there, right? So if you're if you're a medium, buy if you're just a, if you're if you come midway in between those size ranges, then buy that one. That's what I would buy. No point in excuse me, no point in buying a great the, the fuller figure one if you're smaller. But you can buy, buy whichever one is just slightly smaller than your body size. They're fantastic, and as I say, you can just literally. This is how the guide. This is how the guides work. The um, expansion guides work. You literally. Just push them down like that very, very gently. And you see, it just opens out a little bit. You just, you just open it out a little bit there till you get the exact right size for you. And you can, you could leave, uh, oh, and also, 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 the, the, the nape to back, back waist, you see this one's at its highest here. You have to go inside to do it, but that could slide down to there if you're more short-waisted, because I think it's 15 to 17, didn't we say? So if you want it 15, you slide that bit down. This will be a 17-inch nape-to-back waist, that measurement there, 15 to 17 inches. 159.99. Uh, fantastic to have. I mean, they're, they're brilliant. They're brilliant. If you just have, to, especially in this day and age, where, you know what I mean? Know what we're going through at the moment? You can't always get your friends around to fit something, can you? Because I would always say, if you're making yourself a dress, get a friend to come around and fit it, or a, a, a dressmaking friend to come. Can't do that. Can't do that, at the moment, especially with all these new rules in, which I don't really understand. But anyway, that one is your beautiful, beautiful 159.99. There's the sizes, right? They are the three sizes that you need for the. Uh, Deluxe, deluxe in charcoal, deluxe in charcoal. Right, now you most probably hear me moving things around. Oh, ow, I've just walked into the shelf, hang on. Here we go. So this one here, this one's the sapphire one. So let me tell you about the sizes of the sapphire one. Uh, this one looks more full of figure, doesn't it? But again, here are the measurements. Now these don't come in small, medium and large. These come in, I didn't think we had all three of these, but obviously we have. So here's the A, right? Now the reason this is called the So Deluxe leg form is because you can move the central pole to the side. So if you're doing trousers, then it's perfect for that. So the A is 33 to 41 inch bust. Uh, 26 to 33 and a half inch waist and hips 36 to 44 inches. That's A, right? B, B is the 39 to 47 inch bust, the 32 to 40 inch waist and the 41 to 49 inch hip. Again, oh look at the, look at the back, Nate's back waist there. They're, they're, for, for, I would have said they were all 15 to 17, but the middle one is 15 to 17 inches. Now, while we bring the graphics in of C, right, 
I want you to have a look at the little picture to the right hand side of those measurements because that's it with the pole in at the side but also look that's got a different that has a different hem marker on it right that hem marker is one that you set it so many inches from the floor uh, our stand our one in the studio doesn't have it on there and now that one doesn't have the puff puff one doesn't have that one at all it has the pin pin one so as you go round the hem you literally put a pin in as you go round doing the length anyway so this is c this is size c this is a 38 to 46 inch bust 38 to 46 inch waist and then the 47 to 54 inch hip so i'm thinking i've got the b or the c one here with me on the stand but i like this one i like this one um and this is the one that you can move you can move the stand in the middle to make it trousers i think i've got it in the middle at the moment yeah it's actually in the middle at the moment but you can move it if inside here there's another socket and you can just move it across that's in the center right you can move it so that the leg comes out here so you've got trousers but what i need to point out on this one is i'm just going oh i don't know if i need to tilt it forward can we show that elliot we just get the camera in place you have to come from above elliot because look can you see there there's actually a dial so you can make the neck bigger and smaller by turning the dial i can't turn it now because it's not open it's not open yet so you need to open you'd need to open this out a little bit like this so this is the first time that we've um or sewing street have offered i say we i've only just started but the first time that sewing street have been able to offer you these on uh, split pay and you literally turn that oh hang on that's a bit stiff I can't see oh no you push it down push it you push it down and then you twist oh there you go there you go and you can make the neck look 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 can you see so you push it down and turn it and you can make the neck to whatever size you need I'll do it again I'll do it from the side so you can see look 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 can you see brilliant isn't it so you push down and turn push down and turn again it's the nylon covered bud oh sorry i shouldn't do that sorry madam <laughs> I'm sorry. right you can pin through it's not a problem you can pin so if you're going to be doing um you know building pattern cutting on the stand you can do all of that because you can put the pins in and everything like that again you can move the waistline up and down to make it a shorter or a longer um nape to back waist so your nape to back waist measurement here and again look at how many I, I, if you want to go and do your research because a lot of them it's not just from don't have as many of these i don't know what i think they call them gears don't they or something but they haven't got as many of those um turny wheelie things to make it bigger and smaller sort of thing but they're very very good quality and as i can say the first time we've a, ever been able to offer them or saying street have ever been able to offer them on your three it's not five months it's not five months because elliot says he's very sorry he's very sorry it's all him it's a three month it's three months because it's 159.99 so it's 53.33 a month right plus the first month you'll pay your full four pack now how much is postal packaging 3.95 post and packaging i know brilliant isn't it it's absolutely brilliant now i need to tell you that it'd be very very popular already we're very limited on stock very limited on stock already Okay, the medium in the grey, over half the stock's gone. The medium of the grey. Do you want to put the graphics in? I'll just pull it in. There you go. So this is the medium grey, over half the stock has gone. And I'll show you the measurements again in a second for that. I'll just wait for the graph. There you go. So there's the medium grey. More than half the stock of those have gone already. Could we possibly have the measurements for the grey again? Would that be possible? There you go, there you go. So the medium one, more than half the stock has gone. Oh, I shouldn't turn on sideways, should I? I look a bit fat if I turn on sideways. Three split pay option, 53.33 a month. I know. Now, if you've got any questions, you can ring the call centre. 0800 001 4433. They are literally down the road. They'll be able to answer your call and give, answer you any questions. If they don't know the answer, I'm sure they'll get in touch with Elliot or Paul and um, tell us. This, oh, this say you can send in your question. If you want to send us a question, and I'll get Paul to check, right? Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. I've got the, I've got the um, Facebook Live page open, but it's over there on the table. I can't see it right here. 
The emails come straight through to Paul in the gallery. He's going to have a look now, see if anyone's messaged him. Oh, hello, cousin Susan. She says, it's good to see me. Thank you. Oh, West Dorset. Angela says, it's lovely in West Dorset today. OK, so shall I move over there now? I, I can always come back. If you've got any questions about the adjuster form, please message in and I'll come back. I can always come back here. Now, I can't walk in shot anymore like I used to be able to. So have a look at this instead while I walk over. There you go. That's the way to get your messages in. Or, of course, I've got the Facebook Live open while I'm here. My shirt looks nice on telly, doesn't it? Right, hang on. So, Pauline says, John, you explained the dress form so well. Ah, oh, thank you, Pauline. I thought I wasn't doing a very good job today, but that's very good. That was brilliant. Thank you. Earlier, be quiet. You, you, you've done it now. You've, you know. Denise says, it's nice to be back on the telly. Oh, someone's broken their leg. Hang on. Oh, where's that become? Oh, Denise got a sapphire adjuster form last month and she loves it. Excellent value for the price. Thank you, Denise. Um, oh, hang on. Joanne says, morning all. You wake me with a good feeling and are keeping... Go oh, that's Joanne with the broken legs in hospital. Oh, Joanne, you take care. Right, OK, I'm moving on now. Moving on. Crazy Lorraine sent lots of messages in, but you can see them if you read if you're reading it at home. Oh, now, lots of people have come in for the add a quarter inch rulers. And I was the one who said, what's that doing in this hour? Me having my diva strop as per usual. Right, let me make a bit of a space. I've, I've set this out and I've done it wrong. Right. No, 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 no. As in, remember when we, we used to work at Stone Quarter? I said, leave the middle of the table empty. Leave the... Well, that's when I was a diva, you see. Yeah. Not like that anymore. Much. Right. So the reason people have started buying them already is because everything from today's show is already on the website. So, because we're doing five hours live today, the next hour is all exclusive to Sewing Street, right? People are already going in, buying panels and kits and all sorts of things. So, people are already started buying this. Now, this is the best way to buy these rulers. These are for... Let me get them the right way up. These are for... Um, FPP foundation paper piecing. That's when you get a piece of paper, you turn it upside down, you sew, and then you cut it off. Because because what it is, I'll pick this one up, right? You see here, that little step there, can you see that? Can you see there? Hang on, let me hold it that way. The ridge there, the little step there, is exactly quarter of an inch. So what you do is you rest that bit up against the seam. Oh, what was that? Anyway, you rest that up against the seam and then you put your rotary cutter along there and you cut it off so it's exactly a quarter of an inch, right? That's your six inch version. That's your 12 inch version. You get both. You get both, which is why I'm saying it's best to buy it this way because you get both 24 99 Now, this is what it's like in the gallery at the moment. This is Little Paul. This is Elliot. Well, it's true, isn't it? 24 99 but in, in Paul's mind, this is Paul, and that's Elliot. Oh, stop it. How can that be picking on you? I'm just telling the truth. He's so sensitive, little Paul, I can't tell you. Oh, it's Elliot. I thought that was Paul moaning. I've got a what for question. Oh, just a phone question. Derek? No, Derek. I don't think we will. Is that Derek? Is it, which Derek is it? Oh, hello, Derek. How are you? Um, I don't think we are, but I'll ask for you. I know when we were at Sewing Quarter, we didn't do adjuster forms for men, but we did do the other sort for men, didn't we? But it was like £900 or something. Let me ask, Paul, will you write it down for me? And I'll ask the buying team when they come in later. Oh, no, they won't be in today. Won't be in today. Tuesday's work from home day. So next Tuesday, am I on next Tuesday? Yeah, I'll do it from home next Tuesday, maybe. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Could you set this up in my house, Paul? If I could work from home next Tuesday, that'd be lovely. Thank you. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm three sizes in one section, but another size on the adjuster form. Right, hang on, Pauline. So what do you need to know? Pauline... You might not want to put your messages on, your measurements on here. I do, what, well, what have I said? What have I said about Crazy Lorraine? 
She says, yes, he does love me, really. Uh, for the bust, I use a well-fitted bra. Yes, pad it out to your size totally. Um, Pauline, and she says, I'm three sizes in one section, but only one size in another one. I don't quite understand. Oh, hang on, Jules are sent in them. Oh, hang on, there's messages coming in in different places. Oh, now. Oh, cool. Oh, press the... Jules says, can you give my ma'am, Patricia McDowell, a shout out? Oh, she has a heart attack. Oh, no, Jules. You see, that I've for some reason, I've gone to notifications. Hang on, let's all press that. Paul. Oh, no, I think I've done it. I've done it. I think. There you go. I've done it. Done it. Light box next. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. What it is, is if you want to send the messages, don't send them on Messenger. Send them on the live page because they don't get the Messenger ones. It just so, so happened that I was just looking at it there then. Right. Right. I've got two light boxes here. They're exactly the same, but obviously, again, Elliot and Little Paul. Elliot and Little Paul. Right, so I'll do the big one first. This is A3, is it, this one? Is that A4? The other one, then. Right, OK, now you need to plug it in. Excuse me. You do get the plug and you do get the wire. Hey, okay, what? Oh, hang on, a bit of technological here. The thing is USB. Right, the cable is USB. So you can plug it into your sewing machine or your computer. Or now also, who is it I know that's just moved into a new house? And where the plug sockets are on the wall, just above it, there's a USB thingy as well. Oh, Elliot's got that in his new house. Oh, that was Paul, sorry. You see, I can't tell the difference. They're both as brummy as each other. Um, you've got that in yours, Paul. But yours is Edwardian. Anyway, this is the A3 one, right? Right, okay, three different, uh, I haven't got the box here, so I can't read out what it is. It's LED lighting. It's got your centimetres down the side there. You've got an on-off switch here, and, and there's one, two, three, three different light settings on this. So that's off, that's the palest, that's the middle one, and that's the brightest. Can you see the difference on those? Thank you, little Paul. So I've got the box for the A4 here, but they'll be the same thing. So... They're lightweight, USB, dimmable. They've got 1,450 lumens. You've got 50,000 hours of light and energy saving. They're energy saving. That's the box it'll come in. That's obviously the A4. Yours will cut. This one will be in a bigger box, obviously. It's got a natural daylight effect, low heat, low energy. Uh, dimmer switch. I've told you about the dimmer switch, haven't I? USB. Oh, hang on. It says USB or battery. That can't be right. How do you fit an AAA battery in there? Constant light across the whole panel. Oh, non-slip feet. I haven't told you about that. Let me show you the back. Non-slip feet there. So where's the battery? Yeah, but where does it go? Oh, oh, okay. I, I haven't got a laptop. So, so, okay, so hang on. So if I've got it plugged into the electricity like this and I've got it switched off, is that charging? So if you leave it charging, and then you can use it without the, elect without the electricity. Is that what you're saying? So if you go to the caravan for the weekend, mind you, caravans have plugs in these days, don't they? Where is it then? What battery. USB mains, which is what I've got here. Or battery operated. Oh, oh, and a two metre cable as well. Oh, you better tell if you're near. You could put this piece of cable out and see who's, who's meant to be near you. Uh, oh, it's all then. I don't understand what that is. It's in different languages then. Constant lichter overhead gehela panil. I don't know what that is. Start the. Oh, look, there it is, there it is. Oh, now, right, now, no, no, now. This is of, let me move on to the smaller one. Let me move on to the smaller one now, because maybe you don't want that one. You want the smaller one. This is the... Uh, 
You see, this weighs nothing, right? This weighs absolutely nothing. It's brilliant. This one's got different feet on it. That one had little round feet on it. This one's got long, thin, square feet, oblong feet. There you go. So that's it on its brightest. Now, when it arrives, it comes in one of these little... Um, now, what's that made of? It's like a soft foam, right? But look, 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 look. It also comes with four corner units, right? What I would do is I would keep it in this the whole time and put these... Oops, I've just unplugged it. And put these on and keep it in the box and put it under the bed or put it under the table. So that's going to keep it safe, isn't it? Because what you don't want to do is have it out, out like that, put it on the floor, somebody walks in, like if little Paul comes to visit, treads on it or something like that. I don't want, you don't want that at all. This is the plug. I'm just going to unplug it. Oh. This is the plug you get with it, right? With the USB thingy in the end there. Can you see that? Which gallery, which camera am I pointing? There you go. There you go. So it's got a USB thingy in there. But obviously you can put that in your computer, in your sewing machine, wherever you've got a USB stick. Now, this is supposedly two metres, right? That's not two metres. No, because that is your height, isn't it? And I'm not two metres tall. I'm only about 178, I think. Do we not have a tape measure in this place? No, I'm not over six foot. There you go, I'll measure it now. I'm just saying, I'm only doing it so you know at home. You don't think, oh, I've been shortchanged. Right? No, 150. This is 150 centimetres in length, this. Right, so it's one and a half metre cable. I'll get that changed, I'll get that changed. Oh, no, it's on the box. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where did I just see it? No, it isn't, Paul. I've just, me I've just measured it. Oh, does this doesn't belong to this one? Oh, honestly, I thought everything was going to change when I came here, but Elliot. It says two metres on the box, so measure yours when you get home, right? This one's only a metre and a half. But you don't need it any longer than that anyway, do you, really? I haven't charged this one up yet, though. But anyway, it comes in the box there. That's what I'm trying to show you there. Comes in the box there. Right, we're moving on. Oh, yes, nearly half past, look. Calico. Yeah, I'm reading it, Jangan. What did I say to you this morning? No, no, I just want it to be right, Paul. I'm not being divery. I just want it to be right, that's all. Calico. Oh, people have been buying the calico all morning. Oh, now it's quite narrow, this calico. Now, this is a very, very lightweight calico. Very, very, this is lovely. Oh, I love the smell of calico. This is lightweight calico. I'm sorry, hang on. What was that? Oh, right, I've only got 30 metres left. Only got 30, so 60 units I've got left, right? No, it won't, it'll fly out. It'll fly out, because whenever I used to bring calico to you, it used to fly out. This is a lovely, lovely luxury weight, lightweight calico. 249 for half a metre, though. That's what you get for your 249. Now, I say that was about 55 inches wide, is it? I'll double check. Oh, I love the smell of calico. Oh, hang on, is that a joke? Okay, so... I had to take measure a minute ago, didn't I? No, it's not there. Oh, it's over there. Somebody nicked it. No, no, I can measure it. It's fine. I think it's... A 
because calico's normally 60 inches wide, isn't it? This one, oh! <laughs> My arms have obviously grown. That's 60 inches wide. <laughs> How weird is that? I've obviously been away too long. That's been the problem, hasn't it? <laughs> this is gorgeous, this calico. I love it. Oh, it's maybe stiff though. 60 inches wide. Who told you any different? Good quality, lightweight calico, that. Be nice that to do embroidery as well. But I love, you see, if you make it, if you're twirling up a dress or you're pattern cutting on the stand, this is perfect for when you're doing pattern cutting on the stand. Oh, yeah. Now, these, these are brilliant, right? Right, now, Elliot promises me there are 50 in here. Two, 46, oh, 48. There's only 48. Someone's been at them since last week because I put 50 in there. Anyway, you don't get them. You, This is how you get yours. You get them in little, oh, sorry, head. You get them in a little bag like that. I only tip them out so you can see how many you got. I love the fact that they're all different colors. They're fantastic, aren't they? You get 50 of them for 19.99. Uh, Paul uses his every, sing every single day. <laughs> Paul uses them to hang his washing out. I wouldn't advise that, though. It's smalls. Little Paul's smalls. Multi-purpose sewing clips, 50 of them for 19.99. Oh, hang on. What are you saying now? Oh, I'm having one of those mornings today. It's because I'm having to do five hours. It's put me in a. It's put me in a thingy. Oh look, Shelley's going to a she shed. She's got Christmas presents to make. What are you making me this year, she, Shelley? She shed. Stuart's laughing at something. I don't know what I've done wrong. But anyway, these are brilliant. Nineteen ninety-nine. Keep going through for those because you get fifty of them in a bag. Look. Now are they just are they the same colours or are they different colours? Do you know what? So the people in the warehouse, so we get them in a box of millions, right? And then the people in the warehouse, do they just dip in, do you think? They don't count all of, there's more pink in that one, isn't there, than there was in this one. Do what one? Oh, they do it by weight, so they don't count them. Oh, well, let's hope they do a proper full-on weight then. But anyway, no, but how do they pick which ones are pink and which one, how many pink ones go in? Do you think it's like, a, like in the old days, remember you used to go for pick and mix at Woolies and you used to shove your... What was that little scoop thing in? You know what I mean? And, oh, you won't remember. And if you were lived in Chester, yeah, you used to go to Quaint Ways, right? And they used to sell broken biscuits like that. Do you remember? Oh, that takes me back. What is calico used for, says Julie. Right, Julie, calico is used for, I always used to use it for pattern making, but you can put it on the back of quilts. You can use it to embroider on. You can use it for ba um, all, all sorts of fat. It's a beautiful, beautiful, hard way fat. It dyes up beautifully. If you wash it, right, wash it first, get rid of the dressing, and then dye it, it dyes up beautifully. When I worked in theatre, uh, all the, all the uh, curtains in the wardrobe were made out of different coloured calicos. We used to block print it and everything. Um, you can make clothes out of it as well. Make clothes out of it as well. It's lovely, hard wearing. This one's a, a bit of a lightweight one. If you're going to do things like that, I'd go for a slightly heavier weight. I'm not, I need to talk to Haley about that because that's the lightweight one. Okay. Uh, mini steam iron. Now, I've got this one here. Oh, there it is. Oh, well, they didn't listen to me the other day, did they? I said, before anyone else uses this one, it needs cleaning. This has been cleaned, has it, Elliot? Not coming to your house, then, if that's you thinking it's clean. Right, 39 .99. I've got one of these. They're brilliant. They're brilliant, right? Let me show you from the front here. Ooh. Uh, do we not sell iron cleaner here? Right, so this is a steam iron, right? Ready? That's where your water goes in. There your water levels. So you can see little windows there. This little button here, steam on, steam off, steam on, steam off. That there is your temperature guide, like an old-fashioned temperature guide. The little red light here comes on when you first plug it in, and it goes off when it's hot enough. You turn it around that way, and it's got a little steam holes in it there. And believe me, I could iron a shirt. With, if we had an ironing board here, I could iron my shirt with this. We just don't own it. 
We haven't got an ironing board here, right? Oh, we've got a little Paul's ironing board coming up in this hour, right? Then, look at this, right? It's not on, don't worry, it's not on. Look at the length of the cord it comes with. Now, this one really does come with a nice long cord. I bet that's two metres, right? Then, um, look at this handle. So if you have issues, dexterity issues, this is brilliant. It's got a nice weight to it, but it's not too heavy. A lot of people buy this as a, as a travel iron. And um, Hayley took this one on holiday with her when she had her last holiday. Oh, is it? Steam iron, it's called. It doesn't say travel. No, Prim call it a dampful burgle eisen, which is steam iron. Ideal for needlework, handicrafts, and when travelling. So that's a, that's a travel iron, isn't it? Uh, here. But also, what you get, what I'm not showing you here, is you get a little blue bag that it travels in, a carry case, and it comes with its own little plastic, um, like, a, like a little jug to fill it up with. Oh, OK, I can't open that, can't open that. But it's got a little jug in it. I don't know if it's here. No, it's not here. Yeah, yeah, it's not here now. But anyway, £39.99, nice little Christmas present. That, mind you... My mum used to say when we were little, because in my day, they used to have uh, Christmas presents for ladies were like hoovers, irons and cookers and things like that. And my mum used to say, if you buy me something like that for Christmas, you'll get it thrown at you. Get it thrown back at you. All right, hang on, let me look at these quickly. Morning. Oh, nice to meet you, says Sam. Hello, Sam. I've not met you before. Um, morning, John. When you're on, I'll put my breakfast on a tray so I won't miss a minute. I have a request for the management. Oh, here we go. Could we please have a meet the team page on the website? We've met Neil and we'd love to meet the competent, <laughs> helpful staff. We haven't got any of those. We haven't got any of those. Hannah, well, you've seen Hannah because she comes on air. You don't want to see Hayley because she'll break the computer. Elliot, well, he's too busy pressing buttons. Little Paul, you must have seen Little Paul. No mention of Cat. They don't want to see Cat. I'm only reading them out. I'm only reading them out. I'm not, I'm not making it up. Pauline says that iron is very good for university students. I'm sorry, what student at university irons anything these days? Five irons left, that's all. Five irons left. Let's do masks. Oh yes, this is little Paul's ironing board, this one. I'll show you why in a second, right? It's only 7 99 It's called a mini, is it called a mini pressing, uh, pressing board, right? Ready? Now, there's mini and there's absolute mini, isn't there? What would you use that for? Or oh, Paul could put his whole jeans on there. Paul can put the whole of his... <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> Foldable for easy storage. Well, it is, look. Anti-skid feet. Yep, got that. Perfect for quilting. Can you imagine putting a double bed quilt on there? And great alternative to bulky ironing board. Nine inches by four inches. It's three and a half inches when it's up. And the cover, oh, the cover's non-removable. That's, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's not right, is it? Because you can take that off. They need to update their box, don't they? Look, you can take it off. Yeah. How funny, because it definitely says the cover is non-removable. Well, I'm sorry, I was just about to take, look, look, you can take it off. Anyway, but that way you can use it as a pattern to make a new one, couldn't you? I don't like those silver grey ones. I'd, I'd get some nice cotton and make a nice one of those. Put some Thermalan underneath it. Uh, <clears throat> right, what else have I got on this side? I've got, right, let's do a seam ripper next. I'll do everything, oh no, oh, I'll do the seam ripper, right? And then I'll do this lamp. I haven't done the lamp yet. Done that, done that, done that, I haven't done those yet. Haven't done those shit. I'll just get everything to put on side so I can know what I've done and what I've not done. Done that, done that. That's my belt rubbing on the low table that you can hear there. If I ruin my very fabulous Paul Smith belt buckle, there shall be words. Right, what am I doing? Seam ripper. I said that tonight. It's everyone so every sewer's best friend, this, isn't it? Oh, it's up. Oh no, it's the right way up. Two no no, no, I got it the right way up. Two ninety nine for a seam ripper. Mm. 
John, with the prim iron, does it stand up end on when not in use or do you need... Here! Uh, who answered it? There you go. Oh, Jackie got into it. Jackie got to it before I did. Look, Jackie Lewis. Um, I've just ordered the blue mannequin, but notice the sizing on size C appears to be wrong. The info shows the waist and bust measurements are the same. Is that right? We got it from the adjuster form. Oh, yes. I don't know now. We got it from the adjuster form website. Is this right? Oh, I don't know. I'll have to have a look for you. Which size were you looking for? Size C. Yeah, no, I read, I read it out. I thought it was odd. It says that the bust and the waist, they, somebody's typed it up wrong, haven't they? They've typed the same measurements twice. Have I got a C here? Is that what I've got? No, no, no. I read one of them out and it said they were exactly the same. We can look. No, there you go. C. Look, C, bust and waist are the same. Look at the bottom one, Paul. No, no, no. Yeah, that's from a just form. I reckon, well, let's have a look at the one above it, right? So B is 39 to 40. I think it's the bust measurement that's wrong. I think the bust will be bigger than that because look, the one above. Do you know what I think they've done? Oh, no, I need to, sorry, I need to look at that earlier. Um, yes, there is a mistake there. I think the bust will be bigger because look at B, the bust is 39 to 47. So I think C will be the next size up. Oh, I don't know. That's come from a adjuster form though. I'll need to, well, hang on. Paul's got something. Paul's got something. He's going to the doctors later. Oh, here you go. Right, so what size is it there then? Yeah, look, so B, the waist is 32 to 40 and C is 38 to 46 and the bust on B is 39. There you go, there you go. So it's the bust size. Well spotted. The bust size on the C is 45 to 53. Well done, Paul. That's off a different website, so I think the one we showed from the adjuster form website is the wrong one because he wouldn't have them the same size, would you? But well spotted, Pauline, well spotted. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Jenny says, I've just, oh, it was Jenny, 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 sorry. Jenny, there, there you go, hope that helped, Jenny. And that's it for now, right? Click on picks done. Let's do this then. This is plugged in. This is plugged in, so I haven't got the box here, but look. Oh, that's a nice bright light, isn't it? This is a pure light LED hobby lamp with accessories tray. Nice little Christmas present this, isn't it? Very bright. Just the one setting, obviously. You put your pencils in there or you quick unpick. Hang on, I've got nothing here to show you, though. I've got a pen on the desk. Where's the, all the accessories come? Oh, thank you, Paul. Oh, pen's behind me. I'm new here. I don't know, you see. Oh, brilliant, yeah. Look. Thank you, little Paul. Um, well, I'm just wondering, because some seam rippers, this one wouldn't fit, because that's got a fat bottom. But hand sanitizer could go there. Look, there you go. Oh, <laughs> so it's 210 lumens. I don't know what that means. It means bright. 6,000 Ks, 25,000 hours in the light bulb, and it's energy saving. Natural daylight effect, low heat, flexible, flexible neck. Flexible neck, you see, look. It's good, isn't it? What have they got in there? Oh, they've got... You don't get the hand sanitizer or the pens with it, and it's mains operated, right? I'll take that out of there, and that goes there. That goes there. Mains operated. It's nice, isn't it? I like that. That's like in the old fashioned time when I was doing this at school, that'd be your homework lamp, wouldn't it? 
y se disculpe. No, no. Oh, uh, Elliot says when he was, used to um, be reading what he shouldn't have been reading and didn't want the parents to see the big light on. 1699, when he was learning about sewing and things like that. Yeah, he doesn't know anything. Didn't do him any good, did it? But I ask him about collagen, and he's brilliant. Oh, Elliot, but just because you said, my brother's a doctor doesn't mean I can do an operation. <laughs> he said his sister studied fashion. Anyway, 1699. Gorgeous. Righty-ho. Uh, right, so I've got all of this left that I haven't done yet. So let's do the seams. Now, Karen, Karen's been in, apparently. I missed her. Which one do you want to do first, sorry? There's 59 is the, 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 do that one first. Do this one first. Now, I don't know if I've got one open. Oh, but if you, if you watch my um, Facebook Lives on a Sunday, I've got one of those open. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to touch it. I've got one of those open behind me in my, on my shelf at home. It is behind me. 13.99. Now, this has been 13.99 since it was introduced. It's never gone up in price. Susan loves that lamp. It's the best one she's ever bought. Oh, Dawn says, I'm very irreverent. What does that mean? Dawn, what does that mean? Is that bad or good? 13.99. It's hand cream. It's beautiful hand cream. It smells delicious. And do you know what's brilliant about it? Lots and lots of sewers use it because it sinks, sinks in is not the right terminology, is it? It is absorbed into the epidermis very quickly so you can carry on sewing. And it's got all sorts of gorgeousness in it. £13.99 for the hand cream. Always a bestseller. £13.99. Right now, the next thing I'm going to show you... Oh, that was my belt, sorry. Um, I've not seen this before. Oh, I need, ha I need some nail oil. Right, I won't, I won't open that one. I'll put that there. Now, apparently Vix loves this. Go to the project, don't go to me, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I ran out of mine. I didn't know Karen did it. Oh, it smells nice. It's got rose hip, black currant, and peony root. Oh, that's nice. I'll just do the other hand now. You need a tiny, tiny, tiny bit. I'm just telling you now. You don't need much at all. Oh, that's nice. Look. Oh, sorry, you're not messing my hand. Look. That looks a bit oily now because I've put too much on. But oh, oh, look, that's lovely. I can feel that absorbing into my nails now. That's nice. Oh, yes, that's lovely. Now, I know it might look a bit greasy on telly, but it's not. Oh, oh yes, that's nice. Because normally the one I've got is almond oil, and I don't like almonds. Rose hips good with vitamin C, apparently. Elliot's telling me. Black currant, spelt incorrectly, I think. This is currant, spelt like um, electricity current. Black currant is an antioxidant, and peony root extract. I'll just put that there. So that's those are the two things I need to ask about later. Right, put that there. Right, I can carry on, carry on. Let's do this because I was supposed to do this the other day, and we didn't have the graphics for it. And I love this. For some reason, this was on my desk the other day on my trolley, but we didn't have the graphics for it. Now, you know CL, lovely CL, she uses this all the time. I'll let you have a look at it first. Oh, it's the wrong, oh, I keep forgetting. You see, now, you know what's going to happen is after all this pandemic's over and I go back out there doing exhibitions and everything, I'm going to be doing everything towards myself, right? So this is the pen, right? So th this is the pen, right? So the way it works, I'll just need to go like this, wait for Elliot to come. Oh, that's there already, right? You press the button this end and watch at this end here, right? So that it's like something on um, Thunderbird, right? Oh, hang on, I can't get it to work. There you go. Look. And there's the chalk inside there, right? What? Thunderbirds? Didn't they make a film of it last year? But then you also get, in the box, you also get different coloured chalks and white chalks, right? And you even get a special little pencil sharpener Look, that you just put the chalk inside. Now, remember, when using a pencil sharpener, you always turn the sharpener, not the pencil. That's, yep, 
always, no matter what pencil sharpener you're using, use the sharpener. Because if you think about those old fashioned ones at school, you put it in like that, then you turn the handle like that, the pencil doesn't move, does it? It's the sharpener that moves. That's a good little, how much is it? 14 99 Fabulous Christmas present, that. Okay, graphics out on that one. Oh, now Janice loves this. She doesn't have, Janice doesn't have this make. But you know, Janice, she was in recently, wasn't she? She loves these, right? Seam gauges. It's only 3 99 look. £3.99, pence. that is. So, I'll keep my head back. You've got a four centimetre along here. You've got a two centimetre here, a three centimetre there, one and a half centimetres there, one centimetre there. Not quite sure how big that one is in the middle. This would be no good for me because I don't work in centimetres, I only work in inches. But it's a three, four and six centimetre bottom seam. Oh, <laughs> I don't mean that. It says bottom seam on there. I wonder what the bottom seam is. One and a half and two centimetre side and shoulder seams. And once... There you go. One centimetre armhole and neckline. Three pounds and 99 pence. Fab, okay. Oh, I can't change yet because Paul's not in there. Okay, where are we going next then? Oh, the serrated edge scissors, here we go, towards me. Prim, serrated edge. These are very good if you're doing viscose or jersey. Well, they cut anything at all. What you must not do with these is put them through a, a, um, a scissor sharpener. If you put these through a scissor sharpener, you will ruin them. Ruin them. Right, these are nice, these are prim. I like the shape of these. Lightweight, nice big um, room there for you. Have we got these out, actually? No, no, no. Yeah, now I've got the box of scissors here, but not these. Never mind. It's just nice to see them in action, isn't it? Haley always likes us to cut fabric with them, doesn't she, when we do a... Oh, no. Somebody's been in and moving things around over the... When I've not been here. Anyway, 39.99 now. Shears now by Millwoods. These would be a lovely Christmas present. I thought the cameras could move. Sixteen ninety nine. These are now they're called heavy duty. They're not that heavy, but they're a nice weighty scissor. Uh, Sixteen ninety nine. These are heavy duty dressmaking shards. Okay, right, I've got two things left and about two minutes, so that's good. So let's do the Roxanne. Now, Roxanne, you don't have to put on the red light. Roxanne. No, it's about, um, what, was the, what was the man with the big nose? No, not Pinocchio. What's the film? Gerard Depardieu. Gerard Depardieu. Oh. No, no, but he, he, his character, what's his character? It's who? What did I say? I thought it was Gerard Depardieu. Gerard Depardieu. No! It's a period movie. What's he called? Um, um, no, Gerard Depardieu. It might have been your... That might have been the modern version when he was a fireman. Somebody will message in a minute and tell me, won't they? Anyway, Roxanne's the character, isn't it? The lady character. And he's called... Anyway... These are huge in America. These are massive. What's that in the middle bit there? Oh, they're the, they're the tops to the pencil. They're the quilting pencils. These are brilliant for marking up your quilters. Two white and two silver. And again, turn the sharpener. Not. Now, we do, we do, do, do. Well, I don't know if we do, do, do. But these we normally sell individually. If you've already got this, you then don't want to buy this again, do you? Because you can buy replacement pencils. Good morning, lovely John. Oh, it's Marcia. Obrigado, Marcia. Hope you're happy on Sewing Street as we are having you back on the TV. Oh, thank you, Marcia. You're so lovely. Marcia's from uh, Brazil, but she lives in northwest England now. And her husband says, I'm the bane of their lives. Because every time he puts the telly on, there I am. Ewan, Ewan, that is. Oh, actually, Ewan did a lovely join of me for my birthday. I'll bring it in one day. Last thing of the hour. Iron-on transfers, 
Serrano de Bergerac, thank you. Who was that? Sharon, thank you. Serrano de Bergerac, that's who it was. Paul says he knew that, just didn't want to say. This is iron-on interfacing. You get a metre square, 3.99. This is ideal. For, I mean, you need this. Oh, actually, who was on the other day? Adele, with two L's. Sky Paul, this is Sky Paul. Uh, anyway, she, um, she didn't have any interfacing. So I said, just buy it from us, you'll have some then. After the break, now this is the extra hour after the break. It should have been Gary doing Dukey, but he's not coming until 11 now. After the break, everything is exclusive to Sewing Street, whether it's kits or panels or anything like that. Or, of course, Little Paul. He's exclusive to Sewing Street. As, oh, no, Elliot's not. Elliot's not. But anyway. Oh, you are now? I thought you said you were allowed through that door because you still worked in them as well. Anyway, I'm going. I will see you in four minutes from. You ready? Now. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello, my name's Fiona Hesford and I'm founder of Sew Girl. I'm based down in Worthing on the south coast of England. And I've got a range of sewing patterns which I've developed over the last few years, which are projects for loose fitting clothing, everyday, simple garments, things that I really love to wear myself. And I'm going to be bringing you them to Sewing Street over the next few months. So I look forward to seeing you then. Bye. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Hi, I'm Rosie Wells. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits. Feeling good, it's about looking great. Making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside. And it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com.
Hi, I'm Wendy Orlando and I'm a craft blogger. You can find me over at thecraftyco.com and if you do head on over and have a peep, you will see that I'm a tutorial blogger. I do all kinds of crafts, but my passions are crochet, knitting and sewing, which I've done for over 45 years. In that time, I've made lots of mistakes, but I have learnt lots of tricks and top tips that I can't wait to share. What I'd like to bring to the Sewing Street table is to show that you don't need to have gone to university or have a degree in design to be able to sew. You just need passion, a bit of courage to take the first steps and a whole lot of patience. Oh, and an unpicker. You will need an unpicker. I do hope that you will follow me as I take my Sewing Street journey and I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Trisha Buckingham, I have to, what's this, what's this called? Um, Sanitise, because I've got to blow your, ooh, got to blow your kisses, haven't I? But we have to be sa sanitised before we blow kisses. So there you go, she's complained that I haven't sent her a kiss in over a year. Right, okay. No, you can't have a kiss, Elliot, no. Social distancing. There was somebody else sent a message in. Oh, apparently, when uh, Fiona's daughter shouted out Pinocchio, at the same time as I went, no, not Pyoko, and she thought I was talking to her. That's nice, isn't it? And then there was another message from a young man. Alan, how are you today? I'm good, thank you. Busy, busy, but good, thanks. Right, so this hour, this hour wasn't advertised because this hour shouldn't have been happening. Um, so it's because we're doing five hours live today. Um, so let's start. I've got all these panels. I've got panels on this side, and over there, I've got some kits, which you just saw in Wendy's advert, actually. So let's, let's start then. Let's start. So I've got to shout out the code so we know we've got the right one coming in. So this one is HBUU38. It's called Alphabet Wall Hanging. Right, and it faces me. Oh, actually, I'm going to do it like this first. So are they all five inch squares then? Let's have a look. They look like they're five inch squares, but I'll double check. You get every letter, one of each letter, plus a star, plus an anthesan. Right, let me put it down for you now and then we can have a look at it properly. Oh, itchy nose, what does that mean? Oh, the ear's burning in someone talking about Oh, no, not five inch at all, blimey. Six and a quarter inches they are across. Head. Yeah, six and a quarter inch square they are. So look, you get the A, the B, the C. Oh, hang on, let me move it across way, that way. There you go. A, B, C, D, all different. Look, spots, stars, dash stripes. Go on, keep moving. Oh, I don't know. Elliot's saying he'd embroider them. Well, you could make a square, a child's square out of it, I suppose. So you need A, B, C, D to go around the outside, then E and F to go on the top. Or, of course, you could spell a name. Oh, no, you can't do Elliot because you've only got one L and one T. Yeah. Well, you could do a... Yeah, but that's only four sides. What would you put at the top and the bottom? No, because then you'd need to... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Got all the colours of the rainbow in there. No, because you've only got one T. But you've got a star and an anthesan there. You can buy two panels if you need two letters with each letter. It's only fourteen ninety nine. you see. 100% cotton, exclusive to sewing quarter. Oh, it's Sewing Street, Sewing Street, Sewing Street. <gasps> Sorry. That's because I've just walked into the office and Neil's there, you see. And that's thrown me, see. And I said, what are you doing? And I thought Tuesday was work from home day. And he said, I've come in to make sure you don't do anything wrong. I was like, oh, fill me with confidence. Why don't you? He hasn't got a telly on in there, so he can't hear what I'm saying. Do what? Oh, moving on. Was that a minute? Yes. That's because I'm wittering away, isn't it? Right, hang on. So that goes there. I'll put them right in order. Right, this one is... Oh, now, this one's got a different number. Right, because this is the this is the stained glass panel. There was a different number on the bag than there was on the panel, but it was the second one along. It's C N I E forty nine. Yeah, this is the only stained glass panel I've got. 
Right, that's the code. We think that's the code from a kit that they might have had. Oh, because if you look on the top, most of them have got the code on, you see, and that's a different code there. But this is the one you'll get if you order KGUU17. This is the one you'll get. Smaller than I remember, this one. Yeah, so this is the one you'll get if you order this one. Right. Uh, my name's not Scott, Alan. Alan, my name's not Scott. John Scott. Yes, yeah, Serrano de Bergerac. We've got that one, Sharon. Thank you. Lots of people shouting Serrano de Bergerac. You must be... be oh, oh, no. I'm sorry. I'll be with you in a second. Hang on. Oh, blimey. Right, okay, that's fine. I'm up to date now with the... They haven't moved. The messages haven't moved. Right, okay. Fold that one up. Righty-ho. So the next one is... What's the matter? Now, this one. Look at this one. This is EU, no, EW, OO69. These are fat quarters. These are. Watch. Oh, it's upside down. There you go. Look. They're very big fat. Does it say fat quarters? Fat quarters set two, this is. Right, but they look massive for fat quarters. Let me put it on the table and we can have a proper look at it. Look. So again, the 100 percent cotton, totally exclusive to Sewing Street. I have to remember these things, but look how big these are. They're massive. So that's uh, 27 and a half inches that way. What centimetres are they then? Oh, I haven't got centimetres on this. Yes, I have there. 70. 70. And then, uh, almost 20 inches that way. That's a big fat quarter, isn't it? So what you get is you get four fat quarters on here. You get the uh, little flowers with sprigs. Has it got a name, this one? Staffordshire mantelpiece. Oh, yeah, because of the Staffordshire dogs, look. Come on in and have a look at those. Cat? Now, earlier when I said there were cats, you said there were no cats. Is that a cat? That's a dog. That's like a spaniel, isn't it, that one? Then you've got your matching flowers in the greys and the blues. This is my, my favourite one here, that one. That's my favourite one there. Alice says, I apologise. Oh, don't worry, Alan. Right. Oh no, Princess, Princess Maya says, I hate the colour settings on my TV. Doesn't matter what I do to alter it, the TV still has a blue tinge. Oh no. Oh dear. That's not my fault, Princess, that's yours. Get Clint onto it. I'm sure he's very good at things like that. Right, hang on, let's fold this properly. There you go. The next one is the same, but in a different colourway, I think. Yeah, we're just double-checking, though, Paul. NDUU65, this one. Oh, it's not the same. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Not the same. This one's got teapots on it, this one. Look. Oh, oh, hang on. So it's got the same Staffordshire cat and dog. Right? Yeah, so it's got the same. They look smaller. But then, and then this one, which is the one I liked on the other one, but in a different colourway. But then these two here. The adjust form size C in the, in the sapphire blue sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. And then this one here is like a little ditzy print, isn't it? Give yours a good iron when you get it home. Uh, left. Oh, you see, Elliot likes all the ones I, not, I don't like, not that I don't like, but my favourites would be the teapots and the big flowers. Yeah. I'll move on. I'm not taking that. Elliot says it's like autumn leaves blowing in the wind. Do you know when they built our houses, right? Because you know my house is about 20 years old. Um, whoever, well, I know who designed the gardens, right? He, for some reason, he planted a tree in my garden 
which is where I've got a decent sized garden, but it's way too big, way too big. And each year I have it pruned and things, but it's got too big now. So I've talked to Matt, the, the handsome tree surgeon, and said, I, I want to take it down, but I don't want to lose a tree because I think if you drop a tree down, you have to plant another one in its place, don't you? But we're working on that. Hello Poppet, this one's called. Uh, where's the letter? This one's not got a letter on it. Yeah, hello Poppet, fat quarter, four large coordinated fat quarters. EM, ooh, ooh, 79. Well, this one looks pretty. Oh, now. Again, these are fat quarters. They're big fat quarters, though. Now, look. You see, I'm guessing Elliot. Oh, hang on, just while I wait for the shot. Oh, I can't, I can't get you an upstairs shot. The camera's got stuck. Which one is it? Right, so there. You don't need to come in closer because you can't see the... the, the, the can we're allowed to come in closer on that one. Yeah, there we go. Look, there you go. It's got like ferns on it, that one, hasn't it? And then there's this one. There you go. That's pretty. So is that, uh, is that camera defunct now for the rest of today then? All right, we'll see. That's pretty. I like the... Oh, now. I was going to say I like the colour in that, but I can just see the colourways of the next one. It's quite nice. Like this one. John, just bought the adjuster form. Loving the show, says Denise. She's shouting, yeah. Claire said, I can recommend... Uh, hang on, I'll read that one in a minute, I can't see it without my glass on. Oh, now can I have, do I have to hold this one or can I, no, I'll hold it, alright then. Oh, okay, well, it could be upside down if we did that, so I'll hold this one. Right, I like this one here, this one's like poppy heads, isn't it, or seed heads on that one. And then that one there, and then the two, oh, that one's nice as well, isn't it? This one's lovely, look. There you go. Right, where's my glasses? Claire's saying something. I recommend a few dwarf fruit trees. Now, there's not room for a few. It's just one tree that goes up like that. So I don't want a dwarf. I want one that goes upwards. But this one's got, it's, the sad thing is it's the most beautiful tree. I don't know what it is. And it's the most beautiful tree, but there's nothing, you can't make it smaller. And it's way, way, way too big for the garden. I've had a word with the man who designed them. Right, now I've got GVUU92. Oh, these are like um, design rolls, these. Look. No, they're not. They're not. I take that back. I take that back completely. They're two and a half inches wide, but they're not the width of fabric, look, are they? Ditsy bitsy. Where's the ones in the boxes, then? Yeah, where the... I thought we were going to leave in the boxes and... and reveal them from the boxes not in the boxes you didn't never mind doesn't matter doesn't matter don't worry don't worry don't worry 14.99 this but look 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 they're only that long i say only on a design roll they're 42 inches long aren't they these will be 22 inches i imagine then oh yeah those brilliant is that those then no okay that's different fine oh, sorry they're behind you yeah okay so i need them over there then Paul's, well, we have to do everything at the moment. 14, 19, these are 27 inches in length. Oh, you can't see it then. You buy all these expensive cameras and they won't point in the right direction. 14, 99. That's lovely. I love, right, I can't, have a look. Now, what I need to show you is I'm just going to move it across that way because look, halfway along, they change. So you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 different patterns. Each one two and, two and a half inches. I will in a minute. Two and a half inches by 27 and a half inches in length. There you go. There you go. It's nice that one, isn't it? That's what you do, Elliot. You cut them out into the two and a half inch strips so they're like a design roll. And then you put them together, you are learning.
Daphne says, wonderful, John is back. I wonder what she's watching. What a treat. Oh, that's nice. Right, okay. That's lovely. I love that. I want to leave that one for you to have a look. Just take that in. Just drink that in. Yeah, nice, aren't they? The colours are very, comp very like um, Ralph Lauren-esque, isn't it? The essence of Ralph Lauren, that one. What, you mean to go like that? No, no, I, I, they all go beautiful. They all go together, don't they? The spots, the stripes, the gingham, the flowers, the reds and the blues. Gorgeous. I'm going to move on. If you want to see any of these again, just let me know, because I can always go through them. Okay, so now next, I think this is next. What number have you got next? Yeah, that's it. I mean, I've got, I have to do it right. Trust your, trust your, um. Oh, my word. Hang on, this is enormous. I'm going to step back, right? Look. They're nice, aren't they? Look at the colours on there. Can you see all those? You're thinking of a Battenberg. God, blimey, Paul. Nothing. Battenbergs, that's going bad. Do they still make Battenbergs? He is nearly 40. Like proper 40, not like... Right, so you've got... Oh, look! These are like... um. You know the bijou fabric? That's like an arrowhead, but it's not. Now I've got my glasses on. Sorry, my head's in the way. Honestly, I'm so, I'm so restricted, it's impossible. So you get the f yellow splashes there. You've got the pale blue dots. But look at these, right? Remember that one? We used to have one with Vs on it, didn't we? And then look at that. That's nice. That looks like wog woggly. That's not a word. Wiggly stitches. Aren't they lovely? I like that colour as well. That pink is lovely, isn't it? So now you get four fat quarters. Are they 140 by 107? That's the whole panel size, that one. Brilliant for 14.99 for four fat quarters. If you think about it, fat quarters, that would be, be 20 pounds, wouldn't it, normally? Oh, now be careful. Some are limited. It, how many of these? Less than 20 of these. Well, it'll tell you on the website how many there are. Oh, it's under 001, 4433. Oh, I'll find out. Some do, some don't, apparently. Oh, that's nice, that one. Good morning, that one's called. Not this morning. Good morning. No, that's the one. Good, isn't good morning the one that... Um, oh, no, that was the one that they set up originally, isn't it? Right, now this one looks very interesting. This looks like more subtle shades, this one. I think this one's good afternoon. Yeah. What's this one called then? Misty Kitchen. <laughs> That's when you forget to open the windows, you put your pasta on, go in the other room and come back and all the windows are steamed up, isn't it? Gluten-free pasta, obviously. So you've got your ditzy flowers. You've got your subtle uh, gingham. And then you move that one up there. And you've got your ditzy flowers in a different colourway or no colourway. And then that one there is your little, is that V's? I haven't got my glass on, hang on, let me look. No, it's not V's, it's dots. Dots, that one. $14.99. They're nice, those colours, aren't they? Let me just put it down a bit more so you get the whole screen full of colour. There you go. Very subtle, I'd say they were. 14 pounds and 99 pence. I mean, I'd make something for a misty kitchen. No, you will not make a blind, Ellie. It'd have to be a very tiny window if it was a blind. Yeah, you'd have to sew them together. You don't want seams in the middle of a blind. He's new. He doesn't know. He hasn't learnt yet. How long have you been with Sane Street, Elliot? Since the beginning. And here they go. I think, I, I don't know what's happened to Elliot this morning. He's got more and more brummy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. 
There's nothing wrong with that, but he's gone more and more brummy as the, the shift's gone on today. I think it's because he's kicked. Ki I hope they're going to buy his donuts for doing five hours today. Oh, this is nice. Now, this has got the feeling of, um, the essence of, I'm not saying it's a copy, the essence of, what's that? Is that Ola Keeley? This one's called Stem Fat Quarters. Let me get it out first. There we go. There you go. Look. Oh, yo, oh, nice. This is the most, let me get that central like that. There you go. So you get four fat quarters. You get the, um, oh, honestly. Yeah, but that way you don't get it all in then. There you go. No, shut up, Elliot. What's this one? Ears of corn. That one's like ears of corn, isn't it? That one there. That's like leaves. Unbelievable. If little Paul was here now, he'd go, that one's unbelievable, John, that one. Wouldn't he? These are daisies, what they used to call me at school. Yeah, that was the teachers. And then that, that's lovely. I love that one. Lo has got a latte and a raspberry and chocolate muffin. Oh, thanks, Lo. I've still got another two and a half hours to stand here yet. Oh, I think those colours are lovely. The packs are lovely. Paul, you got me switched off. No, because you haven't got a milk frother here and you haven't got any soya milk. Have you? Who's brought, how long's that been here though? Who, who brought that in? Yeah, it's most probably her oat milk for the week. I can't be drinking it, so. Why? Oh, okay. Yeah, I know that, but I thought she was doing, oh, this is nice. Oh, these are nice. Are these, are these charm? Are these charm squares? 40 coordinated fabrics, but they're charm, they're charm, look, they're five inch squares. These are nice. So uh, we did a project the other day with five inch squares. Didn't we? Who was I with then? Oh, these are nice. Look, so we're ranging from the pinks through the greys. Aren't they lovely? I, I'm, I want to move over this way. I'm going to move it this way because look, they're nice, aren't they? Beautiful. Oh, reminds me of my nan's wallpaper, that does. So this is CP UU 47. You get 40 five inch squares. What, you like those, do you? They're Elliot's favourites there. I like these, which is just the bigger version of that. I like this one, like my nan's wallpaper. That one there. Oh, Elliot, that's called vintage. He thinks, well, okay, do you like that one there then? That's very Liberty-esque, that one, isn't it? What's the matter, little Paul? Okay, please be careful if you've got an adjust... I, can I just say something, right? At, at the moment, until we get the new system, Paul can't see what's in baskets, right? He can see what's sold, but he can't see what's in baskets. So the adjuster forms are flying out today, right? He can see which ones have sold out, because C has sold out in the blue, hasn't it? Oh, there's a warning on another one. Medium in charcoal grey. Two left, that's it. Medium in charcoal. Oh, full figure in charcoal grey. Two left. Is that it? What would, make, what would you make with this, please? I'm a newbie. Talking about this, Sarah. Uh, do you know what I do? Cut them all out, first of all, and use them like they're charm squares. You can either do lots and lots of lovely half square triangles, or you can just sew them together and make a really lovely baby quilt or something like that. I'd get two, I'd buy two, and you can make a lovely baby quilt out of them, couldn't you? Do you know what the very first costume I ever made for English National Opera was a quilted skirt for Elvira in Il Pagliacci. And um, that was made up of squares like this as well. If I knew then what I knew now, I'd have made it completely differently, but I didn't know what I was doing because my first ever costume when I was at Wimbledon School of Art. Right. 
I've got four more panels before I move on to kits. I can always come back. I can always come back to these, so don't worry if you want to see any of them again. Right, hang on. That goes there. Right, this one. Oh, same. Oh. Oh, love, love, love this one. This is called Fruit Punch. Well, if it's called Fruit Punch, why has it got fried eggs in it? Right? Look. Are they not fried eggs? they definitely fried eggs. Oh, I haven't had a fried egg for ages. I'm now, I'm on the Slimming World, right, at the moment. I know I'm cheating a lot, but I'm on Slimming World at the moment. I'm now, uh, two years ago, I got to the lightest I've ever been. Well, not ever, but lightest I've been since I turned fat, right? I'm one pound off being back there again. And yet my body's a completely different shape. I've still got a belly and I've still got chins. I don't know how that works. Anyway, it doesn't matter. 15 99 This one you get 40 coordinating five-inch squares. Can we buy full bolts of fabric? No, we're not doing full bolts at the moment, Alan. We're not, are we? No, you buy by the half metre at the moment, Alan. We're not doing full bolts at the moment. Nice, I like... Oh, now! Excuse me, those two are the same. Oh, you've got two of everything. Right, there's two of everything, Looks, There's two of those, two of those. I wonder why they didn't put them together. Two of those, two of those, two of those, two of those. Yes, yeah, so you've got 20 different prints, two of each. They'd make nice half square triangles, wouldn't they? I can't, I'm not allowed to cut them out, so I can't show you. Claire's saying, congratulations. What's happened, Claire? She's saying, congratulations, John. Have I won something? Oh, imagine if I won the lottery. <gasps> oh, I'll, I'll do Gary's show and then I'll be off. Can you imagine? What day of the week is it? It's no lottery, is there? Oh, no, the Monday night one. Not that I can't win because I haven't bought any tickets. But the Monday night one, isn't Monday night the one where you get £10,000 a month for life? Oh, that's just Tuesdays and Thursdays. Are you sure? I thought it was every day of the week, that one now. This one is 0 oh, ooh, 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 18 245 slash 1097. Bright full stripes, this one's called. I like this one too. It's like... No. The book in the first hour didn't have de um, design role designs in it, though, did it? You have to cut these out, Edwin. You and Elliot, you don't just cut, you don't just sew it, like cut it like fabric. You cut these out and make d design rolls out of these. Now, these are two and a half inch. No, Claire says you haven't won the lottery. Congratu oh, congratulations on doing so well at Slimming World. Thank you. I have cheated a lot, though. I could be a lot thinner. Uh, these are bigger than a design roll normally. A design roll is normally 42 inches in length. These are 55 inches in length by two and a half inches wide. It is happy. That, that should be called a happy panel, that one, shouldn't it? Paul would name those because in his brain, that's how he'd like his life to be. Happy. No, I quite like a bit of misery every now and then. We well, can hear a lot of chatting, can I? Bright, full stripe, not stripes, strips. No, exactly. You've got to have the lows to appreciate the highs, says little Paul. Oh, it's that day, two minutes ago, he's saying, slow down, John, you're going too fast. Slow down, slow down. Now he's going, come on, John, move on. Okay, we're in perfect harmony, he said now. That's nice of him, isn't it, really? Me and Paul, perfect harmony, living together in harmony. No, no, we're not living together. We're not, that's a song I'm singing. Right, now this is the same, but in more muted tones. What have they called it? Oh, bright. <laughs> oh, no, 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 this is half stripes. This is half stripes. But it's not the same fabric. It's not the same. Oh, it is. No, it is. Look. So these are half stripes. So 27 and a half inches by two and a half inches, these. Paul likes this one because it's colourful, happy, and a little bit mismatched. Twelve ninety nine, exclusive to Sewing Street. Now remember, it doesn't matter if you've bought anything already today. You only pay one p and p of three pounds and ninety five pence. It goes from midnight to midnight, so don't buy something at one minute past midnight because it goes into tomorrow's p and p then. And did you know if you buy something from Jewelry Maker, it's included in the p and p. So she's our sister. She. They are our sister channel. I don't really know anybody at Jewelry Maker. I mean, I know the producers, I know Wayno. 
Big Ben. Big Ben was working at, um, no, um, elsewhere when I last saw him. Munch is there. Who's that? Don't know him. Twelve ninety nine. This one is. No, if they go back years now. I was thinking of somebody who worked at Saint Quentin. He worked at Rocks and Co. And you had the horrible girlfriend. That one. Oh. Oh, I didn't know he was there. Ah, oh, that's nice. Oh, nice to know he's good. He's fine. One more panel. Ah, oh, that's made me feel happy. That has. He's lovely, timid Mike. He wasn't timid, really. Everyone thought he was timid, but he was actually quite naughty. I thought he was love. Anyway, look. These are more subtle, these. These are very delicate shades, these ones. Four fat quarters, these are. Let me put it on the table. You've got the pink gingham. I'll get my head out of the way now. What are these? Oh, these are called Ditsy Bitsy. Oh, there's the fabric I like from the... Fa the, the um, this one here... It's the one I liked earlier from the five-inch squares, wasn't it? When's Paul 40? I've just had my 40th. He's got two years. When's your birthday? April. Two years in April, he'll be 40. You are not. Like, as in proper 30? Hmm. I, thought you, I thought you were about the same age as Paul. There we go. Elliot's only 30 next year. How old's Amy then? Amy's his girlfriend. <gasps> Elliot's a toy boy. Anyway, let's move on. Now, I've got to... And now, am I going to do these or am I going to do those? Which would you like me to do first, Paul? Oh, no, I've got to go over there. They're all over there. Come with me. Come with me. Oh, now, am I allowed to walk? Or do you want to go to a slide? Go to a slide. There you go. I'm going. Oh, right. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of boxes here. I can't. Uh. Right. So we'll do the ones on the table first, shall we? And then work on the ones on the floor. So am I starting this end, Paul, or that end? You did these. I didn't do these. Y-N-U-U-24. Christmas. So this is a Christmas fat quarter bundle, this one. It's called the gingerbread panel. Oh, they're big. Oh, they're nice. Well, how would you get the apron out of that, Paul? Yeah, he could make four aprons out of that, couldn't he? Well, no, it wouldn't go round him. Because he's as, he's as wide as he is tall these days, you see. I didn't, I didn't say you were fat, Paul. Uh, isn't it lovely? So you've got gingerbread houses and sticks on that one. You've got lovely, that's a gorgeous colour, that one on that side, isn't it? Right, hang on. What's that? What's a, what are those there? Is that like a mermaid's tail? Have a look here. Can you see that? Oh, no, Elliot, I can't. I may be good, but I'm not a superhuman. There you go. Look. Can you see it? Oh, you're looking at it. Oh, and that looks very... So oh, hat. Christmas, fat quarter, gingerbread man, panel. 1999. What are they? Are they baubles? Elliot, what would you say they were? A tree. Is it upside down? Oh, I know. It's the roof of Hansel and Gretel's house. But it definitely looks like it's clamshells, isn't it? Mermaid's tail. No, this is the biscuits. Right, I'm moving it across now. Look, that's the biscuits there. Oh, they're making me hungry, they are. You know that gin... You know when you go... Oh, I don't suppose we have a... We can have a, a, a German... What's the market we normally go to in Birmingham? The German market. Is it not happening this year? 
No, because it's outside. Oh, that's a shame. Have they all been cancelled then? Oh, because it was all outside, wasn't it? I thought it would be all right. Anyway, never mind. 1999. Nice, isn't it, that one? Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just thinking because, because, oh, I don't know. I don't know what the, I have to go and look at the rules. Because I'm a bit worried, you see. Christmas dinner, if you're only allowed six people. Not that I'm not having Christmas dinner at my house. I mean, just, you know, I normally go to my, I normally not go to Mike and Julie's, don't I, for Christmas? Right, what's this one? We're moving off Christmas now, anyway. No, we're not. No, we're not. This is baubles, this one. Uh, 0060. Look, they're nice, aren't they, the old-fashioned baubles, the icicle ones? They're not giant, are they? There we go. That's pretty, isn't it, that one? The blue one. Snow, isn't it? Was it like what, Elliot? Uh, that's my favourite. The blue background bauble one's my favourite. It's nice, isn't it, that one? They're all nice. Of course you'll get in time for Christmas, whether you can make it in time for Christmas. Oh, right, now I've got two smaller panels here. Ooh, ooh, 29. 29. Right, I hold it up like that. Wait, was this in a bundle? Was this in a kit? Did somebody make this then? Has someone made this on one of the Christmas days? Oh yeah, it's the Christmas special flower of the month. I wonder what they made out of it though. Did they make a cushion cover? Because if you cut those out, you could make borders, I suppose. Oh, I haven't got a tape measure over this side. Yeah, you can make borders out of those, couldn't you? Because there's your pant, there's your, um, oh, moving, we're on the move. Where are you going, Elliot? So there's your main panel, and then if you just scoop along this way, you've got your um, strips of the different colour, you can make borders out of those. And then you've got two labels on that one as well. What's the matter, Elliot? Yeah, uh, uh, bad workman blames his tools, remember? Has all the material with spots on this morning gone? You mean the red and the blue and the yellow from the 8 o'clock hour? Who's that from? Daphne. Is it not on the website anymore? We'll double check for you, Daphne. We'll have a look for you. Oh, Daphne, it's because there's no pictures of them. They're there, but there's no pictures of them. I do apologise about There's no pictures of them. That's why you think you can't find them. They are still available, but there's no pictures. They're next to the what? Next to the puppies, apparently. Oh, the dog fabric from this morning, yeah. The one that had cats on it. I've got, ooh, ooh, 71. Mistletoe, 71. So there's your, there's your, pat, there's your strips. That one's like linear, isn't it? That's like rain pool, spots and spots. But let me pull this along a bit for you, right? Look, that's nice, isn't it? Flower of the Month Christmas Special Mistletoe Panel with five complementing fabric strips. Can I do what now? It's the right way up. It's not the wrong way up. What do you want me to do with it? Oh, what are you going to make out of it? A cushion. Cushion. Oh, no, you should make a panel that goes above your front door. So you could give it... Oh, no, you can't give everyone a kiss, though, as they come through the door anymore. Oh... Moving on, I'll move on, I'll move on, before I get sad. No Christmas kisses then this year. Right, now. There, yeah, that's why you're not getting any Christmas kisses, Paul. Right, what's this then? This is a frying pan protector. 
All right, Wendy's in tomorrow. She'll be watching. What the flipping heck is a frying pan protector? UU61. Oh, no. On the. Ooh. Yeah, no, it's my glass. <laughs> it's my glasses I've lost now. Can I show you the camera and you can look at it yourself? And I'll go and get my glasses. I'll go and get my glasses. What is it? What is it? Oh, she's obviously not got room in her kitchen to hang them then from the ho hooks in the ceiling. Cri I've told you the code. ECXC82. No, I left it there for you to look at while I went to get the instructions. Have we got these? Where are they? Look in the filing. See if you can find them in the filing. So you get the instructions and you get the panel. But when you turn the gas on, don't they burn? So how many can you make out of this? Two. Oh no, it's either side, isn't it? Hang on, let me have a look. So this is the first one. This is called Plum Gingham. No, two frying pan covers. You can make two out of this. Right, hang on. Do you need something else? Oh, you need to buy some wadding. I'd buy, I'd buy, oh no, because you're not heating it up, are you? Just wadding, yeah. No, don't worry, we can't find it. We had frying pans, did we, in the kitchen? We've got a kitchen set now, did you know? Okay, I'll move on. Yep, I've got all these on the floor to do yet as well. Right, okay, now I have to put it all away properly. No, no, because that, oh, well, that goes in there, that goes in there. That goes in there. Otherwise, Paul and Elliot will be here till tomorrow morning packing all this away. When they, um, when they rang me up, they never mentioned about unpacking bags. No, it's Elliot's. Right, oh, do you want the number? V-E-X-C-27. Again, they're frying pan protectors. Pardon? It's Elliot's plan. He's, he's, he's in charge, Elliot. So he makes us do all this thing, yeah. There you go. This one's nice. It's got teapots on it, look, and coffee pots. A bit more subtle, that one. So, the idea is when you've washed up your, your so frying pans, you put them in the cupboard, you put one of these in between each of the frying I've only got one frying pan. I've got one frying pan that's big like that, that make my omelettes in. I've got a wok, like that. And then I've got the little one that I, I do my pine kernels in. And then I've got a little one like that. You can just do one. Yeah, but they're not, they don't all fit together. They're all different sizes. No, a frying pan is not the same as a wok. There you go. Jenny's saying they're to stock and store. They're to stack and store in the pans. Yeah, I got that now. Got that. Okay. I'm going to put it away properly, don't worry. That goes in there. Yeah, I'm doing it now. This could take a while, everybody. This is what Paul's life is all about now. There we go. Tell me this isn't another frying pan connect. How many did she do? Yeah, this is another frying pan. Oh, I don't need to take the instructions out then. You've seen them all. XFXC45. <laughs> Just how many frying pan protectors do you need? Yeah, but they're inside the cupboard. Nobody can see them. Right, there we go. This is blue and yellow. These are like linear prints, these, with your little 60s. What am I trying to say? Oh, Elliot hangs his fine pants up, so he's be no good for Elliot at all. Could you wear it as a hat? I suppose you could, couldn't you? 
Blue coffee time, this one's called. Two frying pan covers. So these are obviously your fronts and your backs. They're your petals. Don't know what they are. I have to read it, really, shouldn't I? Well, no, no, because look, there's obviously you leave that bit open, do you? So there, there's two different sizes, are there's a big one and a small one. Let me look at the picture. One more. Then we'll move on to other kits. Oh. <laughs> this is very boring telly to watch me unpacking bags and shut it, shutting bags, isn't it? There we go. Right, last one. Don't tell me. It's a frying pan protector. This. Oh, I like the colour of this one. I'm all right. With, oh, this one's been packed differently. Yeah, Wendy's on tomorrow. She'll be watching. I'll ask her tomorrow. What's she making tomorrow? Don't tell me. Uh, saucepan covers. DZXC38 is this one. Oh, she's making a weekend bag tomorrow and a lap quilt tomorrow. Oh, now when I opened that, I could have sworn I saw yellow. How funny. It's nice, like linear in vanilla and blue. I'm surprised she hasn't messaged, messaged in. She won't be angry. This is blue and cream spots, two frying pan covers. Yeah, that's the last. No more frying pan covers for today. Yeah. Okay, now down by my feet, I've got other kits. Now, some of them I've got... Oh, are they not there? Right, anyway, it doesn't matter. Let me do this one. Right, okay, so this is the first one. Now, the reason I've shown you this is because this is how it will arrive at your house. And the code is NKXC04. O four. Is that this one? No. Okay, show church. me that. It's the church. Oh, okay, that's the church. Okay, church, this one. That's this one. No, this one's got red on it. This is the florist, not the church. Florist on the floor here. Yeah. Right, so what you get in your box is you get some craft wadding, you get some toy stuffing, you get doorstop instructions. Now, who's done these? Oh, it doesn't say. Doorstop instructions. Oh, they'll be the same for all of them, are they? Right, okay. You also get some bonder web. And then I've got, I've got two panels, is that right? Florist and haberdashery shop. Yeah, no, but there's two, there were two in this box. Oh, it is. It is, look. Florist and haberdashery. You get both. You get both, right? Let me move this out of the way. Right, I'll put that back in the box so we don't get confused. Right, okay. So, look, you get both of these in here. So, that's the haberdashery one. That all right to look at like that? That's haberdashery. No, I haven't got habit. Oh, hang on, haberdashery. Yeah, here it is. No, no, that's fine. That that makes this. That makes this. Now, this has got the wadding and thing in it. It's got some little pellets in the bottom as well, hasn't it? Oh, the pellet. I had them on last week. But the pellets you can buy. They're recycled polyethylene pellets. But these has got hardly any, I'd put more in than that because that was going to fall over. But anyway, so you get the haberdashery shop and you get the florist. Sorry, there you go. Now, have we got a date when these were made? No, no, I've seen these recently. I've watched this recently. Oh, no, I saw the church. I watched the church recently. So, exclusively Sewing Street, right? Maybe if you just go to YouTube and put exclusive, see what happens. Or just put the haberdashers or the florists and you can see what happens. 
So that's good that you get, so in the box you get enough to make both of those. Should we have a look at them? Have a look around them. Let's get them the right way around. Oh yeah, there you go. I'll let Elliot show you right. So look. We most certainly will. Right, twenty nine ninety nine. Right, that's good for two. That makes them fifteen pounds each, doesn't it? All you've got to get. The thing is, you could use um, something from your store cupboard to do the weights if you wanted to, couldn't you? Does it matter which one I do? I'll do this one next then. Yeah, hang on though. So what's this one? I can't see from the top what they are though. WN XC seventeen. This is the one I watch being made. It's nice, isn't it? Now, who made this one on air, then? Was that Wendy? Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I watch this, though. That's all. I watch this one being made. Because you can put the things in different places. So, in this one, now, it's a bit different, this one, because you just get one panel, and you just get one super soft toy filling, and you get instructions. You don't get the craft wadding in this one. 9th of September. Oh, that was Wendy, was it? 9th of September, Wendy. She reminds me of a PE teacher. That's what she reminded me of. Do you not get wadding in that one then, Paul? Just the stuffing? Yeah, because I haven't got it on my screen here, you see, so. Okay, so look, this is the panel you get on this one. This be a much bigger panel. I remember that it was Vix, wasn't it? I watched Vix doing this with, uh, with Wendy. Because everything on the panel... Oh, let me turn it up this way. You can look from upstairs. So look, everything's labelled, you don't need to worry about it. So you get your tower sides, which are here. I'll just, there you go, the tower sides, church spire, tower base, spire base, then your roof there, and your end of building, your gable ends there. Not quite sure, oh, that, is that your handle? Attaching tabs, yeah. Then you've got your inner roof. You've got your church sides, but this is what I love here, right? So you've got your windows, you've got your horse trough, you've got your water pump. That's a horse trough where the horses come to drink, isn't it? That, because when you before you went into church, you'd tie your horses up and they'd drink a water while you were praying. Then you've got your big window. You, oh, no, they filled them with flowers. And then you've got your watering can. What was that programme I used to watch when I was little? Was it called Romper Room or something like that? They used to make pictures like this, didn't they? And then, and it well, was the early 60s, wasn't it? And then you got flowers in pots. So let's just have a look at it on the actual church itself here. So you can choose. Oh, that, does it come with Bonderweb, this one? You might get Bonderweb, you might not. You might not, but look. Yeah, yeah, you can put that wherever you want to put it. Obviously, the big window looks good on the end there because that's where it would really be. the door nineteen ninety nine um so do you not do you get a bond with this or do you need to buy bond web I just double check in so you know what if you need to order some bond web with it I think you just get instructions and you need to get some bond web to go with that yeah, instructions, panel, and toy stuff, and you get with that one. Okay, got two more, and then we'll have to get ready for Gary. Goes in there. Two brand new Juki machines, of which one's selling already. Right, so this one is... SVXC62. Gingerbread house. So in this one, you get... Oh, you do get Bonderweb in this one. You get bonderweb and you get stuffing. No wadding. I wonder what the wadding was for then in the first one. Oh, that's nice. I'm going to pop it down. That's nice, isn't it? Have I not got ginger gingerbread? The one we haven't got then? Yeah, gingerbread's the one I haven't got here. No, I haven't got gingerbread. No. Don't know where that is. Anyway, what are the are they the windows? Got lovely windows, doesn't it? 2nd of August, this was, I think it would have been a Christmas, I think it would have been a Christmas show, 2nd of August, with Wendy. 
It's pretty, isn't it? Right? Okay. Last one before Gary with two R's. So this one must be ELX006. So in this one, you get wadding, you get stuffing, you get two panels, and you get instructions, and you get bond web. Blimey, that's a good buy, isn't it? Let's have a look at the panels then. So this one is called the Pet Shop. I like their tunes. <laughs> Western girls. Um, it's actually Pet Shop. And what's the other one then? Oh, sorry. Uh, wait, why can't I get this right? Why can't I do it? Oh, be quiet. Paul's very angry. He's an angry young man. Well, not so much young anymore. Sweet shop. <coughs> I've cleared the shelf, look. God, it's got a giant ice cream somewhere. Oh, there it is. Giant ice cream. There's that. That's fantastic. Right. Oh, yeah, look at them together. You get both of these. Let's see. Nice, 29 99 15 pounds each. Right, do not go anywhere because we've got Gary here. Now, he's going to be talking about four sewing machines, but two are brand new today. We will be back. Remember, we're live for another two hours. Don't be thinking we've only got an hour. We're not live for another two hours. I'm going to get my chair and sit down. It's been a long morning. I'll see you in four minutes from now. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers Landing Page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the Watch Live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. Hi, I'm Debbie Shaw and as a professional sewer, I really know how important it is to use a high quality thread. Well, you think about it. You spend a lot of money on your sewing machine, you'll spend a lot of money on fabric and you'll spend a lot of time sewing. So why let your thread let you down? I know a lot of our designers and customers prefer to use Aurifil thread. Now this is a family business. It was established in 1983 and they're based just outside Milan in Italy. They produce superior quality threads for domestic and professional sewers alike. And they've achieved worldwide success with quilters, sewers, embroiderers and textile artists who all appreciate the versatility and the strength of these threads. It's all made from Egyptian cotton, which is grown just at the side of the River Nile, and Aurifil only use the long staple threads, which gives their thread that strength. Each one of these threads goes through 15 steps before it even gets onto a spool, and then comes to you to use in your sewing projects. Now at Sewing Street, we've collaborated with Aurifil, and we've brought you two collections of threads. So we have the Quilters collection, and these are exclusive to Sewing Street. We've done a lot of research with Quilters, and these are the colours that you prefer to use. So we've put a whole collection together for you. The second collection is the Essential collection. So this is for the homemakers, for the bag makers, for the craft sewers, for the dressmakers. And again, these have been proven to be the most popular colours that you're going to use. So if you want your projects to last longer and your seams to be stronger, invest in some quality thread.
like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95, no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre, which is 0800 001 4433. Hello everyone, my name's Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace the Queen's Garden Party for some work that I did with Marie Curie I was so so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time and um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you so see you again soon bye bye Gary with two R's is here. Hooray! Isn't it funny? Because the other day I was on the show and I said, oh, what have I got on Tuesday? Who have I got on Wednesday? And they went, oh, Gary's on a Tuesday. I was like, oh, I've... what this man doesn't know about sewing machines, it really isn't worth knowing. But before we go and see Gary, I just need to tell you a couple of things, right? Before we start the show in the morning, everything goes on the website, right? Everything that we've got. So if you looked in at six o'clock this morning, you would have seen the Juki sewing machines, you would have seen um, the, the kits we just had, you've seen the fabulous fabrics, everything is there from the word go. So people can start buying, well it goes at mid, I think it was gone at midnight, because I think people can start buying at midnight, you see. Um, so let me show you the website, let me show, because we've got, we've got split pay now, we've got split pay now, you see. So, um, Oh, hang on. No, no. Go to the split pay first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, 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 sorry. So we got split pay, right? Because both of... Well, look, 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 look. Anything over £149, you can have over three months. And anything over £799 or over, you can have over five months. Now, you don't get any choice in the matter. They are the way it's split. You'll see when the graphics come in. It has to be on one item. It can't be... You can't put lots and lots of things for £20 in your basket and then get it. It's just on one item. And... Um, if we have a free P&P day or if we have a spend £40 and get £5 off, none of that can be applicable. But there's no interest charge. It literally, look here, right? So that sewing machine, if you have a look at this, is £1,195, which I think is brilliant. Brilliant, by the way. Five, look, five split pay. So what does that make it? I can't see from here. How much? £239 a month for five months. So the first month... You pay £239 plus your P&P. &P, and then for the four months after that, you just pay the £239. You've been asking for this for ages and ages and ages, right? You've been asking for it, right? So we've got it. Right? Now, it's, so you will always be able to see if we're offering split pay on it. Now, normally, they'll get it right, right? Elliot will get it right. It'll either be a three or a five. This is definitely a five because it's over £799, right? You don't want to hear from me anymore. I just want you to know that, right? Because since midnight, how, how, did it say how many are left? Did it say how many are left on there? Yeah, but, oh no, oh, and you get a freebie on this one. You get a free, put the graphic back in, sorry, that picture back in, sorry, uh, Elliot, right? You get free, you get a table worth 79.99 for free with this one. Right, are you ready, Gary? I am. 
Indeed. It's, it's so <laughs> lovely to see you, first and of all. Great to be back. Good to see you again, John. Thank, well, I'm not back. I'm new here. You're new. It's a new channel. Great not for back. me to be back with you, I should say. <laughs> no, 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 because when I was in last week on Tuesday, everyone was messaging going, oh, it's good you're back, it's good you're back, it's good you're back. Yeah. And I was like... I'm, it's new. It's, it's not. New. It's new. It's this because we've it. chosen to have the same wall. Well, at the we back, travel around a lot together. Don't we? we, see just, each other now, I've <laughs> also got to tell you, right? I didn't know this when Gary was first in, right? When I worked at the Mercury Theatre in Colchester back in 1984 to 1988, my local little haberdashery shop was Franklin's, the haberdashery shop, right? Yeah. And it was run by a mum and a dad and two young boys. So young, one young boy was always like very swish with turquoise suits and a flicked hair, and then a very sensible. You know, kind of both very, very handsome boys, right? It only turns out that they're now the grown men and they now run this whole empire. And I saw them at Festival of Quilts. And they didn't remember me, but I remember, oh, I just remembered them so well. Anyway, so that's who it is. If you've got any questions you want to ask Gary during this next two hours, right? Either email Paul in there and he'll read them out to me. Uh, this is the email address. Studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com, or I've got my um, iPad open here. If you want to send a message on Facebook Live, don't do it through Messenger because I don't see those, just on the stream underneath Facebook Live. I'll keep my eye on it, and uh, if I see your question, then I'll ask Gary it straight away. So, Tell us all about. What, what, so we, what are we doing first? What have I brought today? Well, yeah, what again, have you brought today? I've, these are new to us. Aren't these are, they? Absolutely. Yeah. It's, yeah. Again, as we all know, the sewing world is mad at the moment. Everybody is at home sewing. So, yeah. um, with certain equipments, obviously PPE, making masks, and things like that. Whatever it is, they're obviously spending more time not going on holiday. So, but it's not only that. It's also because sewing is like a feeling of. It's when people can lose themselves. It's like a therapy, exactly isn't it? Really? Yeah. So it's, it's not just making them. Because I got very involved with the bags and the masks and the scrubs and everything yeah. but really it's about mindfulness isn't and that's it, it. it's so, keeping yeah. your mind occupied it's doing something at home yeah. and also christmas is around the corner so oh, i know is we've got to mention that is because christmas presents again and make a homemade christmas present mm. oh, on there it's absolutely totally. brilliant that way so what i brought you i brought yeah. you the Juki dx5 yeah fantastic box feed heavy duty it will coat within the big variety of fabrics which Juki is known for, right from your very sheer, going up to your denims, your soft furnishings, absolutely no problems at all. Perfect. We've got a little bit to play with on there wow. as well. Uh, so we, we have in the main about 185 stitches. It also has three different alphabets on top of that as well. Okay. So, but you've got all your automatic buttonholes, your overlocking, your hemming. So, which is a lot what other machines have as well. I don't get you in selection there. But it's the performance, it's that quality which mm. people obviously do relate to Juki on that. So, first of all, how easy is it just to set up? Well, I was going to say, use? imagine it's come to your house and yep. you've opened the box. I've literally just taken it out of the box. Yeah, you've plugged Brand in the new. foot and the electricity. Exactly. When you switch it on, it even says hello to you and that. So oh, it, it? it welcomes you into the machine itself. Yeah. As you notice, we've got LED lighting, so really nice daylight lighting as well. Mm -hmm. This comes off, so we've got the free arm facility. Right. So, and then inside the arm, you have all your accessories. Is that right? where they, when you get it, is that yep. where they are or in the, in the box set? No, nope. this is all the standard, how literally I've just taken this as a brand new machine out of the box. Perfect. So this is how it would all come on there. Right. The only thing which is not in there is it does come with also the walking foot, the free motion foot, the quilting gauge, the quarter inch foot, that's all. Which will go through during the second. So there's not well. room in there for them, so they're no. in the box. So it's a separate bag yeah. that comes okay, with that. Perfect, yeah. And as you pointed out, we're giving a freebie as well. Yeah. We've got some tables, nice wide tables. So um, very, very strong, doesn't flex or move at all. And obviously if I just now add that onto the machine yeah. now. You're going to go off the end of the table, I think. We can you? use Right. So, so now that would normally cost seventy nine ninety nine. That table. That's right. It? Yes, yeah. it does, and fully adjustable as well. Um, but obviously, it's perfect. Then gives you that nice platform. So anything where you've got large gauge of fabrics, obviously quilt and patchwork, yeah, yeah, of course. all of that as well. Okay. Before you go any further, yeah. my next door neighbour Chris says, whenever we show uh, sewing machines, we never talk about the throat width. So what size throat has that? That's got? it. Two hundred millimetre. Right. 
for uh, basically eight inches. Yeah. Uh, on which is your throat. average, which is your average well, size. That's, so that's it's now, bigger. It's, it's, it's above average on okay. there. Yeah, if you look at a standard size machine now, usually about four or five inches. Oh, okay. Obviously, you can go up to full long arm machines, which obviously we do of here and there yeah. for you as well. But this is that bit in between. Not everybody just wants a complete long arm machine, but they just want a bit more space yeah. to well, play especially around. Especially doing quilting. Just this, well, again, for soft furnishing, quilting, bag making at the moment is very big. Mm. And the thing is with that, you've got a lot of stiff fabrics. So if it's not pliable, you need the space of on course, the machine. Yeah. So we've got that. Certainly for quilters, we've thought about those as well. Have you noticed here, we've got a rolling arc. So instead of being a low squared off area, oh. we've actually taken it up into a so rolling So it's not only arc. the length you've thought of, exactly. it's the height it's as the well. the overall space yeah. that works for us on there, Brilliant. so which is very good. So yeah, you've got the uh, semi-long arm on now. It's a nice long free arm facility. Oh, um, hang on. Little Paul, sorry, Gary. That's not uh, apparently yeah. your microphone is quite low compared to mine. Shall I just shut up and let Gary, I'll be talk quieter. Okay. We'll, we'll raise your... I, I, I can put it up a little. No, no, you can no, raise I'll, it inside. I'll leave mind. it all on there. Excellent. That's fine. So, um, yeah. So, it, the machine itself will give you sort of three different beds. That semi-long arm facility on there, but the power and the strength on there. But... What, what's the machine? Who's the machine aimed Yeah, who what's is it? it? Yes, exactly. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, which I always say, because again, when, even when you're a beginner, don't, don't buy a basic as much machine or machine that's not going to be reliable or it's not going to be nice to use. The, the more you can invest into a machine, as we know, you don't have the same machines for one or two years generally. You, you, you have them for a long time. So it is an investment, as we know. But once you've got something you really enjoy and therefore you're not going to be wanting to change it in 12 months' time, obviously it makes better sense, better value for money that way because you yeah. buy... Which we've said before, you buy once, you buy right. Or yes, buy exactly. right, buy once. Yeah. But also, <laughs> also what well. you don't want to do is buy something for the stamp. You're thinking, oh, I'm only a beginner, I'll yeah. buy a very simple machine. And then within six weeks, eight weeks, you're thinking, oh, I wish I'd bought one with buttonholes. Or I wish I'd bought, you know what That's I mean? You it. need to think ahead. Absolutely. Grow into your machine. Yes. Don't grow out of it. Yeah. That's it. So it also then allow you to play and do more as well, which we encourage you, hopefully, for different projects and things like that. Yeah, of course. So, but... Going to a machine of this level as well, it is so easy to use and so easy to set up. So that's another nice thing there. Okay. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm just going to grab a reel of thread. So this is a bit of a, a purple one there. Okay. And what I'm going to sort of show throughout, the, hopefully throughout the show on there, again, you've got a nice array of stitches. If we look just behind me here, we've got a few of them stitched out oh, on there. Oh, I wonder where so, that comes from. Yeah, that's why I just put that up. So again, with a lot of machines, you are going to have a, f a few stitches to play around with, be that creative side on yeah. there. But obviously on the main part of it, the sewing side, knowing it doesn't matter, not just fabrics I put through it, it's what threads I put through it, it just coats with it. Okay, no, perfect. No fiddling, no messing around. So first of all, let's just get wind the bobbin. Yeah. So drop in bobbin system. So I just press the little white button there, that just drops pops the plate up excellent take the bobbin out the bobbin system itself 100 percent jam proof fully self lubricating completely looks after itself okay plate. lots of people yep. say to me should i oil my machine yeah on this one you don't have to okay, on perfect. there but what we do recommend is the same as to be fair at home with all machines brush the fluff out regular change the needle regular keep yeah. it running smoothly that does certainly help okay. on there so first of all the reel just lays on, which is pretty much conventional to any machine. Yeah. And if we can see on top of the machine as well, it's all arrowed and numbered. They're coming in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Perfect. it's very, very simple to follow. So even if you haven't got your instruction manuals or some people <coughs> like myself doesn't like reading manuals, you, you've got it there in front of you. So first of all, the bobbin goes onto the bobbin winder like so. Yeah. And then all we do, take the top thread and then follow the dotted lines round. Then number one, number two, and then it just goes underneath the tensioner. I'm going to do this very awkward angle, so excuse me. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> and then just goes round the tensioner. Then when I get to the bobbin, all I do is then wrap it round a few times. Right. And then what we have got on the bobbin winder as well is a thread trimmer. So oh. from there, it goes into the thread trimmer. It just then cuts that tail off. You see, that's where I was getting it. I, I have on mine. You pull it out, and then it starts spinning around. You've got this bit of thread going. It whopping there, it yeah. wraps itself underneath and gets underneath, caught. Yes, that yes, is yes, it. Yes, yes. So as many, but with that one, it's cut it. It's held it for me, so it won't do that at okay, all. Okay, now can I just ask? You've not yeah. put it on mine. I need to put. I'm got a jukey, by the way. So I'm just asking random questions here. I have to put a little stopper. On the oh. spool cap, yeah, but also 
different size spool caps. Right. This is very important, I find, on Oh, okay, so I didn't know you were coming to that. No, listen, no, yeah. no, there's no, you say, we answer all the questions, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you get the different sizing on here, because one thing we do find, especially when you're using like the smaller reels, 100 meters and things like that, some machines only come with big spool yeah. caps, and that's where you find it catches, causes it, pops the thread off, or obviously breaks threads and bends needles. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, development, and again, just for smoothness of sewing, have the right spool cap. It comes with all of this as yeah. well. So all I'm doing is matching the end of the reel to the spool cap. And that's the trick, isn't and it? That's so, the whatever, trick. so if you were putting a bigger spool on, you'd use the I medium size mean. one, or big spool, you'd use the big that's one. That's it. Yeah. So again, whichever size on the end, that's what size in I would Perfect. choose. So, Because what you don't want is the thread to get caught anywhere. Yeah. And then, uh, then from there, and another nice thing with this as well, that it is a complete independent bobbin winder. So I can actually be sewing at the same time as well. As soon as I engage, it will just wind. Oh! So it doesn't declutch the machine. It's a completely independent bobbin Excellent. winder uh, on there. So when oh, it's- Hang on, you're not pressing the pedal. Don't, I'm not, no, not doing nothing at all. It's completely just clicks into place. Perfect. And also when it's full, it won't just pressure stop, which obviously bunches the thread up. It will then just disengage, pop itself off. So I can actually be sewing and winding at the same time. Oh, that's good, because lots of times you have to unravel your thread, that's ravel it. it back up onto the and bobbin and fill the bobbin. Yeah. It's just more hassle and time that way. So then what we can do is just take then the bobbin. As I yeah. say, we've got the quick step bobbin system. So little diagram again on the machine showing you which way it goes. So it just drops in and it's all our own numbered again. So we've got number one, number two, round down number three and again we've got a thread trimmer. Cuts the thread. Yeah. So once we've got a tail that's it I know it's set in Yeah because in the olden days you just have to keep a long tail until you brought your needle down that's pulled right. it up and everything and cutting it off was never never an option no. on there and then if you didn't have it pulled or held out the back it then suck it back into the machine yeah, yeah, <laughs> cause yeah, yeah, not. Yeah, exactly. Again we've solved all of that yeah. problem. So, so that's no the bobbin in there. that's it done. That's it the quick step bobbin now that's in place so I haven't got to worry about that. The top threading itself then is all arrowed and numbered. Yeah. So again, solid lines, number one, number two, number three, number four. So pretty much conventional to most yes, machines yes, on there, take up, lever, check, spring, down through the guide. But what is different on here as well is a lot of machines now have needle threaders built in. Right. But this has a one-step needle threader. So obviously I'm not in front of the machine, I'm not even really looking on yeah. there. All I'm gonna do is Put it into number seven, which is a needle threader. Again, yeah. I'm gonna cut the tail off on the side, which is number eight. Oh, okay. On there. So once that's done, all I do, the lever on the side here, I just pull down, through, no. threaded. And so I wasn't even front, I haven't looked, I'm not lining you see, it up. I hate, needle, I hate <laughs> needle threaders, because normally you have to do it, and then it's a little bit, and you have to pull it through. That's just done it. Well, that's right. With some needle threaders, it defeats the it object. You're, You're doing half the work yourself still. <laughs> so Elliot, can we do that? Can you do it again, Gary? Do you absolutely. Mind? We'll just have a close, a close look of how it actually happens. So we've come down from number one, two, three, four, five, six, which to say is pretty much conventional for most machines. Yeah. But then when I get to that point, into number Hang seven. Hang on one sec. Hang on one sec. We just need to. Oh, yep. hang on. Is the camera playing up? So into number seven. Oh, hang on. There we go. Get a oh, the camera's <laughs> being a bit, it's because it's actually five hours this morning, the camera. Right. Okay. There we go. So number seven is here. Right. On there. So with that, once the thread then grips into the actual threader holder, yeah. all I do is take that tail, there's yeah. a cutter on the side of the machine, so again, I get rid of that tail, Yeah. and then the lever here, I just push right down, let go, and there we go, it's threaded. And you're not, like you say, you um, wouldn't do it on that funny angle at home. Generally, you wouldn't in be. Front of it, so it's even right. easier at home. Um, and again, it's, it just proves that you, you're not actually physically still lining it up. The machine is just doing it for me, That's which brilliant. a needle threader should be. Mm. That's how it should be on there. You sound so old fashioned. I still kneel down at my table, lick the end lick of my thread, like that, and, I'm, <laughs> and my eyesight these days, and I'm like, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get and it. And this is it. I'm with you on there. Certainly when you. You so say you've got certain threads and that which fry out, like metallics and things oh, yes, like yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so needle thread is definitely more needed there, without a doubt. Brilliant. So, so we threaded it up. Literally, so I've just threaded it up. As soon as you switch the machine on, I just switch the machine off again now. And then, oh, there you go. Yeah. as soon as I switch it on, it doesn't matter what I've previously done to it, it will just set itself back again to normal right, okay. on there. So it, that way, it's a very conventional machine. I can just get my piece of fabric, under we go. And then I've got the foot control plugged in, so I've got a good variable speed foot control, which then away I go is put the underneath foot back thread up then automatically for me. 
Again, very quiet, very smooth, very controllable. So now, it, it, you're using the, the pedal. Is That's there it. An, oh, hang on, let me look at the pedal. So this is the foot control there. Right. So you've got full variable speed on the foot control, plus I've got speed control on the front of the machine yeah. as well. So this is another nice thing about with a machine like this. You've got youngsters out there or someone who's maybe a bit sort of scared of using something at full speed or obviously there's sharp needles in yeah, there yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, so you yeah. want to try and protect your fingers, etc. I can actually restrict the machine down. Yeah, I am and, listening. And then I can put the foot flat to the floor and it will still sew only 200 stitches a minute. So very, very oh, smoothly. Oh, that is good. Yes, that's very oh, But then good. I can take it up and then I've got full variable control up to 1,050 stitches a minute. <laughs> so I have got the speed there as well when I want it. Yeah. So that is just the same. Same as any conventional machine. Away you go. Absolutely no difference at all there. But this is the Juki. Obviously, we make over 40% of the world's manufacturing machines. When it comes to sewing, that's what we concentrate on. Yeah. There's some gimmicky stuff that there is, you can put into machines which look nice when you first use it, but when you actually get the machine home, you think, actually, this is more than what I would ever need. Yes, yeah, exactly. this. But it takes it away from the sewing features. So what we always do on, our, on the, the Juki le of this level, we've got the box feed mechanism, which we have talked about on previous machines, which we try and put in a range. That means it will go from literally very fine shear right up to 10 layers of denim, leather, vinyls, which I'm going to show you shortly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. way it does yeah. it. But the actual machine itself, so I'm just going to put the foot control on the floor. Yeah. And then... I can then just use that as I would normally do. So we just, it's just, that's so just normal straight stitch. Normal straight yeah. stitch, everyday sewing on there as well. And that stitch number, I can think I see from here, that zero one is that's your, that's your default. That's its default yeah. automatically. Yeah. It comes on as a stitch length default at 2.4 millimeter. Okay, yeah. And needle position is centre. Perfect. I can play as much as I well, want. Well, we'll do, we shall do <laughs> that in a second. But that, so that's your default machine. That's how you've been able to just switch it on and go and because the default machine is straight stitch. 2.4 millimetre yeah. length, central, and that was it. Wasn't that it? was it, yeah. Yep. yeah. And it doesn't matter what I have done in the past or who's played with the machine, as soon as it switched off, that's it. Goes it goes back it to that. It set itself back again. The, the only problem so. with that is if you have a power cut and you're in the middle of something intricate, but then we all have to this deal with it. Yeah. But on the end of the day, with even with the big computer machines, and unless, you've, unless you've gone into memories and storage, oh, no, no, and no, no, exactly. Like that's, that's what I'm saying. Exactly even it. with your big high falutin ones, yeah. mine does that. Mine will go. In, uh, uh, Back to yeah, that's it. And it just it's defaults not a fault. itself back it's, it's again. Yeah, exactly. yeah, and that's exactly yeah. so. And then it also gives you the other information where it suggests then what foot to use as well. So all the information you need is on screen yeah. on there. Brilliant. But obviously we can play with the machine. Let's make it into more of a desirable. C can you go through what machine? all the buttons? Because I'm just thinking like yep. we're saying. Oh, you, when you said then, or oh, you thread it like a normal machine. Imagine if nobody's bought a machine before. Yes, follow all the numbers and everything like that's that. That's it. But we might not know what all the buttons. No, nope, and that's exactly what we're going to sort of tailor make the machine to now and yeah, um, things like that. So it, as we say, as a conventional machine, plug and play, away you go. But. Once you get used to the machine, you start doing different jobs. There's different things you may then want to tailor make the machine to how you want to sew. Yeah. And this is where the buttons come in. Okay. So, <laughs> first of all, we've got the green button at the bottom. Yeah. Basically, it means if it's not happy, it will be red. Oh, okay. So it won't actually allow you to do anything wrong. If I press that button now, if I'm not sure, it will not work at all. Right. It will basically just keep on prompting me until I've got it so set So if you've got a red light... There. That's it's it. Not it's not going to work. So yeah. you're not going to damage, you're not going to then knot up loads of threads everywhere. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks after itself that way. Next one above it is just your touch reverse on there. And then your one above that is your tie-on button. And basically, what a tie-on button is, first of all, I'm going to just point out this yellow button. Yeah, yeah. That is a pair of scissors. Yeah. So under bed trimmer now. So I just press that. Oh, lower the foot down first. Yeah. I just press that. It cuts the threads top and bottom brings the needle out, and at this point, it actually lifted the foot up for me as well. I haven't got to explaining that bit yet. Oh, so, no, but I you just, don't expect that on a... No, this is it. On That usually comes with top-level yes, computer yeah. machines, but mm. with pivoting facilities on here as well, certainly for quilting and patchwork, absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. So what we can now do is start tailor-making the machine to how we want. So on here, we've got a tie-on and off facility uh, button. So if I press it once it right. will come up with a zigzag and a pair of scissors. Right. So that's more for using on dressmaking. So when I start sewing now, then 
literally, I'm going to slow it down a little bit on there. Yeah. Oh, I've got the foot control plugged in. That's something okay, else so you I can, can do. do that, the foot <laughs> controller. That was one of my there. questions going to be. Yeah. So at the moment, I have got the foot control plugged in, but if I take the foot control out, yeah. then using the start stop button, again, yeah. it's happy, it's green. If I just press start now, it goes forwards free, backwards free. Oh, so it does the reverse and thing. It's that's like the it. reverse that back. Auto tie on and off facility. And then when I get to the end of my scene, I just press the stop button once. It will go backwards, forwards, stop, cut the threads, bring the needle out of the work, and that's everything done for me. But you've set, because sometimes you don't want it to stop and cut off at the end that's of the right. line. Do you? You've, you've set it I'll by pressing asked that it end to do button. That. So that you don't have to go in and find it. It's a button there. Not at all. That if, that's, if you're doing dressmaking, that's perfect. If you're doing quilting, you don't want it, you don't want it to stop and, no, because that's you might right. be pivoting. Or, or that's you're going to be pivoting. Yeah. Or sometimes with quilters, obviously, what you don't want is that forwards and backs movement. You want a single stitch yes, on the spot. Exactly. So if I press that button again, it now comes with a little lollipop <laughs> next right. to the scissors instead of a zigzag. So when I start sewing now, it will actually sew on the spot, then start sewing. Oh, perfect. And then when I get to the ends, it will sew on the spot again, stop, obviously I've got the scissors, cut, lift, take it right. back out. Okay. So again, we've thought of both sides of it. We've not just done one or the other, it has both on because we all sew differently. So, yeah, no, yeah. No, completely. So completely. the different finishes are in there. So. With your reverse and your tie off button, which is then your two there, we've also then talked about the scissor yeah. button. This is our needle up, needle down button. We can have the machine so we can permanently program it. So every time I stop sewing, then the machine itself will then just stop the needle down and then away I go again. Even though you've still got your, lo lo have you still got your lollipop? The lollipop is on because I haven't actually indicated to it where I want it to tie it off. So I can do this all day long. So as you're saying about different projects, I'm on, it only does the cutting and that when I want it to. So I can pivot all day long. Absolutely well, I was going to no say this problems. is where if you were quilting, like if you'd made your quilt there yeah. and you were doing cross hatching and things, you don't, sometimes you want to move around. You want to, or if you're going to go on a swirl, you don't want to stop and no. it's cut. You want the thread to carry you on. You want long it to you... follow on, and that is it. So you are basically you've got that control mm. over it. But then when I want it to, so I've got, I've got to the end of my seam there. That's then when I just press the single button. It would then tie it off, stop, oh. cut. So and then that, that's when I'm telling it to do that. Yeah. And then it's tied it off. So you're sort of tailor making the machine that way for you. Okay, now if you don't want it to cut off, yeah. you can set it because what a lot of quilters do is they finish, they pull it through and leave two long threads on and then pull it through to the other side and knot it and off then that tie way. Through. So you can still do that. You on can it. still yeah. do all the, the you can completely make it fully manual still. So I can switch everything off. Yeah. And by doing that, this is where we come in onto this side of the machine. Yeah. So if I go into like the tool chest, which is a picture of a span and a screwdriver yeah. on there. So now I can go in and then tailor make the machine. Oh, brilliant. So I can have it where I can change the foot control. On, you've got normal acceleration on the front of the foot control. I've got a heel back as well, which is again industrial design. Yeah. So I can have that. So if I just plug that back in again, and then I'm gonna just okay everything because I wanna do the set the complete there. So then I'm going to switch off the auto tie on tie off facility. Yeah. So then now when I'm under and then I would just start sewing as normal. All I've got is the pivoting facility on there. Uh, so I haven't asked it to do anything else. But when I get to the end now, what I can do is press the back of the foot control. Right. It's now set to do a back stitch and then one stop. I can go into then the tools and if I didn't want it to do a back stitch, and then I can actually get it so it then uh, needle up. I can have it then so it cuts the thread for me. Oh, so wow. I can then have it okay so it cuts the, the thing thread. is, you're gonna when you first get it, you're going to be pressing all these buttons. Absolutely. Like, what else to do? What else to do? <laughs> oh, and this is where you were saying, sometimes when you're doing a certain project, you want it to do one thing. And when yes, you do another said. project, you want it to do another. Mm -hmm. So again, why not have the machine set to which makes your life easier? Yeah, exactly. Definitely on exactly. there. So I can play around. And then as we have got is the auto foot lift as well, which right. is then we have foot lift button on the front. We have the auto foot lift where we program when we stop sewing. We've still got a complete manual. Yeah, because some control. people don't want 
that they think they don't want it. When they discover mm, it, was, I'm it. very old fashioned because the way I learned is the way I sew now. Yeah. And I know I automatically go to do that. Everything's even though done you've got to Yeah, you go, oh, foot up, needle down. But, right. but they'll, you'll soon learn. What? You, you don't well, need well, to worry again, about that. This is it. Some people adjust to that. Yeah. Some people don't always use it, but then they find some little things. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. That's yeah, really exactly. nice. But one of the main things I like to point out on here, this is still a full mechanical foot pressure. So, and that's why it can undulate, it will self-pressurise on there. So, even though it's got an electronic lift on it, the actual foot manual uh, is a full manual pressure control on yeah. there. So, it's a very strong system. And then taking it one step further... Oh, I was about to ask, because I, <laughs> I can see at the front there was got a knee lifter. Exactly, up. a little yeah. hole, it does come in a knee lifter, which, yeah. unfortunately, on this table, I can't show no, you. Exactly. But it obviously does give you that hand But that's free. the thing, you see, uh, my first industrial machine had one of those, yeah. big Singer machine, and it... Oh, which I bought from Frank yes, Franklin's, exactly, from Franklin's yeah. in there. And uh, they were like, oh, there's a needle control. I'm like, I won't use that, I won't use it. Once you start using your knee control, sorry, needle, your knee control, it's a, a, such an incredible oh. thing, isn't it? Because you, you, it's like when you first start driving, you think, well, I'll never be able to do my clutch, my this, my gears. No. But yeah. as soon as you get used to that knee lift, it's mm -hmm. just a, a blessing, nice, isn't it? And like yeah. you say, on a normal towing, it'll hang down the it side of your It sits down, it's there. in perfect. So where you're sitting, it gives you both hands free and literally yeah. just, oh, you can't see under the counter, but I'm just yeah. moving my knee and I've still got that control on there. So Brilliant. Again, it's tailor making the machine to your type of sewing, your mm. preference, but also knowing why not adapt, why not make things easier, which again the machine will allow you to of do course, as well, course, so, yeah. which is nice. So I'm going to use the manual thread cutter on that. I'm actually just going to take the foot control out yep. again and pop that on there. So, as I say, we've got it just set up as normal sewing at the moment. The foot pressure, I have got complete override on here as well. So with extremes, things like, but we are talking real extremes. So even things like sheepskin, where you're using thick fabrics, but it squishes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. you may Technical. need to adjust the pressure. Exactly, yeah. So you have got override adjustment on there. 98% of my sewing, I would not touch the foot pressure. I would not touch the auto tensions. No, no. You would leave it completely. But again, I find it very important. It's got complete manual override. Not computerized in there at all. It's a mechanical tension system, which again, same as all our industrial machines yeah. on there. So what that basically allows me to do is, which you should be able to do on any machine. It, I can just go into my box, and I always have got a box of pieces, yeah. bits and pieces on there, all different types of thicknesses, styles, fabrics. He is still there. Everyone. I am just sorry, just pop <laughs> under the bench there. Without <laughs> so, what we can do, just cut that off there. And then we've got sort of crystal organza. Yeah. Very slippery, very shiny, moves all over the place. Yeah. So, what we've done now on our needle plate, we've taken it one step further. So, where we've got the zigzag needle plate on yeah. here, which obviously allows us to do the patterning and things like that. When you come to very fine shears, the machine may travel it okay, but obviously the bigger the hole you've got when the needle goes down, the more chance it's got for puckering. Yeah. So what we've got on here, have I just put the, flip the button back and drop the plate up again? We've got a little switch in the machine. I don't know, it's hard to no, see. No, no, it's I can a, see it's it. a tiny see little switch yeah. there. All I'm going to do, oh, flick that over to the left. Right, okay, so it's just in the corner it's and you've just flicked it there, from so the right from to the right, left. And then there over to the left. Right. And then what that's done, it's turned the needle plate into a straight stitch needle no, plate. No, because on mine. Put a single hole in it. Yeah, you have to change from your. Physically, screw Because the, the, the big one's got the, the gap in that big, and then you want to use straight stitch. You And then and then some have a third one, don't they? That's, for, that's for right, you've got them various yeah. different yeah. ones on yeah. there. So what this allows you to do then, even without any screwdrivers or fiddling how around. Does it, how, does it, how does it do it? Ah, that's again. A secret. Uh, well, again, this is our jukey technology. We concentrate on the sewing side yeah. of it. And it's not just a switch which then moves a piece of metal, obviously the machine needs to know. Yes. So if, I now try, if I've got the straight stitch on and I try and choose a zigzag, zigzag it will not you. allow me that's to do good. it. So again... Yeah, because that's one way of ruining everything, isn't it? If oh, you've got your straight stitch on, you suddenly go, well, just zigzag this edge, and it goes, ka as it exactly kind of hits it. the metal plate. I think things. we've all probably done it with a, like a, um, a zip foot, or got the wrong foot on it, and yeah. overlocking and smashing, mm -hmm. and you just all oh, cringe and yeah. on there. So again, it takes that away from it. It's sort of just, um, hopefully, again, to prevent any problems that way. So all I'm going to do is then fabric under, foot down, 
So I have to tell you, there's a lot of Gary Love coming in on the emails. Lots of people Thank saying you. how much, how brilliant the thing is. And I've got a question in a minute to ask you, but I'll just keep doing what you're doing now and I'll ask you the question. So then all I'm going to do is just sew down that side seam. It's again very smooth, doesn't vibrate. I've not changed anything at all. I mean, in an ideal world, you change, like, if you're using different tech, like you're using a very fine fabric, you use a fine needle. If you're going to denim, then you'd change to a thicker needle, wouldn't you? So you'd still, you'd still have to do that in some ways, wouldn't G you? Generally, performance-wise on a machine, the needle is very, very important. Yeah. But as a, as a sewing tip out there, which oh. I find more important, is a sharp, brand-new needle, which necessarily might not be quite the right size, to a used right size needle. Oh, okay. I use size 80 in everything. everything. Obviously, I'm not making huge garments and things like yeah. that. But I know, if I just pressed in the scissors on here, on this particular machine, because of the feed performance on there, obviously, sometimes if you go to a big needle on fat, sort of fatter, thicker fabrics on there, it will struggle because you're trying to put a spear through. Yeah, no, no, so exactly, exactly. Bang, bang, bang. So therefore, a nice, sharp, finer needle will actually do the job better and easier and less strain on the machine. So obviously, uh, I'm used to you sort of yourself being right next to me where yeah, I can no, no, pass exactly. it over no, to you, which we can't, can't do, do at the moment. But I don't know if we can see that If you that put it down on, on the, I put down the table and Ellie can come in on a, a close-up for you. That's uh, there. And then... With this, oh, hang on, so I take that one away. Sorry, yeah, he's coming to that yeah, forward yeah. there. Uh, there is a line of stitching on there, yeah. And obviously, it's not pu if puck at it, pulled it. But the key thing, obviously, which it should be, is then the inside seam, yeah. because there's the fabric moves. Yeah, because that's a nightmare to work with, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very much so. So, literally straight on to do something like a crystal organza, yeah. And then I can then go into picking just another piece of fabric out. So whatever. It, happens to be strong piece of denim yeah on there so if we was to do like a jeans seam yeah so you've got oh yes you run and fell so you've got three layers exactly yeah. well, you've got that three layers uh, on there to go through so if i just pop that down only oh, gary doesn't use pins he doesn't need pins <laughs> But you're doing, it, you're doing it from a funny angle. I am doing it at yeah. a funny angle, and I'll probably end up putting pins in me more than yeah. anywhere else on there. But if you obviously notice that even though I'm doing it at the angle, the good thing about it, I'm not standing feeding anything through. It's taking it through. Uh, so why have we got the red on. light on now? What's so the red light is on here because I'm going to choose another stitch. Oh, okay. So what I can now do is a triple. Uh, there you go. Okay, there triple straight stitch but what this will allow me to do again because of the box feed mechanism with a lot of the supermatic stitches on general machines they won't allow you to elongate the stitch too much because no. the feed travel won't allow the box feed mechanism on here even when the supermatic stitches or the triple stitches i can take the stitch length right up so i'm actually going to go up to a four millimeter Crikey. and if i'm going to just sew down so i'm not actually going to sew i'm not pushing it i'm not guiding it yeah and this is the nice thing about it the machine actually makes me look good that way. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just taking it straight through. Obviously, I've adjusted nothing on there at all. And even though this fabric is a lot heavier, a lot thicker, it's not banging, it's not straining. Obviously, I don't have to push it through. Just let the machine do its work for me. Absolutely no problems at all there. I'll get to the end. Again, I can just press the button. It will tie it off for me. I didn't have the scissors programmed in, so I've manually done the scissors on there. Yeah. And now, if we look at the actual, there, we've got the heavy top stitch effect on there. <laughs> so it's like the triple. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks like a proper pair of, like, those really expensive jeans. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> on there. And again, instead of using a heavyweight threads and things like that, which a lot of domestic machines don't like as much, yeah. this will give you exactly the same effect, but obviously very, very strong yeah, as no, well. Yeah, no, exactly. Cause, yes, cause, and also, Sometimes if you're just doing one, like if you've got bought a new pair of jeans yeah. and you're doing the turn up of the hem, That's right? It. You want it to look like the rest of the jean stitching, but you don't want to go out and buy one reel of thread that you're going to use this much exactly. for to do the hem. Yeah. That's the extra. You can use your everyday, the everyday um, thread and do it like that. So it's going to look. do that triple stitching. So it gives you that exactly the same effect on there. So oh, 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 sorry, Gary, I've got a stock warning. Sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry about interrupting, but you need to know at home. There's two left. There's two of these. The brand new to us today. There's two left, yeah. right? There's two left. Brilliant. No. Uh, before you go on, I've also got a quick question yep. about the warranty. Yes. Does it come with a warranty? It does. Full two-year warranty. Two-year warranty. And 
that is completely backed up with a back to base service as well. Okay. So we look after it completely that way. And it's a two year warranty. It doesn't include any service packages. So it's not like you have to pay to get it serviced to uphold the warranty at all. Yeah. It's uh, on everything as well. Okay. Parts, labor, mechanical, And do they get in touch with you if they've got a question about it? Or not you, but with you. I, I'm there on the end of the phone oh, okay. as well. Oh, yeah, but no, but many they get to times, you, they don't no take problem. it to their local retailer or anything like no, that? No, they will come straight back to us. Okay. Um, again, okay. we look after it completely. We do have free workshops um, around the country. Yep. We also have actually free training rooms around the country as well. So the, oh, the, and where are they? Where are those? Um, we've got uh, mainly... You have to tell the addresses, just kind of what areas that's of it, Mainly there. East Anglia okay. in that there, but we have them on the south coast as well. Yeah. So sometimes a bit of a travel, but the nice thing about them, they are connected to very nice places to go shopping as well. Yeah, so yeah, course, yeah. <laughs> to have right, a look around. Lovely. So, but what you were saying about the denim, and this is where a lot of machines will really, really struggle on there. So once you've done your side seam, and you say to actually make then turning up a hem, obviously with the denim, it's not just a single fold. Never. It is the double fold. <gasps> So yeah, but you've got more than double fold because on that seam, well, you've, you've got, a got triple layer, triple layer there, and yeah. then a triple fold. Yeah, literally, you're going over, and that is what a proper jeans hem would yeah, be. Yeah, and on a normal machine, you get to it and you're thinking, oh, just hand crank it over slowly. And, then and as hope. soon as you do that with a machine, you're technically going to damage it. Oh, is because you're trying to do something. The machine, if the machine will, will not sew on its own don't force it through is because you are then going to obviously strain parts inside of the machine. The stitch quality is never going to mm -hmm. be good because the feed <coughs> no, system is not taking it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly it. So it is being very careful when going through things like that. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is on the machine itself, again, I can play around with the different stitches on here just to choose another stitch. I'm not going to touch anything again. I'm just going to put the foot down and then just so. So all I'm doing, I'm not going to force it through, I'm just holding the lump down because obviously I haven't got it pinned or anything like that. So now as I sew, it will just take it straight through and it even just rides over, doesn't bang, it doesn't murmur, it just glides straight through it, finish, cut the threads, foot lifts, there we go. And there that you didn't, have... That didn't strain or... And normally, no. when it gets that, it goes... Mm, well, you get to a point, or you yeah. see the look on someone's face, it's going, is he going to do it? Is well, no, he not I was going just to do it? <laughs> is the going to snap? What's going to no, happen? Absolutely. But again, I can step back. I, it, the machine just does it for me. Yeah. And I say, as soon as you, the machine starts banging, as soon as you start having to force something through, really, that's when that you should, should stop. stop. That's yeah. it, uh, yeah. on there. So, literally, from one to the other, and they say, fresh out the box, I haven't got to set it up, I haven't got a fiddle, I haven't got a plate, it's there, ready to Brilliant. sew. I just think, Paul, did you say you had a question? Oh, for the next machine. For, for, for we'll the ignore that then. Excellent. Right, can you just quickly, because they're about to all go, can you tell me about the stitches that are available on, yep. on the machine? So built into the machine, obviously, as I say, we've got sort of 185 stitches to have a play around with creative sewing and things like that. And with a lot of the stitches on there, they are sort of fairly standard uh, through sort of a lot of machines. But what we have also got on there is the alphabets. So for name tags and things like that, which we can do. Yeah. And just playing around with the different stitches is so easy. So just for instance, actually, again, it's reminded me, I've still got the straight stitch needle plate flicked on. Oh, so that's, it's, yes, good. Oh, even though I wanted to change it, it's not going to allow me to do that. So we just pop that up. Yeah. I'm just going to flick button. the switch back again. Yeah. And now it's then recognises that. I'm going to OK. It's now come up as my normal sewing screen. Uh, no. How heavy? This isn't a question coming. It's just me now thinking. Yeah. Because sometimes when you buy when you buy a big machine, you kind of think that's it. That's in my workroom. I'm not taking its classes or anything like that. Whereas that looks quite portable. It's quite portable. It's solid machine. As yeah. you can tell, it doesn't vibrate. It doesn't bounce. No, so no, there is no, definitely so, yeah. the weight. The chassis has got a full metal chassis inside in oh, there. Right. So it is nine and a half kilograms. Oh, okay. So, so there yeah. is good weight to mm -hmm. it. But on the other hand of it, we've got a full double handle. Yeah. So. It, it does make it easier then to lift it around so it's portable. And what we have got with it as well, which is a solid hard cover. Oh, OK. So then that you just goes that over. that one in. I didn't see that. No, well, this is it. Just tucked yeah. behind every surprise every now and then. <laughs> and then, so it is well protected. So we do have them. People do travel around with classes. Oh, yeah, I'm they, not saying you have to, but just in case. Uh, they, this day and age, you don't go to classes, really, do we? But well, not at the like moment, we don't. If yeah. you need to. Or if you're going to a friend's to sew, because Chloe and Crazy Lorraine, 
go to each other's houses to sew, but they could still stitch yeah. at the other end well, of the room. We've rooms. got our rule of stick sewing days, haven't we? Yeah, so exactly, as long as that's exactly. it, that's, that's absolutely um, fine. I'm going to have to stop there because they've all sold out. I've got one quick question though. Right. How many buttonholes? You've got 15 different styles of buttonholes on there. No. And it's like, why do you need 15 different styles? We're using thick fabric, we're using yeah. thin fabric. Bag making is huge at the moment. So instead of just, say, zips, do buttonholes. Yeah. Cushions, pillow, pillowcases. And is there a special buttonhole foot? This is something I was uh, sort of literally hoping to get to. Oh, no, do it, do it, do it. Oh, we're just going to do this, if that's all right. And then, so and then we'll, um, we'll do... We'll with the on. buttonhole systems, again, like the industrial-style sewing systems on there, it's not just a four-stage plain yeah, buttonhole. Yeah, yeah, because in my day, you did you worked, you measured it, you drew it in chalk, that's and then it. you did the bar tacks across the top, then you went down, hoping that you stopped in the right place, and then did the two bar, and then back up again. And it's then not like back that. up again, yeah. no. Well, with a lot of machines now, they do have a special foot that yeah. takes the button in the back. So that's not something different. Just pop it on the, on the desk. So I keep then holding it, don't I? No, so no, no, on no, there. no, it's fine. It's fine. We're, so all, we're all learning. They're getting used to the new, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so that just goes into the back and then yeah. it just closes up like so. Right. So now that will measure that button and do it to the size. I say a lot of machines will do, do that. that. Yeah. But what a lot of machines won't allow you to do, or won't, won't do for you, I should say, is gauge the type of fabric you're using. Oh. Because when you see a lot of people, then they show you a buttonhole, they just get two pieces of fat fabric, and they go there, that's what a buttonhole is. Yeah, they do it on calico, or exactly. that a very stable yeah. fabric. Yeah. Well, obviously, on something like um, wool fabrics and things like that, you've got then multi-layers, because mm. you do it on a button band, generally. You don't just have two no, flat no, pieces no, exactly. of fabric. So even now I've laid, folded it and folded it again, so it's more like a button band, but it hasn't got the interfacing in. But what I can do, the machine, the feet just press a little button at the back and they yeah. just drop off, same as with a lot of machines yeah. nowadays, and then that will just click itself into place. So then that just lowers down, the press of foot, pops it up like okay. so. We have got the jack plug on the side of the, right. of the actual foot itself, and then there's a picture of a buttonhole on the side. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. can you just see it there? In yeah. there, that just plugs into the side. And on what's there. that for then? So basically what that's now doing is censoring the layers of fabric. So when, uh, with a lot of machines, again, once you get to that lump or the double fold, and it's, it either misses stitches yeah. or it bunches stitches because the feed is not good enough to take it. Mm. But with a sensor system on here, if I just pop... Oh, oh they are designed to come off. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't just broken my machine. <laughs> so that literally just pops on, yeah, yeah, on yeah. there, uh, yeah. like so, because again, if you've got external holders and things like that, I can just take that off. Yeah. So just gonna pop the fabric under, right. and then, what I'm going to do is it goes in between the two layers of the foot. So instead of sitting on the actual feed system itself... Oh, so you've got like a stabiliser underneath. exactly it. And then what I can do is go in and choose one of my buttonholes one of, your on 15, here. One of the 15 buttonholes on right. there. So again, being a wool fabric, it's going to be more of a tailored. So why, why have a boring standard one? Yeah. Let's go to a keyhole, keyhole one. one yeah. so Which you normally do by hand if you wanted a keyhole very one. Very much so. Hand, and then we do notice on some machines as well, when, um, I don't know, at home on certain machines on there, when you do a keyhole buttonhole, what it does, it does half the eyelet, then the arm, up the other arm, then the other half of the other. Oh, okay, yeah. And the problem is, if it hasn't feeded it the same way or the pile in your fabric is different, once it gets to the doing the other half of the eyelet, oh, it it's was... out. Yes, yes. Yeah, <laughs> or it comes a slightly yeah, different. the nap of the fabric is Exactly, like that, yeah. yeah. So what we've done on here, I just then go into the buttonhole symbol right. and then press OK. It will then come up. So I want then, I've got several couple of different eyelet holes on here. <laughs> so zero, 06 right. on there. Yeah. It's now. Set Perfect. it all on there. I've got the button in the back. Everything's happy. I'm actually going to take the foot control out for this one. Yeah. Set it to a comfortable speed I'm happy with. Press start. And it's not just a four stage buttonhole. So it does the eyelet first. So that you know it's going to be a complete circle. Then it does reinforced beads front and back. Right. So it's more like a tailored buttonhole. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm um, So you're saying it, that now it's also you need it, like, because a lot of time if you make a shift on blouse. Yep. It's terrifying because you've made the whole shift on blouse and you leave the buttonholes to the end. And it's like, if I mess up now, that's the whole blouse that's it. And done for, it just isn't it? choose your fabric down yes, yeah. on there. So that is a wool fabric. So we've got several layers. And sorry, I'll put it onto the table again. Yeah. And as we can see, even though I've got, this is the back of it here, you've got the seam actually running along here. Yeah. And this is where you would usually see the missed stitches. Yes. So, but again, absolutely perfect. So if I turn that around, now you can see that triple to single oh. layer on there and it hasn't missed a beat. 
Yeah. The eyelet is perfectly round as well. Yeah. So again, because it's not trying to marry it up, we've got different fabrics, it's going to come out perfectly that way. So having that system, certainly for things like then the eyelet, oh, sorry, for the eyelets to give you perfect, going over different layers on the button bands, but taking that away, if we just then go to the extreme again, as yeah, you yeah. Saying, oh, yes, 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 pick yes. up the crystal organza, pop that between the two layers as well. Yeah. And then this time I'm going to just choose a lighter weight button hole on here. So we can come in. Yeah, because you wouldn't want the, the military one on chiffon, would you? Not usually. Yeah. This is it. So we're going to go to then the double-ended round one. Right. Which, again, I just it's just nice. It's neat. And so that's then 04. So I'm just going to go to 04. It set it. Obviously, everything else is set for me. Yeah, because the button's in there. The button's the in. I'm not changing in, the size yeah. of that or anything else. And then I just press start again. So again, it's not just a, a four-stage buttonhole, it's a proper six-stage buttonhole yeah. on here. So there's the reinforced stitches back down the reverse side. And you've noticed, even on the fragile stitching, the machine doesn't slow down. It no. doesn't need to slow down um, because of the feed system again. Yeah. So again, it ties it all off for me. If I had the scissors programmed, it would have cut it for me automatically. Course, yeah. so I just do the manual cut. There stops lift. And there you have one perfect chiffon buttonhole. Hang on, we'll just have a look at that. Um, oh, hang on, you doubt it, doubt it, doubt uh, it. This is it, <gasps> which is then right here. So again, there's no puckering, there's no pulling at all around Can the Can you outside. just move it to your left a tiny bit? Just put everything on the desk. Your that's it, that's it, that's it. There uh, you go. Easy oh. to see perfect. on, there on go. the whites. Yeah, actually. Yeah, so again, it hasn't pulled it, hasn't puckered it. Absolutely perfect, and obviously the guarantee the right size because it's doing it to the measurement of the button. Can you make the stitches down the side of the buttonhole wider? At the moment, Everything I've done is completely automatic. Right. I've touched nothing. nothing. I can override everything. So, you, <laughs> so, so if you wanted that buttonhole, but you wanted it to make a feature of it, I'm thinking if you've got a white blouse and you want a pink it. buttonholes and you want to make a nice thick feature of it, you yep. could make those side stitches. I wider. can literally go in at the moment. I've got it set to, or it's preset to four. four. I can then go in. Oh. Up. I can then override it. So right up to seven. Perfect. So, yeah, maximum. That'd be a bit weird, seven, wouldn't it? It's going to be quite a chunky buttonhole, but again, some fabrics demand that, so if you want exactly. that nice contrast on there. Okay, so. I have to stop you there. That's sold out. It's sold out, sold out. Hopefully, we can get more. But uh, certainly, we'll we have to wait and see, <laughs> won't we? Um, right, so we're going to take a quick break because we're going to come back after the break and we're going to just swap the machines over and we're going to show you an air threading. Not nope. air threading this time. Oh, oh, I'm, oh. I'm not wishing today. No, 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 no. That's fine. I thought it was an air thread. Sorry, I thought it was an air thread one. Oh, that's fantastic. We will see you. Don't go anywhere. Get yourself another cup of tea because we've got a whole hour of Gary talking about the overlock. And if that sells out, goodness knows what we're going to do. But we'll see you in four minutes from now. If you love sewing, then you need the UK's favourite sewing magazine. Every month, you'll receive exclusive patterns. Follow simple step-by-step -step guides suitable for all skill levels to make your own stunning clothes, accessories and more, together with inspiring tips and tricks from industry experts. Join in and discover your love for sewing. Try Love Sewing today and get your first three issues for just £6. Shopping with us couldn't be easier. If you want to shop online, then you can head to our website, www.sewingstreet.com. It will redirect you to our sister channel, Jewelry Makers landing page. Don't worry, you haven't gone to the wrong place. We're simply using their website temporarily while we're building our own web shop. Scroll down past the watch live part and you'll see all of the products that you will have seen on air on today's live show. You can also shop our catalogue by clicking a category, clicking a product to view closer and adding it to your basket. Once you're ready to check out, you will need to create an account, which is absolutely free to do so, but it will mean that you can check out on as many orders as you want throughout the day with still only paying one postage and packaging. If you'd prefer to speak to somebody in our UK-based customer service team, then you can do so via the free telephone line number 0800 001 4433. They will not only help you create an account, but will also help you with any of your online shopping. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page.
Did you know that if you shop with Sewing Street, you're only going to pay one lot of postage all day? That's one payment of £3.95 no matter what you're buying. And you can check out as many times as you like without having to pay another delivery charge. So shop online at www.sewingstreet.com or you can order via our call centre which is 0800 001 4433. Hi, I'm Rosie Weld. My name's Poppy and I'm a nutritional therapist. Hi, I'm Ruth Lynette and I can't wait to join you all on the brand new Gemporia Lifestyle channel. If you're a fan of primal living, you're going to adore what's around the corner. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is healthy habits, feeling good, it's about looking great, making sure that we're taking good care of ourselves inside, and it's about the life that you lead and the home that you live in. All of this is why I'm so excited. We've got the most wonderful team. Homeware deals and primal deals under one roof on one channel. I can't wait to share this brand new channel with you. So we'll see you soon on Gemporia Lifestyle. Gemporia Lifestyle, coming soon to Freeview Channel 74 and Gemporia.com. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance, and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles, so embroidery, cross-stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making, oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new, and I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it, and you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Do you know what I hate when people are, are you watching a shopping channel they go oh, we're so busy today we're so busy and you think I know you're not I know you're not we are so busy today it's unbelievable it was Gary I'm blaming Gary not nothing else blame Gary and the fantastic Juki machines now before we go to Gary in the overlocker which I've just found out how much it is so I think it's um anyway that that sewing machine has sold out Gary's been onto the office see if we can get some more I don't know we can't give you an answer right we just can't give you an answer it's because everything Sewing machines are one of the, well, it was on the news at 10 just recently. Sewing machines are one of the biggest things that have grown during this horrendous time we're going through. The sale of sewing machines has absolutely rocketed. Anyway, so that sewing machine has sold out. Now, obviously, this is a completely different ball game, ball part. This is the one Jenny Jackson's got, right? And she, she's like, it's the best thing that ever happened to Jenny Jackson. And we've had a few people messaging and saying, have we got any of these left in stock? So I'm just going to, we're not going to do a demo on it or anything like that. I just want you to know, and I'll put the graphics in for you, that this is, there are a few of these available, but that's it. But it's not, well, have we got the graphics, Paul? Yep, here we go. Look, now, obviously, it's a much, much more considered purchase. But if you've got any questions for Gary about this, e it's easier if you email them in, because the messages on the Facebook are going too quickly for me to keep up. If you want to know anything about this machine, after Gary's done his um, demonstration on the overlocker, we can answer any questions on this. So email your question in if you've got a question for this one, right? Here it is, studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Remember, remember the, uh, has it got the, the price on the um, five split? Look, 559 a month it is, 559 pounds a month. I know, I know, I know, I know, it's brilliant. Anyway, anyway, we'll get on. With the overlock, I just want you to know there's a couple of those still in stock. But with those, how do we know? How do we know? Now, one thing I've got to tell you about this overlocker is we have got a nice amount from Juki, but when they've gone, 
we don't know when we can get any more. And I'm not, I don't want to add any undue pressure. I'm not doing that whatsoever. But I just can see on here, people go, oh, the overlocker, I want the overlocker, I want the overlocker. Once our stock of these overlockers have gone, I don't know how long it'll be before we can get the next batch. I'm just saying, I'm being honest with you. I'm being upfront with you. I'm just saying, I don't want anyone to miss out. But I also don't want anybody to over... There's nothing worse, is I know this, there's nothing worse than money woes, there's nothing worse than waking up at four o'clock in the morning thinking, oh, you know, so I don't want you to overstretch yourselves. But, but we've got split pay, we've got split pay. So let's go and see what, Gary, what is this? Well, I know it's an overlocker. Why is it so special? Right. The, what we've obviously, we've had before is our auto threading, our whoosh systems on yes. there. Yeah. Not everybody needs that necessarily no? to start off with. Uh, not everybody can justify it or afford it that mm. way on there. But... What we do find key, key to an overlocker is like we do find with our sewing machines as well, is performance is king. Yes. Is because it's not necessarily just the threading that puts people off, is because nine times out of ten, once the machine is threaded, the problems are not usually thread problems, it's usually machine problems, yes. i.e. the tensions or it doesn't mm. feed it through properly where the machine's rattling and clonking or not cutting cleanly. Yeah. So what we've got is our M0114. Okay, let's get some graphics in. So. It's a four thread overlocker, a three thread overlocker, and a two thread overlocker. So, same as with most overlockers out there, that it will offer us cutting, seaming, and overlocking on stretch, jersey, vinyls, anything you want to put through it. Perfect. Certain things with ours, I'll just move the catch tray. This is, right, we're, okay. we're just doing the catch tray as an offer at the moment. I know it doesn't seem. So, that's your free. No, no, <laughs> no anything free is good. That's right. Nature, we all it? like a freebie. Yes. So, and the, sort of the catch tray on there. It, just clicks nicely under the machine. I just think it's, it's for your bits and pieces. Well, because otherwise you end up with it because you're doing it sitting down here. It comes all all the threads are all over it your lap, all everywhere. Absolutely like everywhere. Indeed. And to be fair, with with my shirt, it would show up. With your shirt, oh, yeah. it would be great. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. No, I love it. It's brilliant. <laughs> now I need to tell you something. The graphs got stuck a little bit. They're just sorting them out. Guess how much this is, right? You think, I thought it was going to be a four. Well, no, nine, I thought it was nine nine nine. Right? I thought it was nine hundred and ninety nine pounds. It's, just tell me again to make up sure, £599. That's on the website. You can click on it straight away on the website. We just can't get the graphics to come in at the moment. £599. Uh, what's that on, on um, split pay then? £199.66 on five. Anyway, we're just sorting out, just sorting out. Right, Thanks okay, you. carry on, I'll shut up. Right, so um, basically with all, like with all overlockers, a lot of overlockers, they do the same thing. It is that ease of use, that reliability. And once you've got an overlocker you enjoy using, you end up using it 90% of your sewing. Obviously your sewing machine's there, you're on the creativity sides, uh, straight stitch, uh, button holes, which some of your overlocker won't do. Yeah, of course. But in the main, for your awkward fabrics, your construction and everything, then the overlocker's fantastic. But also, even if you don't use it to construct, just that professional finish That's of it. an overlocking finish is just, you just, no matter how brilliant your sewing machine is, an overlock edge where it's cut it and overlock stitch it and everything, there's something Nothing special. Nothing overlocks like an overlock. Yeah, That's exactly, exactly it. Yeah. Again, obviously, we've got our big machines as well with overlock stitches and facilities in, mm. but when it comes to actual professional overlocking, you say, nothing yeah. overlocks like an overlocker. No, no. So, with, with our particular overlocker, so I just removed the catch tray. Yeah, the free uh, just kit. Just the free, the free beyond yeah. there. What we also, we've got the machine, you can set it up. So on the back of it, that comes with cone holders. So I've just, again, taken it out of the box on there. So the cone holders, literally as it says, are for holding cones yeah. uh, on there. But a lot of people say, do you have to just use the cones? Not at all. Take those off and they just all quickly just pop off Yeah, on because there. sometimes if you're just doing a single project, yeah. you only want to use your normal and threads. And certainly with some colours as well, mm. where you're not necessarily using huge amounts of it. Yeah, and, yeah. I can't imagine using much of that orange. Exactly. <laughs> this is lovely orange. Is it? <laughs> yeah. what mean? No, there's nothing wrong with it, but yeah, you're not going to make many clothes. It's, it's a good it? contrast, but no, yeah. definitely yeah. not. <laughs> so um, at the moment, I just um, I, I like using the bright colours here, obviously, because they show nicely up on TV. Yeah. So. The smaller reels, again, once I've got the, the cone holders off, they just pop on, no difference okay. at all there. And what thread is that that you've put on there? This is just a 50 thickness polyester thread. Okay, does the, it have to be, for overlockers, does it have to be a polyester thread? No, not at all. I can, um, I've, I've got various different, we've got nylon floss threads. Yeah. Um, I say we can put other t different types of threads, come just in cotton. Yeah, and all no, that's that. fine, that's fine, because a lot of people automatically think, oh, I have to buy yeah. overlocking thread As to go with an overlocker. With an overlocker. Yeah. The reason why you generally would do, 
if you go out and fire a thousand meters of good quality thread nowadays, you are looking at ten pounds. Oh, yes. yeah, yeah, <laughs> on yeah, that. Yeah. Which again is good thread. You, it's hard not to justify. Is because if you're going to make a garment, you're using expensive fabrics. Use a quality thread. Mm. It's better for your sewing machine. It's better, stronger for your finish as well. But when you're using an overlocker, you use a combination of three or four threads together, then. Thousand meter reels, yeah. these are about a pound, yeah, 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 <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. exactly. Um, and another little thing when people say, say with overlockers, oh, it uses a lot of thread, it only uses as much thread as you sew. Which I know it sounds simple in that way, but the way I also point it out as well if you're using a sewing machine and you zigzag the edge of your fabric, you're mm -hmm. using two threads, bobbin and top. Then you have to straight stitch your machine mm -hmm. on your machine. We're using another two threads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're yeah. actually using four threads anyway. You're only using, yeah, you're only using <laughs> the thread that you would have been using. Exactly, exactly but you yeah. just happen to do it all at once on here. So what I'm going to do is just empty, completely take all the thread out. Sound. On there. So just right. completely empty that. I'll just right. pop that on the floor down there. So if I actually open the machine up and you straight away the sound, you heard that sound on yes. there. No vibration, no movement. Full metal chassis inside. Right, Again, right. it is a solid machine. It doesn't bounce around, it doesn't move. Something we're obviously very proud of as well, which we do in our domestic overlocker, is carbon tipped industrial style blades. Right. So, a lot of blades now, and sort of smaller domestic overlockers, they call what they call hook blades or the cheap steel blades. So, you have to change them quite regular, which obviously can get costly. And obviously, whether you can do it or an engineer, it's so then more expensive, you can get hold of them. Carbon tip blades on here, same as what we use our industrial machines as mm -hmm. well. One thing they're actually a lot cheaper because they're industrial based uh, on there. But obviously, being carbon tip should pretty much last indefinite, yeah. long as you don't accidentally stick pins. Or I was about through. to say, if you <laughs> if you run over a pin, which you should never have your pins in when you're doing your That's own, it, you, yeah. we all do it. If you're tired, whatever, absolutely, you can get a replacement very easily. Yeah. yeah, that's it, and it is. It's a matter of a single screw for both blades as well, so it's actually easy to change yourself. Yeah, but, so you yeah. don't need specialist equipment for those consumable parts. So it's very nice that way. Also, we put the inline tensions on there, so it makes threading that bit simpler on there. It's it's nice where there's that even balanced tension, so I haven't got to fiddle again. I haven't got to play, which we find very important, especially yeah. on overlockers when you're looking at four tensions, four exactly. threads uh, on there. Then simplified the threading, it's all colour coded, so which makes it nice and easy. And we have also put a looper threader in here as well. Oh, what, what? So a looper threader. So on an overlocker, you have two loopers yep. and two needles. Yes. When you hear people moan about threading an overlocker or the frustration about threading, it's the loopers generally they yes. get frustrated about. I have about to say, my very first overlocker, I, it would te absolutely terrify me. Just yeah. the, th the threading of it, the thought, and if the thread broke, Oh. We would ring Franklin's and go, help, come and do that. we don't know how to do this. And we had one girl work for Sabina who was like this expert on it. But if she wasn't in, we would like yeah. cry almost and, and working under pressure and thinking, we don't know how to do this. Whereas now you've made it yeah. so friendly. It's really, absolutely. It? Again, it's, it's more for more people to use. Mm -hmm. And you say about putting them to one side, it's more frustrating for us when we walk into a college or a school where they've got overlockers in there and they've got them shoved in a cupboard yeah. is because they've come unthreaded and they're too frightened to touch them. And some overlockers I do understand, yeah, they yeah, really yeah. do. They are oh, difficult. It was a monster, my first one. On there, well. and then you've got tubes and that everywhere. Yeah. So this is why we've simplified it very much. So okay, before yeah. you start threading it. Yeah. Oh, it's, oh, the graphics are in. I was about to read the graphics Here out. Here we go. They're out there, they're there, they're there, they're there. Oh, hang on, so it's... Hang on. Hun 199 pounds, oh, I said that, 199 pounds and 60 pence a month. The 60 pence just missing there. Oh, this is brilliant. Right, okay, I'll shut up, I'll shut up, I'll shut up. Right, on there. thread it. So, right, so uh, again, all we do is follow the colour codes. I'm afraid on this one, I'm going to have to try and move it. Is that okay? No, that's right, that we've got cameras that move. Ooh, yeah. yeah, so I, I can just see that a little yeah. bit. Is that all right, there. Elliot, there? We're happy with that one. Excellent. So, it comes with all your tools and your bits and pieces, and tweezers are always a handy tool yeah. to have on there. So, again, a diagram on here showing you which way. It also gives you then a colour coding and also threading order as well. Right. Oh, okay. So oh, yes, it's important. Blue right. number one, red number two, green number three, and yellow number four. Obviously, prop instruction manual. Yeah. So, it does come with that as well, uh, which gives you a step by step on there. So, what we're going to do is, first of all, take our first colour. What I think I'd be, what I think I'd be tempted to do, because your four colours, you've got like a red, a blue, a green, and a yellow. Yeah. I think the first time I thread it up, 
I would use because we've all got a thread. Match the colours. Go, match the colours so you learn where because exactly. if you've got four yellow ones going, you're like, oh, is that? But that way, just this is just for my brain. No, it's for it, when I do the blue. What, what are you doing? What do you do first? Is it the blue one? It's though? the blue one first yeah, yeah. on there. So again, if you colour coded it, but also when you've actually then stitch out your samples, you can see then which stitch relates which, to, to what, which stitch. Yeah, exactly. So absolutely ideal for your sample books and things like that. Yeah. It's brilliant. And, okay. So and also there's there's a little uh, tip I would sort of say with a lot of people when they sort of look at overlockers and they sort of come and say, well, I can can I just knot on and pull through. So you can do, I don't recommend it. There's Fine. two reasons I don't recommend that. The first reason, never learn a shortcut before you learn how to do something properly. Exactly. Because if suddenly your threads break or something and you've never learned how to thread it, you're gonna well, that, well, that's stand it. That's back, it. Yeah. and there's yeah. a lot of people do. So learn how to thread it, it's, it's a, with our simplified system on here, it's not difficult. But then second of all, if you end up knotting on and pulling through, that knot breaks or will, pulling it through the tensions and over the tensions, it can pop out the tensions and when you start sewing, it's not stitching yeah. correctly, then you've got to think, where have I You'd gone like, wrong? Oh, Gary. Well, this Gary is on the phone to me, this. that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's, this is where I would say definitely, yes, you could knot it on and pull it through. I never recommend it. Right. Because once you learn to thread it, as I'm going to show you now, it doesn't take But I think that as a supervisor, when I was working in theatre, I would never ask my staff to do something that I couldn't do. Yeah. Because if they suddenly went, well, how do I put this sleeve in? And I'd be like, well, I don't, I don't flip it well, no. No, that's Whereas right. Whereas you have to, it, it's like, it's just the best way to do it, really, yeah. isn't it? Just well, to trust me, 32 years ago, sitting in a workshop, I could take a sewing machine apart and put it together pretty much with my eyes closed. I was given an overlocker for the first time and I went, oh, <laughs> <laughs> what do I do with this? And as we say, yeah. over time, they have got a lot easier yeah. to use on yeah. there. And if you say, if you get a good overlocker, you shouldn't, it won't break threads, exactly. you won't have to fiddle around with it, it will just do the job for you very well. So the first two, are they the loopers or are they the needles? The first two are your loopers, right. so these are the underneath two. Yeah. So your blue one first, so it just yeah. goes in the top and it just yeah. clicks into the guide, uh -huh. through the inline tensions and then blue guide, so everything's colour coded, I don't know how easy it's going to be to see the colour codes on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, we're right but in there. Blue dot, blue dot, so all I do is then into the blue dot, then blue dot, oh, then blue. So even though I'm doing it awkwardly again at one side, yeah, it's just pop, pop, pop. Yeah. There's no actual threading through or no. anything like that, apart from when you get to the eye of the looper, and then that's something I do have to then manually thread. This is it. <laughs> I do need my scissors. What have I done with my scissors? There's a box of scissors underneath the desk if you're needing oh, to Oh, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Okay, so they've all just clipped in, like like you were thread in a sewing machine. Just follow blue, 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 blue. blue. Now, where are you actually? And then it this through? one is then for the looper, so which is this hole here. Is it blue? It is. It, the back of it is marked blue. Yeah. So yes, the guide there is blue. Perfect. But again, the little diagram on here then shows you as yeah. well. So the hole is actually bigger than the needle hole, so it is a bit easier to thread yeah. through. And you've got to sit and light. Well, obviously, I am going to do it at a slight awkward angle. You've noticed as well, we've got proper. Uh, natural lighting, LED lighting. There's no yellow lighting. Oh, no you did heat. it in one. You did it in that day. He's going, oh, I've got to thread it. You've done it in one. <laughs> so, again, it's just nice and easy. Yeah. And so just pull out the back. There. And, and I'm just going to pull it out and just leave it over the side yeah. now. I'm just going to leave that there for a minute. Okay. And then next one is my red one. So... Yeah, if you're at home thinking that's not red, that's yellow. Gary's using all four set colours the same. It's the threaders that, you know... So, yeah, system. my... my Red threading. What are the there. <laughs> Can I just ask what the pictures are at the top of each of those sections? So that's then? a picture of one of the loopers. Right. So it's telling you the looper red, looper blue. Oh, okay. So it's where it's needle going. Needle green, yeah. and that's it. So we know which one to follow yeah, down okay, on there. Uh, so again, it just clips into the top through the inline tension. And so are the again, loopers the more difficult bits? This is more the awkward bit, yes, indeed. And yet, so, it's quite simple. And, and this, that, is this is how we've simplified it, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. When it comes to the needles, it's not a lot of difference from a sewing machine, okay. really. So, but uh, yeah, the, them, yeah, the two loopers, when you hear people have a little bit of a uh, sort of a whinge about an overlock, it usually is because of the one loopers, of the loopers yeah. on there. And to be fair, it, when threads on sort of some overlockers out there, they do keep breaking. Nine times out of ten, it's a looper one, so you have to unthread it all completely and yeah. rethread it again. So. With this one then, so we just go through, red guide, so again, it's just a guide, yep. red guide, red guide, and then this looper threader, so if I just turn it over by hand so we can see it 
yeah. which is then yeah, this perfect. little white lever here. Yeah. If I just press that, it flicks the looper down towards oh, me. Okay. So all I need to do is hook the thread in and then pop it back up again. <gasps> And oh, that's that one done. And that's well, oh. apart from the eye. Yes, yes, but yes. The yes, awkward yes. bit, obviously, with a lot of machines, where you've got to thread it through, pass it, yeah, hook it on, yeah, yeah. thread it back through again. So we've we've taken that out of the equation, and then all we do then is say, thread, then the next looper. And again, I can turn the hand wheel so it's in a more of a suitable place for me to thread it through, and then that just goes through. Then I'm going to just pass that through out the back again. And then that should, underneath threaded, that should turn Okay, so no, that hasn't gone through needles, that's just gone through an eye at the end, which is like the equivalent of the downstairs. Needle. Exactly it, yep. That's as, as a, so again, there's a lot of people sort of when they say sort of the two underneath, literally what you've said, downstairs, the underneath needles, yeah. or the top needles. Yeah. So again, if, if you're happy with that reference point, yeah. you know what eye to thread then. So then once that's done, that's it. Now the two loopers are sorted out. So next two are just my needles. And you have to do them in the order it says, don't they? That's the it. two loopers are very important yeah. to do. To be fair, the needles I can actually do in what order I oh, want, because okay, but, but I can then use it as either a, a three thread or a four yeah. thread, so I might not want both needles yeah, on there. So no, the, the key thing to the, the order of threading is, is because of the underneath loopers on there. So that's the main thing. And then the top one, so the green, so again, clicks into the guide at the top. Down, color coded, so this is pretty much the same as your sewing machine, yeah. where you've got your, your tensions, comes over your take-up lever, you've got a guide above your needle, yeah. and then you've got your needle which then threads from <coughs> front to back. So Now while you're threading that, even though people buy these from us today, they're delivered from you. That's right, they're they? coming direct from us. How long, if somebody buys one today, what is your normal delivery time? They are, or I say, they're in the stock, what we've got left now is yeah. they're ready to go. Right. So, as basically as soon as the order is then processed, 24, 48 hours. So That's when it's sent out. That is when it's sent yeah. out, yeah. And Gary doesn't deliver it. You won't get Gary knocking on your door saying, here's your Juki overlock. This is it, unfortunately. He does everything <laughs> else, but he doesn't do the delivery. Well, again, I'm on the end of the phone, so certainly for queries, questions and that, then we have our own workshops, as we say, we have our own engineers, our own tutors. So the backup service is completely there on every, every side. So then threading the needle front to back, then that's my third, my third thread done. Oh, you're right. Make sure I've not caught it anywhere, and that's it. So then that one is the right hand needle, then all I'm going to do is then go to my next needle, or the last one, the left hand yellow, click into the top guide, underneath, through, over the top, yellow, yellow, yeah. yellow, guide above the needle, and again front to back. And again, when you're sitting facing it, it's going to be a lot easier than leaning over a table towards you. You're not going to be doing it like this. Absolutely. It's, uh, you, you're there in front of it. Also, it does come with things like needle threaders, not all fully automatic ones. No, 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 no. no. Old-fashioned needle threaders. Old-fashioned yeah. ones as well. So it does make life easier if you want it that way. And then what I'm going to do is take all four threads. Uh, oh. Let me get the there, I'll reach round on that one. Oh, because I'm at a, an awkward angle here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm going to do is before I actually sew a stitch, just close that up. Yeah. I'm going to lift the presser foot up. Right. As you leave at the back, just going to give it all a little pull. Yeah. Because what I want to make sure before I sew a single stitch, I've not got it caught anywhere, yes, yes, wrapped yes. anywhere. Because obviously, if it is, as soon as you start, if it snaps the thread straight away, that's frustrating. Yeah. So. What I'm going to do, that's, I'm happy with all of that. I'm going to sew a few stitches by hand. So literally turn the hand wheel towards me yep. a few times. And then all of those tails, I'm going to cut as close as possible, just to get rid of them all now. Oh, OK. So uh -huh, and there's a lot of people at home who think, oh, well, we'll yeah, do that so with I my eye. Like <laughs> but again, with this one, absolutely no problems at all. OK. So we've taken it out of the box. Self-leveling tensions is all on number four. And you say, with all my normal overlocking, I won't touch any Okay, so, so if, it, if it comes out the box, or you lift out the box and you accidentally knock all if of I've, those things. If it's come out like that. Yeah, you <laughs> want them all to go to number four All to I start do with. is I line them all 
back up on number four. Well, it's coloured in, I can see from here. It's this is in, it. Probably. So you've got a nice colour coding on yep. this one there. Okay. And that will give me my even tension then. And then the nice thing about it, so whatever we're picking up, whatever we're sewing, it will then just sew straight through it without a problem at all. You right. know me, got me box of bits and we yep. lovely bits of fabric on here. You must get through an awful lot of bits because every time I see you, whether it's yep. at the shows, whether it's here, the wherever, you've got... Loads and loads, absolutely. But again, we've been our other side, obviously, with the classrooms and things like that. Yeah, we do. Yeah, but do you ever make anything or do you just have bits that you I, show? I make lots of patchwork bits. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, make, I have constructed things like bags and sort of dive equipment bags and yeah. things like that. But uh, you say my passion is inside the machine yeah, as well yeah, as well as outside yeah, exactly, the machine yeah. but again knowing how it all works what you can do with it is very important yeah, course, on that yeah. side so again without literally thinking that i'm going to go straight through okay question before you can go any further yeah. you didn't lift the foot up no so what i'm going to show you on there as well so everything on this side of the plate the cutting blade is here it's going to remove on the front of the machine it's spring loaded the presser foot. Right. So as you as you rightly pointed out, on this type of fabric, I didn't lift it at all. Straight in, and it then took it without a problem at all, and then away I go. So, so now, for those people who don't know what it's actually doing, what is that overlocker doing to your layers of fabric? So what that's doing on there now is it has cut the edge, sealed it. Pop it down the table. On the table, sorry. No, 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 no don't pop it. So, it's cut it, sealed it, and finished it all at the same time. Right. So the idea with the four thread is you've got two rows of stitching in here. Right. So it's a lot stronger. So when I open it up, it will actually give me a strong seam. Right. So you, on that, you've not only finished edges, you've actually done a line of stitching That's it, to a line construct of as well. As, exactly. So it's actually doing three operations in one. So this is where sort of people say, oh, I haven't got time for dressmaking and things like that. This does save you time. But <laughs> also if you're making a jersey dress, Yeah. This is sometimes much easier than sewing it on a machine, then taking it to an overlocker, because it's because that stitch is going to work on jersey. Very, isn't it? very much so. Yeah. And this is the nice thing where it doesn't matter what fabric <coughs> you use. So I've gone from like the crystal organs again, yep. onto denim. Mm -hmm. So completely different types of fabrics. Again, none of this is stretch or jersey at the moment. Yep. If I'm using a slightly thicker fabric, I have got the foot lift at the back, so I can lift the presser foot okay. up. Or as I said now before, it's spring loaded or yeah. unloaded, so I can lift it so up. So actually, you don't, it, it's I not necessary. Technically, I never have to lift no. it if I don't want to. But you there. could if you wanted to. Yeah, I could do, because sometimes if you want to remove the blade, and then if you're starting them further in, yeah. I can do that as well. If I, I, want I to. watched one lady once, and she was she did demonstrate. It wasn't one of your ladies, but she was demonstrating an overlocker, and she said, oh, it's dangerous. You should never lift the foot up. It's not good for the machine. Um, well, the only thing I would say with that you, uh, you can lift the foot up and down as much as you want, it makes no problem, yeah. but never sew with the foot up. Oh, no, no. Okay. And which we, yeah. we know that from our sewing machines yeah. as well, because that was straight away, you've got no tension systems in involved, it would yeah. just knot it all up. So yeah. that's the only reason I would say... Yeah, no, she was literally saying to. you should never lift it to put your fabric underneath. And I was thinking, but like you say, if you want to start, it's all very well if you're starting at the beginning of fabric, yeah. you can just feed it un under. But this is it. if so you're doing I more intricate... Lift it up, literally, and then if I didn't want the first bit cut, yes. then I wanted to start further down... It's not a problem to do that. I think just take the needles out so I can sit it in. Yeah. So now I'm starting further down. So if I want to then even go on straight onto a curve, yes. then I can do that. So then, as we say, the, the, fir the first bit here, obviously it hasn't cut. Yeah. So I've got my normal fold there. Just push, push it forward a little bit. Oh, no, no, we're coming to you, that's fine. That's got fine. my seam on there. Yeah. So, again, giving you that perfect finish. Very neat. I can shape, I can curve, yeah. I can cut out. Absolutely no problems at all there. And it's very, very strong. Yeah, exactly. So that's a nice thing, that. Okay, another question that people will be sitting at home going, oh, his, his fingers are very close to the blade, his fingers are very close to the blade. Yeah. Obviously, it's a blade and it's a needle. You've got to be careful. But it's actually designed in such a way, isn't it, that the need, the blade is actually... It's perfectly safe. Don't get me wrong. If You you can find a way and force your fingers in there. But yeah, don't put your finger in it. This is it. We, we put these into schools. We put them into colleges. Yeah. If, if they're not up to the, to the full safety, obviously, we yeah, can do yeah. that. We have specifically put a full guard in front. So you really... 
You can't put your... It's very difficult to put yeah, your fingers in Yeah, don't take something that's in right. order, but, but it's basically, when they see your fingers going so close, it's actually... Yeah, it, it's safe. It's the safest yeah. as it can be. I mean, so, yeah. I, even sort of with that, I'm looking at you while I'm doing it yeah. and that, I don't feel frightened or threatened no. that I'm suddenly going to put in there. Yeah. So, no, we have guarded it all particularly Perfect. in there, so okay. very much. Then, some other little things as well, like sort of fabrics which don't even fray, like vinyls and things like that. Yeah. As I said about things like bag making, and that, it's very big at the moment. So, what's wrong with making life easier and quicker? Even with construction of things, that type of fabric you wouldn't necessarily put for an overlocker or think about, yeah. then what I can do, so two layers, heavy vinyl on here, gain carbon blades. I was going to say, I'm going to empty I my work, catch tray yeah. <laughs> on there. <laughs> on the floor. Back um, on. That's what I was going to say, because I would be frightened of putting something like that that would blunt my blades. It would then blunt or a lot of blades that were there, or a lot of blades won't even cut it properly yeah. on there, so you end up jamming it in the machine. So, again, without touching anything at all, I can just put it straight through. But what I, have, what I am going to do, which I haven't done at the moment, is on the side of the machine, we've got our stitch length control right. and differential feed. Right. Differential feed, I'm going to explain in a minute. I was going to say, good, because nice. I guess. But the stitch length is like your sewing machine. Bigger the number, longer the stitch. Right. Generally, so thicker the fabric, I usually would then turn it up a little bit And does that, does that alter all the stitches or just the stitch that's constructing it? It is basically that all of the length will be elongated. Of everything? Of everything, yeah. yeah. So it elongates the whole stitch, yeah. So then, if I just carry that through now, yeah. they say I'm not forcing it through, I'm not pushing it, I'm just guiding it. It's obviously cut it nice and cleanly, yeah. smoothly. And then if I just again pop this on it. Oh, that wasn't very straight, was it? <laughs> but <laughs> again, it shows you on there. So it's giving you then the, the seam, cut, finish, and it is very, yes. very strong. Now, the other thing is, is with these kind of some avant-garde bags that are around, yeah. if you've put right sides together, if you put wrong sides together, yeah. you could stitch it with a contrast stitch like that, but it's actually going to be seen on the out, you know, like a designer bag. And that's so right, so you've got the, the seam on the inside, you could then fold it, and as you say, you could then do your top stitch effect Yes. on the top yeah. as you say yeah. with that sort of style on there so yeah. you've got the professional finish on the inside the strength is also done in a lot quicker but then you have then got the hand effect finish yeah. on the outside mm. so which is really yeah. nice so you've got the best of both worlds there so again whatever i'm doing whether it's light denim heavyweight fabrics not a problem at all again apart from the stitch length where i've just made it a little bit yeah. longer yeah. no fiddling no messing around whatsoever on there but well, what an overlocker would say really comes into its own, as you're saying, is stretch and jersey yeah, yeah, and yeah. those awkward type of fabrics. And if you sort of look at home and in your wardrobe and if you look oh, at... Oh, yeah, I've got a load of pané velvet. This is, all that, all that is, that is my lovely crushed velvet and things like that. If you look at any sort of garments made out of this type of fabric, generally a sewing machine wouldn't touch it. It would all be done on an overlocker. Yeah. So two-way stretch fleece. Again, I'm not going to touch anything at all. It's slightly heavy again, so I'm leaving the stitch length up. Okay. And then I'm just going to lift the front of the foot up, again, thicker fabric, pop it under, so it then grips it, takes it straight in. Then round, and there we have one perfect seam on two-way stretch fleece. Perfect. So it yeah, it gives you all that flexibility, movement. But so a if lot you're of making onesies well. or you're making kind of loungewear and things like that, it's going to because it's going to give you the fabric. Because what a lot of time is you when you sew a stretch fabric, the stitches aren't stretched. So then you no. pull the and you hear it go crack, 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 exactly, crack, crack, on a yeah. on a sewing machine. Then it ends up cracking and obviously it falls apart, which is not good. And yeah. to be fair, if it's something you have got on the sofa or bed blanket, it doesn't matter so much. But if it's something you're wearing then obviously it's going to make so a big difference. So just tell difference. me, Gary, what would you wear made out of this then? Uh, well, it's obviously my dance costumes are made out of this. Uh, obviously, <laughs> a shame I can't do my Halloween uh, this, oh, this no. year. Oh, no, still parade it. around the village. I could parade around yeah. absolutely on that. So. Oh, I can't wait to see you in your dance <laughs> costume, that's for but sure. Certainly with things like that, it's, it's usually very, very awkward to sew. And say on a sewing machine, it would stretch it. Uh, and that's it, with missed stitches all over the place mm -hmm. a lot of the time as well, because it's not feeding it properly. And we're talking about, we're not just talking about cheap sewing machines we're talking about some of the oh. high-end sewing machines still yeah. can't cope with some of these modern because fabrics. it's the nature of the fabric uh, on there that movement is just not designed for it so <laughs> i think you've got my very blunt, blunt scissors indeed though. someone's been cutting wrong stuff with yeah. those <laughs> so with this one this has got a 
slightly woven back, but very soft, very stretchy, very stretchy on there. Yeah. So if I'm going to sew this through again without touching anything at all. So you're not changing stitch length? I'm not changing like stitch that. length because it's slightly thicker fabric again yeah. on there. But if I sew this through now and let you have a look. It's actually going to make me look a little bit silly because he's done it perfectly. So it shouldn't be a bad <laughs> thing to do on there. So even with the how soft and stretchy, it hasn't waved it, it hasn't puckered it, it hasn't pulled. Again, very, very good feed system. No puckering on the inside seam as well. Full stretch. You see, that's way. what's brilliant is the way you've just stretched. So you've sewn two pieces of fabric together and it, the, the whole seam is stretching yeah, with the fabric. Yeah, literally there. So... I can yep. give it a lot of movement, a lot of pulling around, which obviously for garment, whether it's lycra, leotards, dance wear, anything well, like that. Well, I was going to say, because around <laughs> my village, there's an awful lot, we call them mammals, middle-aged men in lycra. Right. You know what I mean? Every weekend, you can't, the whole village is full of people cycling. Yeah. In the, brilliant, because if you, if you were to rip any of those, on a sewing machine, or you could, whereas this, you could just zip it, zip it through the machine. Literally, you could then just reseal yeah. it back up again. No problems. It would be, yeah. probably be a lot stronger as well. And yeah. certainly, say, with your sewing machine, it would be a lot more awkward to get in there to do a seam, where that would just do it straight exactly. away for you there. So even when it then comes to really soft, stretchy fabric, so I'm trying to find something for the differential feed to let you know what a differential oh, feed Oh, yeah, no, does. we need to do this. So let's even go even worse fabric. Well, it's, no, it's nicer fabric. Oh, it's lovely fabric, <laughs> but so on that side yeah. of it, this has got a, a two-way pile on it, so right. it is more of a fur fabric. Yep. Again, stretchy, so it moves. So what we're going to do then, showing you what the differential feed will do. Yes, exactly. Then with that, so we've got the stretch movement there. Then... I am then going to just pop that under again. I've just got a spring loaded yeah. front on there. Sew that down. Again, I haven't touched anything at all. But what I'm going to do is halfway down, I'm now going to turn the differential feed, which is the bottom dial, right, up to what? What? So what's it? What's its normal setting? Sorry. Normal is on N. N for, oh, for normal. normal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good idea that was. And then uh, you've got then the, di the ratio 1.52 and everywhere in between that right. as well. A little bit of trial and error, and as you as we all know, once you've used the fabric a couple of times, mm -hmm. you know generally where how it's going to react. Right. So I'm going to turn this one up to just under two. Right. And then I'm just going to carry on sewing. Right. So I'll touch nothing else at all. Elliot's a bit worried because he wants to know how come you've got his pants on your sewing machine, <laughs> on your overlocker. Oh, it shouldn't have left them in the green room. Yeah, That's what well. I say. It's his own fault there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll jump turn that his girlfriend's in today. She'll go now. <laughs> so, as we first started sewing, right. you can see how it's waved it and stretched it. Yeah. And that is without the differential feed. Right. As soon as we put the differential feed on... Okay, so how would you describe what the differential feed actually right. does? So... If we can sort of see on the camera, I don't know which is the easiest way to see. If you can look at my hands, right. with a sewing machine, you've got one feed. Right. It does that all yeah. day long in, a, in either a box movement or an elliptical yeah. movement. With an overlocker, you have two feeds. Right. And they work in unison, right. usually. Like a walking L foot, then? A walking foot is a top and bottom Yeah, feed. yeah, but yours are side but by these side. These are yeah. sort of front, this is yeah. side by side on there. And then what I can do, the differential feed will allow me to change the speed of one of the feeds. Oh. So, instead of pushing a fabric in more, which then stretches it when it comes out the other side, I can have it so it then takes it out a little bit quicker. So when it's pushed in more, it comes out a bit quicker. Or I can have it so it pushes more in and comes out slower. So I can either take the stretch out of something to stop it from waving, or on the other side of that, again, using sort of a sheer fabric yeah. again on here, Literally, just as a, a quick show, I'm going to then just play around, which I can do all day long. I'm yeah. going to turn the differential feed up to two, turn the stitch length up to four. Right. And this time, I'm actually going to play with the two needle tensions slightly right. as well. Again, doesn't matter how much I fiddle around with these, set it back to number four, even tension. Now, what that will do for me on non stretch fabrics, if I put that through again now, that will. <laughs> And I can alter the amount I want it to change the gather by increasing the tension slightly. Yeah. Oh! 
Let's get an automatic gathering on there. <laughs> so hang on, so you lengthen the stretch length. I'll put the stitch, stitch length, length up on there, so like you would do on a sewing machine sometimes, because yep. the longer you are, the more yeah, movement yeah, yeah, you've got yeah, between yeah. the stitch. Differential feed goes up to... Differential feed up to number two. two. So it's literally pushing the fabric in. Oh, yeah, so it's ga almost so it's like a gathering is, for pushing going it in. Exactly and then why it. did you... What, what are those two that and you changed there? And then the two needles. Yeah. So what I've done, instead of then... Because the tension system is... I'm going to say so good, yeah. then without playing around with that, it wouldn't gather it as much. Oh no, so, so it would say, oh, I've done this wrong. It would self, it would self it, itself. It will almost. basically, yeah, it would look after itself yes. quite well on yeah. that. So by increasing the needle tensions, I'm physically asking it to pull the thread tighter. Yeah. And as you can see, I can play around with the amount of gather. And that's not a gather that you can move around. That's a solid, it's a gather that's done that you could then put into a cuff or a... Exactly. So you've got then obviously arm, puff or anything yeah, like yeah. that. But I have actually got... Oh, oh yes it has. So you could... Because as well, so. sometimes when you do a gathering foot, once it's done, yeah. that's it. You, that that's is it, it fixed. But that one, you can even it out. And then if I actually take that completely out, yeah. I can then say completely oh, take so the Oh, so all the thread out. is there. So if you were to go like that, yeah, the whole thing would straighten out. Would straighten it, out. I could literally run it right. It, once you go to a certain tightness, yeah. it's a bit difficult. Mm -hmm. But in the main of it, no. If I've made yeah. a mistake, yeah, then yeah, take that out. Until I've actually stitched that last bit in, it's, it's not like that at all. So, so that's the differential feed. It can be used for a couple of variations yes. on there, just for so playing around. From the normal, you go up to one and a half or two. Does it go below normal? Then Does I it can do the go opposite. Down to 0.7. And uh, what does that, that does that do so the if opposite I'm, then? If I'm using in a real fine fabric where it's again slightly gathered it where I didn't want it to gather, by turning it down, that's stretching it slightly. Right. So instead of pushing fabrics in, it's holding it back. So even which I'm going to show you in a minute, actually. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. No, I was just jumping. No, no, in no, no. It's, it's not with that. But it's this, yeah. this, this fabric, very right. light, very chiffons. Yes, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It moves all over the place. Because for a four thread, that's usually a little bit too heavy. Because a lot of time for chiffon, you wouldn't be seaming it and overlocking that it. Was, that was going to be my next question, because we're doing everything four thread at the moment. That's right. Uh, people want to know why is it four, three, or two? You know what I mean? They need to what know the, will the other. Yeah. What, the, yeah, what yeah, does yeah, the yeah. other do for? I don't want to jump ahead. No, I'm please, you say, chuck them in. That's great. I've just <laughs> never. I've always known about differential feed, but I've never understood. And why? And I know that I have to put it up to gather it, but I had no idea why. Now mm. you've explained that. I and this is easy it. to show you with the, with yeah. the hands exactly yeah. what yeah. they do. And it yeah. is, it's one of those mechanical settings. Once you learn how to use it, there's so much you can do with it's it. It's all this written in the instructions manual. And the amount of it is. Yes. Uh, but it's like with everything, with settings on machines, I love to play. I love yeah. to fiddle. But I, some I, people are frightened that they're going to well, wreck it. That's exactly they? it. And I do understand that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I like to give people confidence. Is, hey, it doesn't matter how much I've played with these. Once I set it back to normal, it's back to normal. Yes, so, yes. so you put the, the differential feed back to N for normal. Yep. You put all your tensions on back there. to four. Two and a half, three, stitch which length. is my medium tension, or my medium stitch length. Yeah. Number four, number four. And you're back to normal. And then even if I just put that through, and it's empty. Yeah, empty that on the bin. Out again in my bin. <coughs> and then even with the very fine sort of sheer chiffons, and I just pop that through again. Can you read? So even with a four thread, which is say quite a heavy stitch for this yes, type of fabric, yeah. you can see it hasn't pulled it again, it hasn't puckered it, and if I open that up again, the seam itself you see, this scene, is where right? things have moved on. Because when I remember when I did like musicals and things like that, and in like Oklahoma, there's a ballet scene in the mm. middle of it, and you had to make dresses that looked like the dresses they were wearing out of cotton, but out of chiffon. So yeah. they and I sat for days and days and days French seaming. Oh yes, loads of layers of chiffon and everything. Whereas if I had something like this, I could, they could have been done. It's, it's a lot quicker, but yeah. also as you say with with like the theatres and say we know with the Mercury Theatre as well, how many costumes and that they go through, how many different people. Also, how quickly you have to get them on and get them off. Yeah, again. no, no, they have to be sturdy. Yeah, a exactly. Quick change, you know, yeah. and then obviously with an overlock finish, we'll make it a lot stronger yeah. as well. So, yeah. and obviously on stage, you no one's going to sit there and pull it apart. So, no, as no. long as it looks it looks good from here to there, yeah, exactly. A great finish exactly. on that. So, yeah. So even on that type of fabrics, it will do it perfectly, no problems at all. And as you say, that's all with a four thread. Mm. So, the three thread side of it, then more used for neatening. So for, what? for neatening. Neatening. Yeah, right, neatening okay. on there. So 
if I've uh, got single layer fabric, if I want to cut out to just finish then before I construct it in a normal way, yeah. so if I still want my seam allowances and things like that, then what I can do is cut a left hand thread. Does it matter which one, does it matter which one you've... Uh, this one I'm going to cut the left hand one. Right. I can cut right or left and remove either needle. Um, so you can have a wide or narrow free thread. Right. Nine times out of ten, it'd be a narrow free yeah. thread. It's yeah. only if you're using thicker fabrics where you want needing in a wide. So on, one. on the whole, you take out the. I would then remove the left, the left hand yeah. needle. Okay. That's it. Um, it's one of those sort of questions that I get asked quite a lot: is do you have to take the needle out? I was going to say Jeff, that was my next question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to take the needle out, Gary? <laughs> right. Well, I would always say for two reasons: definitely yes. Yeah. Uh, so it's a. It's a no, that's right. Probably so the there. screwdriver so you're using, it comes with it. Okay, perfect. On there. Needles, standard flat-sided domestic needles, same as all your domestic sewing machines. So no oh, special oh, needles. Oh, I was, about, I was about to say, don't you have to buy special needles for an nope, overlocker? Not for our overlockers, you don't. Okay, because normally, yeah, you do. Sometimes you have to have special, like, either round top industrial yes, style yes, needles, yes. or there's some obscure little needles. So out they're there. normal flat-backed needles. So seven, seven and what size have you got in there? Again, like I do with my sewing machines, I do change the needles regular. Yeah. Size 80. Okay, perfect. And I just do that on everything. Oh. On an overlocker, it's one of those things you don't need to use, or you shouldn't have to use ballpoint needles, stretch You're needles. You're taking all my You've questions away from on me on now. I was about I'm to say that one. Yeah. So, so you use normal needles? Normal needles and sharp needles. Right, and okay. basically, with sewing machines where you've got the bobbin and you've got a needle, yeah. obviously it's the drag which causes it to miss stitches and things like that. And that's why using different types of needles. Yeah, yeah, because help. on a ball, well, jersey, you don't want to ladder it with a sharp needle. So you have a ballpoint one, so it pushes the fibres to one side exactly, yeah. and doesn't ladder them, so whereas it doesn't. So it's not splitting, as yeah, you say, yeah. and then you get that laddering on yeah. there, which so it then does a couple of stitches, misses a couple of stitches, and it's horrible yeah. that way. Yeah. But an overlocker is obviously hasn't got a bobbin, it's got loopers. So this is why it's, it sews in a different way. Yeah. So you don't need to use your stretch. You don't need to well, use your ballpoint or anything like that. So, or certainly not on our one anyway. Okay. So. <laughs> right, so three threader. So the four threader is for construction and finishing. That's right. If you're using any, generally anything, stretch, jerseys, moving like that, always use a four thread because it's stronger, but also gives you a lot more elasticity. Yeah. Yeah. Construction, yes, always use a four thread. Obviously, the second row of stitching then is a lot stronger yeah, as well. Yeah. But three thread, more for then neatening, finishing. So I'm just want to like for turning up hems and that where you just want to finish off the yeah. edge of your trousers or something like that. You could use a four thread. Yeah, but yeah. Oh no, because when I when so for example, when I used to make wedding dresses, yeah. I'd make the inside layer out of a fabric called cotille, which is like I, I don't know if you know, it's like a like a corset corset That's fabric. Right, yeah. And then I'd cut the silk out. But then I'd overlock them around the edge and use it as and one then fabric. And you would then lay it on and build up your layers. Yes, so this is what it. you'd use a three, a three needle uh, So for. what you can do on here, you said then about having uh, like a construction of a pattern piece. So you've got layers and you've cut out, say, I've, I've got an, oh, an arm or a leg or something yeah. like that. Obviously, I've a, a boring pattern piece. Exactly, a boring yeah. pattern piece. <laughs> and then usually you'd have it marked out you would then cut it zigzag the edging and construct it but this time what i could do is have it just marked out then i am going to just sorry move this a little yeah, bit no, closer no, that fine, way so what i can do if i have say like an, an arm shape or something on here i don't then have to do cut it out and then sew it afterwards i can then just do it all at once yes so I've got it marked obviously on my fabric, and the nice thing with this because it's a got invisible marks on it. Then invisible marks yeah. on here. That's right. It says um, with the single needle. Obviously, it allows me to pivot more. Yes. Obviously, two needles one. Well, it's like when you do a, a double needle um, hem. On, yeah. Sometimes on jersey, you can't do the no, swapping that's right. direction. It won't you can't pivot. allow you no, to pivot exactly. on there. And then with the OR overlockers as well, we have what they call a narrow cutting bite. Right. Basically, what that is. The needle is very close to the blade. Right. So with some of them where they're set further apart, obviously when you try and turn, it skips off and cuts, misses the edges yeah. because it's too wide apart. So we've again we think about these designs and what we want from the eye locker. So what that will allow us to do is really turn quite sharply. And it's still cutting really cleanly and on the So I then just cut down one end, then all I'm doing is then finishing off the bottom. 
While Gary's doing that, I just need to tell you that half the stock have gone. Half the stock have been checked. Well, I presume checked out. Half the stock have gone. Also, Paul, you said you had a question for this hour as well. OK, Paul's just... Paul's computer's playing up. He can't find the question, but... No, no, it's fine. It's just that I meant we didn't do it last one, did we? It Let me just see if I've got the question to put to here. People are loving it, loving the demonstration. Oh, Glennis now realises why hers curls. Um, very good price. How do you stop the fabric curling when overlocking stretch fabric? We've already done that, Lo. Um, oh, yeah, Lo says she goes to Franklin's in Salisbury. Now, are you, you're not based at Salisbury, are uh, you? No. Um, that's Neil, isn't it? That's Salisbury. Neil down in yeah, Salisbury, yeah. yeah. Did the sewing machine... Oh, yeah, the sewing machine that we did earlier sold out, I'm afraid. Right, OK, sorry. sorry. Yep, no problem. And there you have one cut-out pattern piece. Yes, except and yours will be a proper pattern piece. Uh, a proper yeah. pattern piece, that's <laughs> exactly it. So then, as you said then about doing layers, if you've then cut out and then you layer it up and yes. then you construct how you would normally do... But, but I was going to say, you could also, normally, if you're making a garment, you would construct it then try and finish the seams off. Whereas if you've got princess seams and things like that, they're all yeah. curved and everything. If you've already done this, you sew it together, your edges, are, your ends are already finished That's off. Exactly so you it. don't need to worry so much about it. No, you're then not finalising those yes. finishing. You've yeah. actually then made it a lot quicker and a lot easier. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but then the end result also should be better as well because you're not trying to fiddle, which then can cause problems. Exactly. So, yeah, so with a free thread for needling, uh, because of the narrow cutting bite, for pivoting, for turning, absolutely no problems at all. No, exactly. It will easily do that. And then what I can do is turn that free thread into a roll hem. So it gives that very fine... Still, still, still on a three thread? Still on a three thread, okay. that's it, yeah. I can do the two thread roll hem and a three thread roll hem. Right. So if I was using like the real thicker threads, like the floss threads and things like that, then generally I would take it down to a two thread roll hem. Oh, OK, OK. Um, but other than that, if I want to just use as a... Are just a nice neat finishing on the roll hem then i yeah. would leave it on free thread okay and then for that all i do is this little lever here but right, hang on can we see that you can see this here oh yeah they're perfect we see it now yeah. where is it where was it so this little lever here yeah then all i'm going to do is flick that towards me or away from there from the yeah. foot and, and then, what's that switch called roll hem lever <laughs> as simple as that. So that's the nice thing about that. So it's own, you only use it for roll. You literally only, only use that for the roll hem. So uh, basically, what it is, it's removing a finger within a plate to allow the fabric to roll. Okay. Oh, there. okay, right. So when you have normal overlocking, it's a, obviously while I'm standing in front of it, yeah. it'd be away from me. But when I want to roll hem, I flick it then towards me on there. So, so have you done changed? You've changed nothing else. I've you've got three at threads. At the moment, I've changed nothing else. And you've just, you're just you just going to put your chiffon through? Literally on there. Yeah. So what I've done... And flick that switch. And obviously. then flick that switch, and then I'm just going to put that through, and then sew part of it. Because this is brilliant. If you're going to make... Because you're saying about making handmade Christmas presents, you could buy half a metre of the most exquisite chiffons and make really lovely scarves for ladies, for friends for Christmas. And like so quick and so yeah, easy yeah. as well. Because a rolled hem is really difficult to do normally, isn't it? On a sewing machine? Yeah. Oh, it's absolutely dreadful sometimes. Again, with the, depending on the fabrics, but it slips, it moves all over the place, yeah. and the stitches misses in. So if you was doing the edge of it like a, a scarf or something like that... It, oh, yes, because on a sewing machine... You not you can't finish the edge. It's not finishing the edge off. It's not cutting it. No, that's so right. You turn it, but if there's any fraying, they're all you can still see that. Unless out, you yeah. try and do a double turn on very fine fabrics, yeah. and looking in your face, you know you tried that yes, before. Yes, it's yes, not yes. easy, as we know on that. So that will give you then the roll hem. Move it to your right a little bit. Sorry, on no, no, that no, one. don't apologise. So on here, so suitable just for an edge of a chiffon scarf or something like that. Yeah. So which is just a nice finish. But obviously, if I was doing then things like bridal wear, dance wear, or something like that, sometimes you just want a, a tighter, neater roll hem finish. So this is where I can then play. So I'm going to turn the stitch length down to one. Yeah. And this time, I'm actually going to increase one of the loop attentions. Right. So the reason I'm doing that, again, I'm going to show by hands on here. Normal yeah. overlocking is like that. Yeah. Roll hems turning it into that. Mm -hmm. What I've done is making it do that. Basically, okay. so that's sort of what I've t increased the tension on. So there. let's have a look then what it does. So I'm only asking because I, we, somebody asked me the other day about what I love making. I said I love making wedding dresses. That's what I used to do. And wonderful. I made my friend Dawn's wedding dress. Now this is in the um, early 80s. And it had about 400 metres of gathered <laughs> two and a half inch frills on every you had four right. skirts Ooh. had hem and it and i sat at the machine roll hemming that would have 
been oh, hundreds and hundreds of meters of silk. Well, I, yeah. use the oh, word no, I was, fun I was cursing, <laughs> cursing at it. But if word. I'd had something like this, someone, it would have just done it perfectly yeah. for you and obviously a fraction of the time yes. as well. So, oh, hang on, sorry, I've just got to interrupt one second. Stop warning. Okay. Three left. Three. Three left. Right, we don't know how many are in baskets, but because we can't see that at the moment, but th those are our three left. That's it. That's it. If you've got it in your basket, I check out. Right, sorry, carry on. That's carry right. On. No oh, worries. Time -wise. Oh, yeah, we're all right. We're on right. there, so, yep, excellent. So, again, a bit of crystal organza or something like that, just a finer fabric. Six minutes with Gary. Wonderful. So, if I just feed that through again. Because it's a lot tighter, obviously, the stitch is more of a satin stitch on the edge. Okay, so just remind me, you've turned the, the your three, we've got a three thread. Yep. You've turned your right hand tension quite high up, and you've turned differential feed to half. Is that what you said? So, I've removed the left hand needle. Yep. Flicked the roll hem lever oh, yes, towards that's, that's me. Thing, left the differential on normal. Oh, on normal? Uh, yep, yeah, not touch okay. that because I don't want it to gather or stretch no. or anything oh, like that with yeah. the type of fabric. I've turned the stitch length down to one on That's this one to give me yeah, more yeah, of a yeah. satin stitch effect. Yeah. And I've turned in the red looper up to eight, so it makes it tighter. So, so you're basically sort of doing a satin stitch, aren't you? Exactly a satin it. Stitch, yeah. And now if you look at that. <laughs> oh, my, oh, you see, Dawn's wedding dress would have been perfect. Absolutely perfect finish on there. Again, just that very fine, neat roll hem. That is better than you could ever do, well, no, than I could ever do on a sewing machine well, because that fabric, that sh twinkle chiffon that you're using there, frays like bilio, doesn't absolutely it? Absolutely well. And as you're twisting it and turning it on your sewing machine, it yeah. frays you and just you take all... it, you just pull yes, apart. But literally. you have loads of those all sticking out, don't <laughs> and you? And then you have to go along and almost give it a haircut and afterwards. This is it. And then if it's been used a couple of times, you've got to do that again yeah, yeah. and that. But also, as you say, it's never going to be as tight or as neat as that as well. Unlike some of the roll hems where if you've missed a little bit, then suddenly the seam starts coming oh, apart yeah, yeah, yeah. it's not going to happen for us on this one so yeah the roll hem on there is just absolutely superb it really does give you a very very nice finish that way how brilliant so is that? also that's a love such a lovely edge if you are doing like i say on the wedding dress loads and loads of gathering or whatever yeah it just gives it because you could almost do it like you have there in a contrast color so oh, absolutely. Dawn's wedding dress was obviously white silk and everything but i'd had this um like plaited silk to go down the stomacher, I could have done the edges, because it's so fine, I yeah. could have done the edges of all of the, the things in just that very, very soft pink that was That's in right. here. You could have just contrasted yes. it or say matched in with something yeah. else as well, just yeah. to give you that fine edging on there. Yeah, absolutely superb finish it really is. So There's only and, two left, by the way. And it is as quick and as easy as that, just to convert from one to the other and the change. And, and they say, when I want to go back again, all I'm doing is setting back to number four. Yeah. Back up to two and a half, three. I, I actually prefer three, a little bit longer on there, but again, it's a personal preference. Back to N, flick the roll hem lever back again. Then what I'm gonna do is then pop oh, the, needle back the second needle back in to turn it back to a four thread. So I'm gonna turn it towards no, no, me no, on that's that fine. one. You do that. I'll just see if there's any messages come through. Yep. Oh, Glenys is sorted for Christmas now. No, they haven't all gone, Glenys. There's two left. Glenys, there's two left. Glenys, there's two left. She said, oh, they've all gone, they've gone. Um, Glenys says, this show has to be the best I've ever seen. Oh, Gary. Wonderful. Thank you, Glenys. Thank you. <laughs> Paul says, wasn't Game of Thrones better than this? I don't <laughs> think she means like that. Lo <laughs> says, it's so lovely having John asking the questions for us. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet. Um, yeah, brilliant. Oh, brilliant. No, Glenys, there are two left. If you, oh, what? You, there are two left. Oh, one left now. Maybe that was Glenys popping in to get hers then. Um, so hang on, did we say you could go to a two? A two thread as well. As a little bit cheeky here, because I know you said we've got like four minutes. So yeah, no, 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 you go. You... Take it into a two thread. Yeah. We do, it does come with an adapter. Oh, no, no, I don't think it's a little you bit longer. It. So, but, but a two but which thread. Which two threads would you have? Which so two? I use one needle and one looper. Right. So what I do is it takes out a looper. So what it will allow me to do, if. You know, like a blanket stitch yeah. around the edge. So it's a really nice, heavy stitch on a thicker fabric. And it allowed me in to use things like floss oh, thread. So you, do, you wouldn't want to do that on a chiffon scarf then? Not really. No. Do, well, you can do it. It'll give, a, give you a lightweight finish. Yeah. On a chiffon scarf, I do. you've got to have an edge on it. Oh, no, that, that works. This, that exactly. Works. Yeah, yeah, it's no, nice no, to have that edge yeah. on there. So, yeah. so it's more, yeah, a two thread is very limited, the amount it will use. But we're fortunate with uh, our overlocker. 
it's quite happy with taking floss threads and things like that. So it really does utilise the two thread quite nicely. Yeah. So oh, that's right. Yeah. That's so that's what I would use that one for. Okay. So. So you're just setting it back I'm now to it. That's it. Just it's easy up. to put the needle in. Did I miss that bit? Uh, flat side is same as your sewing machines. Yeah. It only can go in, or technically can only go in one way. Yeah. Flat side to the back and in as far as it will go. So it's, uh, yeah, there's no difference really from your sewing machine okay. at that point. Okay. So we've got one minute left, Gary. Right. You've got one minute to tell the last one, then you can go home. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a really nice morning, really busy morning. It's always great. It's great fun. And obviously being back with yourself again oh, that's is always nice just often. great fun. No, I just, I'm well. just nosy. I just like to ask all the questions. And that's what I love. Absolutely. The more questions, the better. I really do I'm sorry. Like if, you, if you emailed in a question, so I'm looking over there. Sorry. If you emailed a question in for, for, uh, to Paul earlier, I'm sorry if we haven't answered it, but Paul's computer's playing on this. Not Paul's fault, he switched it off by accident. I wondered why all the, suddenly all the lights went on in the gallery, like, what are they doing? Because I can see the gallery from here. What are they doing in there? And I suddenly realised he was trying to fix it. Lorraine said, what a brilliant demo. Yes, this was a great show. I can't believe it. Be quick, Glennis, if you want it. Right, how are you asking the NX7 questions? Is this the NX7 That's here? the NX7, Right, yes. if you're very, very quick, Susan, and type it now, I'll be able to ask Gary now, but you need to you need to do it exactly where you've asked that question, and you need to do it right now because otherwise I'm going to run out of time. What are you doing now? Right. So what I'm doing now is I put it back to four thread. Yeah. And I'm just making an arm, basically. You're making a what? An arm. An arm. So I'm sewing piece of oh, fleece. Oh, okay. You're pretending it's a sleeve. I oh, exactly it. Oh, yeah. so we've got a couple of minutes, so I haven't done a sleeve construction for a little while. Oh, so Megan we... says my husband's just bought me the overlocker for Christmas. Oh, Susan, right, Wonderful. Susan, could I ask Gary a question about the Juki 8ZLNX7? Is there a flatbed attachment, attachment included or do I need to buy it separately? No, it comes with a large table. It really is a large flatbed table it comes with. Oh, okay. She said, I'm, I'm really interested in buying the machine, but don't think I want to have the extension table on all the time. Yep. But that is the extension table. So, well, as you see the machine now, that's yep. it with the free arm. Let me pull it into your shop. Here you go. Right, so, so that, this that's its free arm. Right. So that's how you sort of, you would generally would use it if you didn't want the extension table. Right. But then there is, say, the large extension table. That goes there. Similar to what we showed you on the other one, but bigger. Oh, oh even bigger. Even bigger. Because so it just of the stays on the whole time. Just. And then you can have that on all the time if you want to. And where are all your goodies? Where are and all then, your... And um, you get a lovely little box and it's a proper padded out box of them all and individually they all just sit in it. sat in. So it's not just a, a free for all in a So uh, Susan, is box. that all right for you? Is that all right? Because we're just about to run out of time. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So you're, you've made an arm. Yep. How many minutes have we got? Okay, we've well, got two minutes. Ago. Right. So we've made an arm. Yeah. Made a cuff. Going to fold that back. And then this is sort of just things, it's overlockers are not just for finishing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can use it for construction or anything. Oh, like this is that like on, well. a, on a on a on a lycra leotard it, where you have a cuff sticking out. This the is it, tracksuit lycras, leotards, oh, anything. Oh, right, jogging pants. Like jogging yeah, pants yeah, yeah. and things like that, absolutely. Um, or a lot of people now even like dog clothes and things like so. Yeah, just whatever. It for myself. <laughs> it's uh, and then all I'm going to do... Delivery time, Linda, is as soon as your order is processed, it, set, it leaves, the, leaves Juki within 48 hours. So with you, you, with you, between three and five working days is what they say. So all You've I'm done doing... once, Oh, right. Earlier I said the adjuster forms had all sold out. hayley has been on the phone and she's ordered some more. So we've got more adjuster forms if you want them. Right, so you went round. So all I've done is gone around the cuff. Yeah. So I've uh, basically um, attached both Hang pieces on, let me to push there. It, push it forwards a bit, so, Gary, so we can see what you're doing. Look on the... There, oh, on there. Uh, right. yep. There you go, there so you go, perfect. So all I've done is attach it. Yep. So we've got the side seam, the cuff seamed on. Yeah. So now when I turn this inside, or the right way this round... Seems, yeah. On there, so very tough. 20 <laughs> seconds. He's, it's right, he's going against the clock. There you have one sleeve. Right, push it up. Oh, there. <laughs> ah! And there you have one constructed sleeve. Brilliant. <laughs> so that's instead of buying a cuff, because normally you'd buy a cuff, you'd normally buy that ribbed cuff fabric. That's right. You? Uh, but you could attach ribbed cuff fabric exactly the well, same way, couldn't that's you? That's exactly it. Like, it does <gasps> the same thing on there. Gary, when are you back oh, next? Not sure, actually. It depends when we can well, get we more stock. Machines. No, that's, that's the thing. <laughs> the way the machines are selling them. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. It was absolutely thank you for brilliant. It was great to see you again. And you. And you. Oh, my word. So what have I got to tell you about? There's one of...
Oh, hang on. There's one overlocker left. So for the 5.99, there's one overlocker left. That's it. Like I said, I don't know. Gary, I'll have to get on the phone, but I don't know if and when we can get any more for you. But there's one of those left. Perfect Christmas present if you want to. And how many of these are left then? Just going to find out how many of these left. Because the sewing machine we did, Gary did earlier completely sold out. And then once I've done that, I'll tell you what tomorrow's. Uh, there you go. Five split pay option. It's £2,795. I understand it's considered purchase. I'm not being glib about it whatsoever. But five five nine a month you can get that for. Plus the first PMP, the first payment you put your PMP on as well. Oh, sorry. Let me just turn it around for you. Like that. There you go. There you go. Right. Let's have a look at menu for tomorrow. It's me again tomorrow. And Wendy. Me and Wendy tomorrow. Right, here we go. Let's have a look at this then. Right, so uh, 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah, I was going to say I could see a 12 o'clock hour then. I was going to say not again. Tools and gifts at 8 o'clock. Weekend bag pattern by So Different with Wendy Orlando. Oh, she's doing bags now as well, is she? 10 o'clock, fabulous fabrics. 11 o'clock, array. Do you mean like array or array? What an array. Lap quilt with Wendy Orlando. And then at 12 o'clock, there's a repeat. Autumn fabrics. When's that from then? Yesterday. Oh, it's that fabulous fabrics from this morning. <gasps> that feels like such a long time ago. Anyway, I'm going home now. I'm shattered. Oh, no, I'm not going home because we've got to prep tomorrow and I've got to pack the bags. Yes, I have to pack bags. Can you believe it? Anyway, thanks ever so much for your company today. Enjoy your dukies when they arrive. You're going to love them. And I will see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock.